sleep. And it's happening, happening. We are broadcasting. Hello, everyone. Hi. Are we live? We should be live. We should not be seeing a, a, a Fred, We are live. A Fred Vine Sauce host. Nope. Uh, I, I'm seeing it. It went live. Okay. Jabroni Chan is here. Say hi, Jabroni Chan. Oh, hello, everybody. We'll go quiet. Go, go, go. Who is the beat the pony Chan? Uh oh. I poop in my pants. <laughs> Tea. <Huh? laughs> oh, go quiet. Fucks up my dick time. Max Sayo, uh, thank you for three months of support. Also, Hakusha. Welcome back to your new home, freak. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Uh, also, Tydra, 486. Welcome to your new home, freako. Uh, and Fred Knudsen. Welcome back to your new home, freak. Uh, thank you. It says, I love Mike, but get rid of the guy with the annoying twink voice. <laughs> Skoglid, uh, welcome to your new home, freak. People say, uh, well, I, I saw this comment once. In one of the YouTube videos that we did together, somebody was like, Oh, great, it's my favorite uh, duo. Angry Italian man and NPR uh, broadcaster man. <laughs> I saw NP that. NPR anchor man. I do read the comments on the VODs, and a lot of them are very amusing. I'm really glad that people seem to enjoy them. I was telling you this earlier, but, like, half the time when someone recognizes who I am, they're like, Oh, like, I, I love Down the Rabbit Hole. Also, like, I love all the stuff that you do with Mike. It's wonderful. Like, you come up, like, half the time. That's sweet. Yeah, this ch this chat uh, is always asking for you, man. Uh, Ego Angel, welcome, uh, welcome back to your new home, Freak. Uh, give me, like, your best Ira Glass impression. I feel like you could do a good one. Ira Glass? I'm, I'm not. I'm He's the guy who sounds like this. Hi, I'm, I'm not Ira Glass, that. and thanks for listening to NPR Radio. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. Ira Glass. Boy, I sure do love rings. He's a little bit more nasally than that. Uh, here, let, let me try it more nasally. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Ira Glass. <laughs> Good, 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 we're glass. I'm, I'm making him into like a, a Kermit. Just do Kermit the Frog. I, that, that's my one voice. Yeah, just, just do it. It'll work for this guy too, I think. You're Miss Piggy. I, I made a new orifice for you. Uh, 12, uh, 12 rules for life. We'll, we'll predict. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome Did to your new home, freak. Did you show them the 12 rules for life? No, like the, but the, I've, no. I've been, I've been thinking about it. I, I feel well because we're just going to keep saying fucking cider. We are to that, like tonight, well, right? Well, like if, if we're just going to keep saying it, and we're going to laugh, yeah, and no one else is going to laugh. It's absolutely what's going to happen. Like uh, we were hanging out last night, and we were that was like half of our conversation. <laughs> just one of us would say something done, and the other person would go fucking cider. All right, listen. First things first. <laughs> uh, do you want to tell chat what this penis music we're listening to is? Oh, so um, this is from a, a game called The Neverhood, which is a point-and-click adventure that did not do well because it was kind of esoteric. <laughs> but but the music is cursed as shit. Like if you if you go to the song at 2052, that song is literally called Dum Da Dum Doi Doi. The the name of the track is Dum Da Dum Doi Doi. Yes. Uh, Vinny played. Oh, Vinny played th this this soundtrack. You're talking about? No, he, he played the game. I know that he played this. Oh, game. The, the the game. He actually yeah, played the, it. Oh no shit. Yeah, the, the the soundtrack is just penis music. Yeah, it's, <laughs> he was, Fred was like, "Hey, you want to hear some penis music?" I was like, "Sure." And he, and he sends me the soundtrack. All right, listen. I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put on 75 minutes of relaxing and calming Nintendo music because I don't know about you, I I'm not going to be able to fucking focus on these articles if you if, if we're listening to that, to no, that penis no, no, music. No, 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 no. No, of course not. Um, but I yeah, had no the expectation that we were going to listen to it while we were looking at the articles. We've we've got uh, some WikiHow articles here tonight. There, there are some real fucking doozies he here tonight, guys. Um, and I want to take a minute to thank, uh, actually, Buntime, who has uh, who who found these for us 
because Buntime would rather look at uh, shitty like WikiHow articles than actually like do work at her job. So thank you, Buntime, <laughs> uh, for finding these for us to uh, to look at tonight. Uh, you wanna you wanna dive right in, or do you, anything you wanna you wanna touch on first? Anything you I wanna... I just want to mention I know nothing about these. Also, Tita said that they made a face rig for me, and now I'm scared. Oh, uh, well, there was that model and that art that I showed you with the... Yeah, with, I saw that. Yeah, we, the, we talked about that. I was going to ask, like, is is this face riggable? I if, believe Tita, it if is. You, if I, you emailed it to me, I might it, it might have gotten filtered out to spam because I think like a year and a half ago, two years ago or something, someone signed me up. For, like, they, they went to my business email on YouTube and signed me up for a bunch of bullshit, and now I get nothing but spam. The horse cock, they signed you up. It, like, I, I can't look through my spam folder because literally there's a new email every, like, 10 minutes. Like, they signed me up for a bunch of random forums. They signed me up for, like, a bestiality forum. Somebody, that one stood out. Someone did the exact same thing to me. I was just going to bring I feel it up. Like, yeah. I feel like it's a common thing <laughs> for people. Like, I, it's one of those things I yeah. wasn't expecting as, <laughs> I, as I a think, public figure. I think this is one of those, like, that's how you know you made it type things. When, when somebody, right. like, signs you up for a fucking bestiality for him like, right yeah. <laughs> someone's saying the same guy did it to both of us probably i'm realizing like i'm probably going to have to just make a new email just for youtube like and attach that to my youtube as my business email because that's almost certainly like, that's where they found it why does mike's vtuber avatar have a smear across his oh, eyes wait. like he's taking Hold off on. a vr headset that's that's her fucking like eyeshadow man no, see, like, I, I didn't want to go in and, um, like, go into the website and be like, no, they used the wrong email because I don't want to be a... I don't want to touch it. Right? Yeah. But, yeah, now I, I cannot sift through my spam email because it's a complete shit show. Uh, so, basically, Tita, if anything, uh, we'll put you in touch with Fred at a later date and then yeah maybe, we'll figure it out like the next time we do this uh maybe we could somehow like get fred's fucking like uh avatar up here too so we could both have an avatar it'd that'd be, be like, fucking rad it'd be cool ship uh there were a couple of subs that i missed guys i'm not gonna be calling out like subs while you know uh, i got frank here because i don't want to be like screaming over frank uh but if you know nobody's saying anything and i see him i'll call him out like bead history uh welcome to the your new home freak thank you bd uh, sorry to the people who I missed uh, their subs. But oh hey hey Bead, Bead, you know Bead? I actually never figured out. Oh yeah, they're they're one of my patrons. Oh you know Bead? They should be. Oh Bead. Uh, unless it's a different Bead. Thank you Bead. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Bead. I I, I guess I never really thought about it. That's no, the they're name like of the, one of the people the, active in my Patreon. That's one of the uh, gym Discord. the gym leaders in uh in so Pokemon Sword Shield, isn't it? Oh, okay, might be a different. Like Be no, but but it's B but it's BD history. Yeah, it is the same person. Why is Mike an anime girl? Mike is the original VTuber. I was the first one. That, 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 I have to tap the sign again. Ready? It's gonna be loud. Hold on. All right, same person. And also, Calamity is here. Calamity is also a regular. Yeah, I, I linked uh, in my Patreon Discord. So there are a bunch of people from my Patreon. Calamari, thanks out. for stopping by. Uh, I feel like I've seen Calamity Cons in here. Uh, a bunch of times actually but thanks if you're coming from fred's uh discord and you decided to check this out tonight i thank you for giving it uh giving it a look -see, a look see lou i appreciate that oh people on my patreon discord absolutely love everything we do together it's wild oh uh, well guys thanks so for sweet. thanks for for digging into the content here um do, do you want to you want to take a look at the at the first article that, that i got I let's got, get started a few. we bought enough time yeah we bought quite a few we might have overpaid actually um <laughs> all right shall um shall i please i i do not know anything about this by the way everyone uh i'm going in entirely blind mike just warned me that this is going to be intense how to pretend to faint this is hold on a fucking minute what there is there is a whole category on wiki how look at this it's it's in the category mm -hmm. feigning illness, which mm -hmm. is under the mm -hmm. umbrella category of <laughs> acting injured. Now, earlier tonight, when I was looking through these articles, I, I messaged Fred because I couldn't fucking believe it. Because the last couple of times we did these streams, he and I got stuck up 
on on how like sociopathic some of this shit is on this website. Mm-hmm. There is an entire wing of this website that is dedicated to to faking injuries. An entire subsection of of WikiHow. Like th- this is th- there's the an article problem... we're going to get to later that's even more sociopathic than this, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. D- don't don't spoil but, it. But I think that the point you're making is that it's not the authors. It's the site itself. It's it's a it's a little bit of it's a little bit of well, column A and a little bit of column yeah. B. It's it's, yeah, it's it, both. It is both. But yeah. clearly, the site itself is is uh, curating this. Like it's culti- it's cultivating this, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, there there is going to be some extreme sociopathy tonight uh, on the stream. Just as a, as as a warning. Uh, do you wanna you wanna read the first? Um, that's the theme of the night. The theme of the night. Fantastic. Yeah. I can't wait to have my humanity invalidated. <laughs> wait, there's an author info section. Can we learn about this author before we go in? You wanna you wanna get preloaded? Uh, yeah. Their let's name get to is. Know this person. Uh, no, that's not the wait. Uh, to the left. To 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 the author uh, info. It's, there you go. Oh, okay, I'm gonna click uh, that. Oh, it's just co-written. Never mind then. Okay. Did you forget to study for a test? Oh, this is approved. Did you forget to study for a <laughs> test? Are you scheduled to participate in an event but wish you could back out? Maybe you're acting in a play that calls for fainting. Whether you need to cause a diversion or get out of a sticky situation, the following tips can help you make a faint. Can help you make a faint fake faint look real. Faint, I appreciate faint, that faint. at the outset. They're not trying to mask it as, oh, like, what if it's for a school play? It's like, nah, they're they're not even <laughs> hiding it. This is specifically for, like, untruthful intent. I mean, that was my, my first question when I saw this was, who is this for? My first thought was actors, right? Mm-hmm. Like, no, no, I mean, maybe this will be useful to actors, but this isn't written for actors. This is written for sociopaths, by a sociopath, right? Right. Uh, like, I- they know what they're doing. You know, it's funny. You can, like, faint a faint, right? Like, it's that word mm-hmm. F-E-I-N-T. Like, you can faint a faint. Does, am, I, am I using it correctly? Uh, the F-E-I-N-T. F-E. Does you that can, mean what you, I what I think it means? I think faint, so. Faint. It's kind of... I don't, I don't know if that quite works. Well, if I was writing this article, that would have been the least of my problems, but I definitely would have went for that, that alliteration. I think that's what that's called. Um, <laughs> so do you want to learn how to... Pr- how to pro- pretend to faint? Let's learn. Okay. And by the way, yeah, the blue check mark basically when it's approved. So this are so people who work at WikiHow like rubber stamped this and were like, yes, this is the quality that we strive for on this website. I think that yeah, so many people in chat are saying feigning a faint would make more sense. Feign that, I, that's that yeah, it makes faint, way more sense. Yeah, a, a faint is specific. I, I believe that it's specific to um, to like fighting, like it's jargon for fighting because a faint is when you um, fake a strike in one direction in order to draw a reaction. This is what happens in, in fencing, right? Yeah, uh, a faint is a very basic thing. Like you faint and disengage. Uh, That's a very so, standard thing. Someone in chat pointed out that this article has 143 co-authors. Okay, it's well, like the I beginning mean, of a bad joke. Like, how many people does it take to faint to <laughs> fake a fake a faint? 143. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Also, d- please please note this comment from Lewis Nunya Business. I recently got my HPV shot. One of the side effects is fainting. Great. Um, Great. Method, method one. one. Yeah. Take take it away. Lear- take, yeah. Take, read it. Learning how to mimic a real fainting spell. One. Learn the causes of fainting. Fainting is a common malady that many people experience. It causes its causes can be either harmless or life threatening. Since you're planning to fake faint, it's better to learn about the relatively harmless reasons people faint. Fainting is caused by reduced blood flow to the brain can, can i ask a you a har- question before you continue real quick yes uh h- how often like have you just fainted out of nowhere in your life uh let me think once really once yes 
Okay. Just, just, just asking for you know for for f future reference as we continue through this article. It was because I uh, like I naturally have pretty low blood pressure. Okay. And so if I, like I'm very prone to dizziness when I get up quickly. And I had gotten out of bed quickly and then run up a flight of stairs. Oh yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that didn't. You didn't. Quick. You didn't give time for circulation. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. I just but but pushed but it. but one time. You're you're telling me one time in all your life. One, one time, time, I believe. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's make it sure. Okay. A harmless fainting spell can be caused by low blood pressure or a nervous system response that reduces blood flow to the brain. Such a nervous system response could be the result of highly stressful or traumatic event, fear, or pain. Be the the result. Okay. They actually did have proper grammar. I was going to say, 143 people. <laughs> Keep an eye out. For teenagers, fake fainting is a perfect excuse to avoid an event or exam, since it's common for them to experience real but harmless fainting spells. For adults who are older, it's possible for them to experience a harmless fainting spell <laughs> once or twice a year, but anything more than that might be considered the, the result of something life-threatening. Like, what what the fuck? Do, do you Once e or twice a year? Do you even what kind know, of narcoleptics? Do, do you even know an adult who, who who faints out of nowhere once or twice a year? Right. Like I was saying, what 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 143 narcoleptics wrote this? <laughs> yeah. That's not normal. They're like, oh well, this is common and happens all the time. It, it's it, it's really not. I, I've never fainted once in my life. I'm, I'm 35 years old. I've never fainted once. I have never had a. I, I've never had a fainting spell that wasn't like explained, right? Like, yeah. and, and by that I mean, you know, but the other times I've lost consciousness were like concussions. Right, which is not fainting out of nowhere. They're making it sound like yeah, people will just be walking around randomly fainting. Out of fucking right. nowhere. Imagine if this person was, was, was fucking accurate and people are fainting harmlessly. They're having harmless, totally normal fainting spell, spells once or twice a year. Airplanes would be falling out of the fucking sky. Okay, right. cruise ships would be crashing <laughs> into, into fucking well, no. docks. No, no you, you, you have talking co pilots about? on planes for, for that reason. But you would, like... It's not a normal sight to, like, be looking at a city street and just see someone topple over. Because given <laughs> the frequency that they're talking about, if you're just walking down a street in New York, you should be seeing someone just fucking flop over every day. Statistically, Times Square would be, like, filled with people fainting. That, like, just like, every day, there would yeah. be a few people. Like, there would have to be, like people assigned to Times Square being like, oh, nope, someone passed out in the middle of the road again. Yeah, like, <sighs> dog, they're like dog catchers, but they just, like, they pick up people who fainted in the street and, like, mm. move them to the sidewalk. Fainting is a common malady. Like, it's, it's I don't know what their, their life experience is, but it, also, um, there's a big giveaway here that at least one of these 143 people is actually a, a fucking, I guess, a teenager. For teenagers, fake fainting is a perfect excuse to avoid an event or an exam. Because, listen to me, if 143 adults are, are behind that, that paragraph existing, these are some really motherfucking irresponsible adults. See, I, I think that the first half was written by a teenager. The second half was written by a coping American who's afraid to go to the doctor. For like teenagers. they've been suffering uh, fainting spells for the last few years, and they're just like <laughs> right. they don't they they're afraid of the doctor bill, and so they're yeah. like, oh no, fainting's normal, fainting's normal, you know it happens all the time, right? Or they're like afraid of getting like a diagnosis like that too, right? Exactly, yeah. it's like the only thing that can happen mm. when they go to the doctor is bad news, <laughs> and so yeah. they're just like, no, this is fine. This is totally normal. Uh, everybody's life is inconvenienced by, by by this completely. So stop bugging me about it, Karen. All right, Karen. Right. See, look, it's normal. Look, look how common I'm it fine. is. Fine. It happens once or twice a year to everyone. Every normal adult, Karen. One hundred forty-two people agree with me. <laughs> yeah. And listen, it got approved by WikiHow, so it's 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 that's gotta mean something, Karen. It's real. <laughs> I'll bet that they have doctors. I'll bet that they have doctors. I'll bet that they have doctors. It's better to learn about the <laughs> relatively harmless reasons people think. Yeah, this is fucking stupid. For teenagers, the, the problem faking... is just. Yeah. Oh, just passing out when you're standing, you're gonna hit your head. 
The article gets into that, by the way. Okay. Um, it's it's, it's, a right, fair, it's actually a fairly long article, and it's filled with stupidity. Like it's it's great. Let's keep let's riddled keep with them. stupidity. We're doing our thing where we hang up on one bit for a long time. That, that that's so yeah, it's fine. Don't 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 worry it's about fine, that. It's fine. Yeah. So okay, you want me to you want me to take uh, part two here? Please do. Learn the symptoms of fainting. She's thinking about uh, reading a WikiHow article right now. <laughs> a person who faints can experience several symptoms leading up to losing consciousness, including feeling very hot, nauseous, lightheaded, or confused, or hyperventilating. A person might also feel dizzy or weak, or have ringing ears, or experience a temporary loss of hearing. These symptoms are common for someone who experiences a harmless fainting spell. Like, none of that sounds All harmless right. to me. Like, there's no such thing as, no, a, har as a harmless fainting spell, because so, as you just as pointed out... You can fucking crack your skull open. Right. The, I, the one exception is I do experience um, all of these, or, except for confusion. I don't get confused. Um, but when I stand up too quickly, right, like, I, I have to be careful. Fred's got, like, an item that prevents him from being afflicted with confusion. <laughs> wow. What is a, there a Pokemon what, item? Yeah, there, it's, there's got to be. But it's like a berry or something. But what a fucking, like, nerdy, lame-ass joke that was. What a fucking nerd I, I am. <laughs> Mike never reads chat. Mike's reading chat right now. What are you on about? Right now. Lumberry. Okay. Oh, uh, there because there was a raid from somebody. Mo Moonkin. Oh. Uh, thank you for that for the raid, Moon uh, Moonkin. Thank you. Appreciate oh, that. Thank you. Uh, all right, Fred. Oh, uh, can I hold on a moment? I, I'm yeah. thinking. Is that is that who I think it was? It might have been a friend, or is is that um, is that a Moon so, uh, someone that you know? I actually don't know. I'm not familiar with that person, but thank you for the raid, regardless. Okay, that might have actually been my friend who raided you. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. It was, okay, it was. Okay, they're, they're literally messaging me on Discord right now. I was like, yes, it was. <laughs> thank you. Okay, it, so it's a good friend of mine. Take your pick. What celebrity a very, is this? A very, a very sweet friend. I'm thinking this is Joe Rogan. Uh, <laughs> and he's thinking, and he's thinking, fucking bacon. Fucking bacon. Fucking we, bacon. We need to show your chat this because we're just going to keep referencing it. Okay, so chat, and this is this will this will be a this will be a, a kind of a lengthy uh, a lengthy segue here. Um, I'm so I'm sorry, everyone. You to get. It's good though. It's good. There I promise. Is this YouTube channel that uh, Fred turned me on? He sent me a, a certain video uh, of a. a th 3D animation. It looks like it might have been done in like Source Filmmaker or something. I honestly don't know. I don't know what program they used, but uh, it's 3D animation. Uh, they like to they like to put like right right wing uh, political commentator guys in like really amusing uh, kind of situations. And Fred sent me this this one video about Jordan Peterson that this guy made. It's genius. Is is quite quite frankly. One of the most brilliant pieces of cinema I've watched in the past several years. It's actually an unironically amazing piece of satire. Uh, it was actually fucking incredible. Like I almost cried. I Mal, I sh I showed Mal. Mal saw it. Oh, right? Okay. It's, okay. So, I'm wondering. I'm wondering. It's only it's only about like what three minutes long. Four minutes. I I'm wondering if there's any kind of issues with just like showing it on stream right now. No. Not really. I do, don't think. Do you think there's like any DMCA problems with this? Uh, maybe on YouTube you might want to cut it out of the VOD and just link people to it. Cut it out of the VOD. Yeah, uh, maybe. Okay, so if we do that, let me start by saying that it's there, there's there's nothing really like political, I guess, in the video as, as counterintuitive as that as that sounds. Like there's you'll really, get it when you see it. There's really not the political in it, so I don't expect I don't expect this to cause any kind of like po political arguments. But guys, this fucking video is incredible, and I've not been <laughs> able to stop thinking about it for like a week, a week <laughs> solid, like a fucking week <laughs> so since Fred showed it to me. And I think if we could all watch it, this will be a really fun watch together. And these articles can wait; they're not going anywhere. Uh. Just give me a second to get it all like configured here. Yeah. 
th this is also the this is the same person that did Eldritch Dennis Prager. If you guys are There's familiar no with God El above me. El Eldritch Dennis Prager, uh, I know sure. that one went viral. Uh, it's the same person. Let me get There's rid no of... God above me. There's no police above me. There's nobody above me. I am God. I think that's also quoted in this in this video. It is, yes. Uh, this video is kind of the culmination of all of his others. And it's it like has the, the, uh, <laughs> the it, cinematic universe. It has, yeah, his cinematic universe. <laughs> it's got Charlie Kirk in it, and his face is so small. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, where, where is this? I, I love the meme of like taking his face and just making it a little bit smaller, so you're not sure if it was photoshopped or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I love that became a meme. I'm afraid your father. There's no like, there's no boobs or anything in this either. No, right? no, 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 no. Okay, all right, hold on. Because I, I just, I just don't remember if there was like a boob here or there. Okay, guys, the the name of the video is Jordan Peterson, Twelve More Rules, and you're in for a real fucking treat, guys. Uh, and who? What's what's the the person's uh, Amon Animations? That's A A M O N. I want to make sure that they get credit for this. I'm afraid your father will have to remain in his coma for several more months. We'll be feeding him pure meat through a tube, just like you asked. In the meantime, let's go party all over Europe. <laughs> You know the reference. You know that reference, think right? Of happiness or pursuing happiness. Well, hold on. Let's the first watch it. thing they think of is, well, it's a pretty selfish desire. I want to be happy for me. I mean, after all, who wants to be unhappy? But I'm here to tell you that, in fact, happiness is far, far, far more than a selfish desire. It's actually a moral obligation. Whether or not you're happy, and certainly whether or not you act happy, is a very, very altruistic endeavor. Yes, indeed, we have a moral <laughs> obligation. Happy people make the world better. Unhappy people tend to make the world worse. There's a scene in Pinocchio where Geppetto wishes on a star, right? And what it means is he lifts up his eyes beyond the horizon to something transcendent. And so he lifts his eyes up above his daily concerns and he says, what I want... <laughs> Space animation! What, what I want more than anything else <laughs> is that my creation will become a genuine individual, right? It's, it's a heroic gesture because it's so unlikely. And that catalyzes the puppet's transformation into a real being. And we start as puppets. And so the trick is to get rid of your goddamn strings. I want to be like you, Mr. Peterson. Please tell me how to live. <laughs> I want to get into this because this is a. I think this is a fascinating thing with you personally. That your diet, um, you're on this carnivore diet yes. now. This is what I mean. What's fascinating to me is I haven't heard any negative stories about people doing this. Um, well, I have a negative story. Okay. Okay. When we <laughs> restricted our diet and then ate something we weren't supposed to, the reaction was absolutely Jordan. catastrophic. What did you so, do? What did you switch to? Um, <laughs> Well, the worst response, and we had some apple cider that had sulfites in it, and that was really not good. Like, I was done for a month. You were done for a month? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> for a month, it was awful. Apple was cider? Like, what, what was it sulfites doing? Sulfites in it. What was it doing? Oh, it, it, it produced an overwhelming sense of impending doom. That's <laughs> right! <laughs> Shapiro. Yeah. Here is a fact. 
There's no God over me. There's no policeman over me. There's no one over me. I am God. <laughs> Fucking cider. <laughs> oh, I didn't sleep. <laughs> I didn't sleep for 25 days. I didn't sleep what? at all. Oh my god. Oh yeah. No, and this is from <laughs> fucking cider. From cider. Not what we thought. Yeah. I mean, look, again, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. You need that in chat that's why we keep saying fucking cider. That's fucking what... cider. <laughs> to wake up Dr. Peterson, my master. Please wake up for us. We are so lost without you. By the way, it's total bullshit that he didn't sleep for 25 days. Oh, yeah, he's, complete, he's completely full of fucking shit that didn't happen. What is natural must be right. Eat your meat and worship might. Stand up straight. Listen carefully. Accept your place within the hierarchy. Pinocchio. The, the cow has his teeth. It does. Yeah. Look, it's Geppetto. <laughs> <laughs> Clean your room, pray to God, obey your lords with twelve new rules. Pinocchio! Oh, Pinocchio! Think of all the cash, think of all the suits. Don't you think the world needs twelve new rules? You watch what you say, and you'll find out what is some natural things you must say be right. come apart. <laughs> it's a feeling of... Stand up straight, listen carefully, accept your place And then if you the tell the truth, that pulls you together and strengthens <laughs> Twelve more rules. Twelve more rules. Twelve more rules. <laughs> I love that cow. You're dead, Pinocchio. <laughs> I find story okay wait just, just like, hold on one more anyways that's what we really needed you to see i just need i need to do this one more time right here okay fucking cider <laughs> well, i didn't see <laughs> he, he has like completely returned to monkey at right. that point <laughs> And like it's just it, it, the editing there is brilliant because you just had that intense like holy fuck what the fuck am I looking at scene that immediately right. it just cold cuts straight back to Joe Rogan as a monkey saying fucking cider. I love every <laughs> single shot. His face becomes a little bit more monkey. Yeah. <laughs> it's just slowly de evolving. Right. Oh my god. Yeah, guys, this video I've been obsessed with this video for like a fucking week and if you go down in the comments, which I don't want to do this right now, but if you go look in the comments to this video, somebody has like a breakdown of what like their interpretation of it and it's it's fucking absolutely genius. Mm. Oh, so their name is Amon Animations. So A A M O N animations if you want to uh, I haven't yet dived into their other videos but can I link it in chat yeah I can link it in chat hold on thank you for letting me share this with your chat oh um, no thank you for showing that to me right, here <laughs> it's, it's that's incredible. the video like, you should be able to get you should be able to get to the uh, the YouTube channel from there so anyway the point was now we could get back to this so that's Joe Rogan saying, fucking bacon. Yeah, fucking bacon. Anyway, yeah, that was I told you that was going to be a, a, a long segue. Yeah, but worth it, though, I think. Uh, hi, hi, Miss Misa. Miss Misa. H how did you stumble across that, Fred? Uh, I think that one of his animations was recommended to me, and I just kind of dug into the channel. He went down a rabbit hole, believe it or I, not. Yeah, yeah, big fucking surprise. So... You want to read this? You want to take this one? Yeah, sure. Uh, so back to learning how to fake faint. <clears throat> After that, that's a tough act to follow. Yeah, he, you, know, you know what he's thinking. Uh, what is natural must be right. Eat your meat <laughs> and worship might. <laughs> 
Oh, it's, or it's don't, so don't fucking eat twisted. Me. He, he doesn't want to eat me. Well, my favorite uh, part of that is like all all the audio from except for the text to speech stuff just came from like the, these men fucking talking about like you know their their bullshit on like podcasts and interviews and stuff like that. Right. Like he had he had all the material he could, ever could have needed to make that video just with the insane bullshit that comes out of these people's fucking mouths on a regular basis. Right. <laughs> fucking and he amazing. Did. He pulled it out. Some of it is really good. Some of it's like excellent i think oh anyway we're, we need to move on from it because i could spend all day just picking apart that video and th it's there's deep. a lot that i don't know about it's, these it, uh, about these figures it's fucking deep i'm sure yeah okay number three decide on a harmless reason for your fake faint unless you need to fake a fainting spell for a dramatic play you'll need to come up with a reason for your fake fainting spell that won't compel people to call an ambulance, and that will also allow you to walk away seemingly shaken up, but unharmed. I like how they're just, now they're just saying, we know why you're here, it's not for a play. <laughs> because low blood pressure and low blood flow to the brain are usually the causes of harmless fainting spells, there are several scenarios that could cause that type of fainting. There's more. I think you need to scroll down. Oh, sorry. But Discord detected a new audio device despite me not plugging anything in. It was really cool. Oh, great. Yeah. Not eating breakfast or waiting too long between meals to eat something can cause low blood pressure. Not drinking enough water can cause dehydration and reduce blood flow to the brain. If you happen to be outside or in a really stuffy room, you could say that you got too hot. You could pretend to experience a stressful or traumatic event. If you're easily, <laughs> if you're easily scared, Jesus, if you're easily scared by bugs or loud noises, you could pretend your fear caused you to hyperventilate and then faint. Yes. Yeah, Is anyone else mm. having flashbacks to that one person in high school who definitely, you know, overreacted to everything? Do you guys know someone like that? Sometimes they were like a little bit nerdier. Fred, I don't know who that person was because that person was me. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you see in like oh, the, the, the the kind of like you're causing people who care about you to, to become very concerned for you. It's it's right. Really, it's really very shitty. Irresponsible. It's, it's yeah, it's shitty. a shitty thing to yeah. do. Beyond irresponsibility, it's just kind of a dick move. You're basically preying on other people's care for you. I think that's what makes it feel really gross. It gets grosser, believe it or not. I wholeheartedly believe you. If Markiplier you in high school, right? Because those those people went on to become like yeah, YouTube reaction video men. Uh, just the the poggers face in every single thumbnail. If you decide to let someone in on your plan to fake faint, you could have them hit or slap you so hard you faint. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep. Yeah, now you're roping in somebody potentially to be charged with assault. Uh, like, that, that. at that point, literally, like, hey, ma'am, could you knock me out? I really don't want to take this test. And it's like, <laughs> dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? I, y you're asking someone else to get in trouble for you at that point. That's the teenage version of, dude, push me down the stairs so I can collect, like, workers' compensation. Right. <laughs> now, now, this might be a little dramatic and may have repercussions for the person helping you out, but it is a valid reason for a fainting spell that won't seem life-threatening. Fucking... Right. Okay. F fucking cider. Fucking cider. <laughs> All right, let me, let me take this one. All right. Please. Number four. Map out how your fake faint will happen in Morse code. Apparently. In order, Apparently. For, in order uh, for your fake fainting spell to have as little blowback as possible, because, you know, you wouldn't want to actually face consequences for the shitty thing you're doing. <laughs> right. And to achieve the result you're looking for, you'll need to have it planned out as best you can. Your reason for wanting to fake faint will determine the location where it happens. You may have a little more control over when it happens. Uh, what? Aren't you going to have full control over when it happens because it's fucking fake? Right. Isn't that the point? But you need to have extreme control over how it happens 
so as to not injure yourself or cause unintended consequences. I feel like if you wanted to avoid unintended consequences, you just wouldn't, wouldn't do this, but... What are you trying to avoid? <laughs> A friend's wedding? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, I fainted Fuck so you. I can't come to your wedding. The oh. wedding is in four months. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to be fainted for the next four months. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I think that's that's a coma. You're gonna be in a coma. You, th yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be pumping uh, f fresh meat into what is it? <laughs> fresh, like pumping meat through a tube. Through a tube. There it is. Yeah, we're gonna be pumping. Just like you asked. <laughs> now let's go. Now let's go party for it for a few months. Let's go party Europe. around Europe for a few months. <laughs> that's what it was. Because that actually happened. That's what his daughter did. Fucking he, his daughter went, coma, went around right? and partied with the. <laughs> A friend's wedding. So here's the. So if you want to avoid your friend's wedding, right? First, I mean, it's just why, why are you are they really your friend if you want to avoid their wedding? First of all, second of all, right? You, you're you're fucking. You so your your plan has to be, I'm gonna go get fitted for this fucking tuxedo or whatever. I'm gonna oh wear. God. I'm gonna wear it. I, I'm gonna buy them a gifted shit, and then I'm gonna show up to the wedding and then and then faint like on the steps of the fucking church. So right. that way there's there's evidence that I can't go inside? What does this right. mean? How is faint, a fake faint going to la let you avoid your friend's wedding is what I'm asking you. Ro Roswell, Roswell made, a, made a point. Uh, Jordan Peterson didn't go into a coma to get around um, to get around withdrawal symptoms. He did it because he didn't want to attend a friend's wedding. <laughs> That's why he went into a medically induced coma. Uh, it's just, it's such a dumb idea. I don't know how the, I don't, I, this is, a, this is just a bad example of, of things. But, but, I mean, like, but, but they all, they all look bad, don't they? And by the way, if you faint at your friend's, if you, if you do a fake faint at your friend's wedding, you just ruined his wedding, dude. I feel like this is a step up from proposing to your, like, to your partner at your friend's wedding, right? Like, don't, like, and just as a, as a bit of advice for you guys, don't like even as romantic as it might seem. Don't propose to your significant other at a friend's wedding. That day is about them. You know, I never Just let them I, have that day. I I, I never had I, I never heard anybody say that before, but that's so painfully obvious. I'm I'm actually surprised to hear that there are people th that think that's okay to do that. There are people doing that. Yeah. Now there is an exception. If you if like maybe your friend suggests it or you agree on it with your friend. Maybe, but you'd have to have a really close friendship with that person, and like the, the circumstances would have to be really specific. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think that's all horseshit. That's their day, and you're you're, yeah, you're stealing even, the even spotlight. Then, Who the right? fuck does that? Even then, like if they suggested it, I'd probably be like, no, this is your day. Yeah, come on, what the fuck? Uh, an exam that. that you haven't studied for. Uh, maybe you're singing to an auditorium of your peers. And you don't feel ready. Maybe you're singing to an auditorium of your peer. So you're you. So in the sense of like it's a concert of some kind. Like you're singing. Right. It's a, it's a, what this is doing is this is setting you up for like a lifetime of you know not overcoming your anxieties about having to do things. And so right. every every time as you go through life, you know, assuming this is a high school student reading this, right? Because we have to. Mm -hmm. I don't. For, I guess. You're just going to faint instead of doing literally anything. Job interview that you're nervous about, faint. You know, got to give a presentation at work, faint. You know what I mean? You, you, anything that, any responsibility that you might have, you're just going to faint to get out of it, right? Right, like, the only kind of person I can imagine who thinks that faint, like faking a faint to get out of something is a good idea is someone who would abuse it. Right, exactly. Right, they would just do it over and over and over again. Until it becomes their defining personality trait. Right. Uh, to minimize the blowback from your fake fainting spell, you may want to fake faint in front of only a few people. Fainting in front of a lot of people might expose you to some who can easily detect a fake <laughs> fainting spell. And it might also make the moment bigger than you want it to be, hindering a quick exit. When you pretend to faint, try your best to look real. You know, don't just be like, oh my goodness, I got the vapors, in a southern accent, and then collapse while you fan yourself with your hand. You know, right. because then people will definitely know that <laughs> it's fake. You know, this makes me think. 
you know back in the day when women like there was sort of this myth of um the extremely demure woman who you know couldn't handle the slightest impropriety like oh i never yeah that. and they, they would just faint for no reason yeah that I can't help but wonder how much of it was theater. Like, they're trying to prove to their friends and their uh, acquaintances and their peers, like, oh, I am a demure woman, and uh, therefore I faint at the slightest impropriety. It's like almost that, like... That, that was a favorable trait. Right, right, because it, it showed you how, how, how much moral high ground they had or something. Right. It's like this WikiHow article is a way of perpetuating that stereotype of person. I guess I, I'm not, into like, the modern like, age. People are saying yeah. corsets, and some people are saying that corsets do not cause you to faint. Corset thing is not accurate. Corsets literally do not make people faint. Um, all right. I, I mean, there there are people who wear corsets like properly tightened corsets nowadays but people are saying that it wasn't an actual thing it's just a romantic era sort of thing for martin literature okay so it never actually happened it i was could like an ideal although i could believe okay. if you're oxygen deprived you know the sight of a fucking cockroach could make you pass out right i could believe that yeah i, I <laughs> are you, I could, are you I thinking could... of mm. are you thinking of cockroaches because of our conversation last night oh uh, where you called dark side phil a cockroach <laughs> yes <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he got into Dark Side Phil again last night. I don't. Know. You brought I, up Dark Side Phil. I, 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 I'm sorry, but he's so fun to talk about. I get, <laughs> you brought him up. No, I, ex I, I don't think I've ever said this like described it publicly. But like Dark Side Phil is like a cockroach because he literally will not die. He cannot die. He can survive like the worst nuclear fallout, but that doesn't mean I envy him or that I want to be him. <laughs> Yeah. Right? It, it doesn't mean... It, it's not an enviable thing, necessarily. Yeah. Because it's like, hey, yeah, you could survive a nuclear fucking holocaust or whatever, but you're still a cockroach. But you're still a fucking yeah. cockroach, <laughs> right? You're still it's... a cockroach! <laughs> that's... Well. That's that's the best way I can describe him. So, uh, fainting in front of a lot of people might expose you to some who can easily detect a faint, fake, uh, a fake fainting spell. Why is that so hard to say? Someone in chat said only anime protagonists can can detect a faint, a, a fake fainting spell. What was that comment? Where did that go? I don't know. The chat moved. Can you repeat that? Because that was an interesting, it was an interesting thread. Oh, I feel like faking, fake fainting is a bad idea for these kinds of situations in the first place. Was that what you were saying? A uh, cold kombucha. Well, back. Thank you uh, for your new home, Freak. Only conspiracy theorists and anime protagonists can detect fake fainting. <laughs> it, it's like a... It, I'm, I'm thinking like a 999 thing, like, that's not a real faint. Right? Yeah, that, that they would they would start with... Ch right, they do the, the, ah, the anime Ch laugh. Ch 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's a fake faint, you big fat fucking faker. Ch Yo, you're yeah, a big everyone's faker. Got it. You think I can't tell? I can tell. That was a plot no. point in 999. Well, there's a reason I said it. If you think I remember that shit, then you're, you're wrong. But. All right, let's continue. You also don't want to, want to faint uh, during an important event that might affect other people, such as your friend's wedding. Oh, okay. Okay, so th this is like their disclaimer. Because... I'm sorry. If you're if you're here, if you're at this point where you're reading this article, you're totally the kind of person who would do that. If yeah. you if you're willing to if you're willing to fucking fake a faint, right? If you if you're willing to go that far, you're you're willing to do it anytime anywhere no matter who the fucking inconvenience is. So why even bother putting the disclaimer here? Right. Uh, while someone's receiving an award or during the test you're trying to avoid. They're saying, listen, fake faints, but don't be an attention whore about it. You know, that's where they draw the line, right? Yeah, right. Or Calamity. Faker, I think you're the fake fainter around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! Huh. You're not even good enough. I'll make you eat those words! Nah, -uh, you're fake. Nah, -uh, you're you're the faker. You're the fucking faker. Nah, -uh, you, you, nah, -uh, you, no, you, you, you're the faker, <laughs> fucker. 
<laughs> yeah, goof, yeah, fuck you. Fake right. headshot. You can't. also... Sorry, what? Oh, no, keep, keep going. Were you going to do the shadow Oh, voice? hold on. But guy, you... Guys, where, where's the fucking... Come on. Shrado. There we go. Uh, there's there... the Shrado. Nice. Okay. Well, Shrek wasn't involved, but he is now. No, he wasn't, but... But he, but he is now, if you know what, I, know, if you know what I mean. You also don't want to faint during an important event, right? Uh, plan for your fake fainting spell to happen before the event you're trying to avoid. Right. Okay, have a, have a conscience about it. I guess, like, part of what makes this so weird is that they're actively advising you to premeditate it. Right? Like, oh, this, whole, this, is, whole, a pro, this is a prophylactic. The whole thing is premeditation. Right. Now, she's thinking about S, right? Uh, but she's... what if I S? But she's, yeah, what if I S? Okay, I could sit, but what if I S instead? What if, what if I S? She's thinking about S. That's a big boot. Like, imagine, th this seems like one of those things where you have to guess what article it's from. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> completely, I don't know what, the, I don't know what the next section is supposed to be. So I, if I had to guess, it's, what if I get up too quickly? Right? Like, but imagine that this was just completely out of context. What could it possibly mean? Well, like, you'd, you'd never like, be... But what if it's from the article of how to grow someone feet first out of your right cheek? <laughs> how to this grow a like giant study... person, a giant person out of your foot. Right. If, using if you, science. If you, study, if you study under Dennis Prager for long enough. <laughs> Well, you're never, you don't even have a prayer of getting this correct because there's no fainting in this image, right? Right. She's oh. very conscious. She's she's very lucid. Thinking about S. Um, what the what the fuck were, were you saying before we looked at this image? You were you were I, you were onto something. You, what were you saying? Oh, just what if this was com image was completely out of context? No, prior to us even looking at this, I feel like I interrupted you with this pic by scrolling. Did did you? I don't really think you did. I right, forget it. It's think not that important. I like I think about piece. them. The yeah, I felt like I interrupted you when I scrolled down because you know, the, the, look. I mean, look at this. Look at this picture. You know, like look. How, how do you? How did your attention not get immediately hijacked by by this? Right. How to grow a, 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 a giant out of your right foot. This picture is a mimetic virus. <laughs> it does feel that way, doesn't it? Like, you can see the line that's supposed to bisect... It doesn't bisect it, but it cuts diagonally across it. That would be bisecting it, kind of. It It's going over the finger. Yeah. Yeah. So they... So shoddy. They did, they did the, the, the line after the rest of the art or something? Oh my god! Like, you have to learn to cut your strings! She needs to listen to more Jordan Peterson. <laughs> it's a heroic act. Mr. Peterson, we want to be like you. Teach us. Tell us how Mr. to live. Mr. Peterson, tell us how to live. <laughs> tell us what how to fucking... live. I love those fucking things. So do I. They're like the oh, Skeksis. The, um... They they originated uh, from an earlier video where it's like Ben Shapiro owning someone who's dying of cancer. <laughs> it's so funny. Like Ben Shapiro is owning him, right? It's like those are like you are going to die, and those are thousands of dollars worth of like labor from these people uh, who are taking care of you. And then like one of those bird people is peeking in from the door, and it's like yes, yes, Basta Shapiro. <laughs> They own him with facts and logic. It's oh, so that's fucking good. awesome. It's so good. Someone said they're from Dark Souls 3. <laughs> yes, the character model. For Dark Souls. <laughs> okay. That's so fucking awesome. Uh, that's brilliant that he uses that like random enemy as like a stand-in for like these people's fans, basically. Right, right. Oh, it's fucking well, awesome. Was my ben awesome. People, are, people are saying my Ben Shapiro voice was good. Was it good? Yeah, do it again. Uh, was it wet ass p word? <laughs> wet ass. I, I don't. I don't know. W women are not supposed to be wet during sex. <laughs> You're not supposed to be wet during sex. That 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 that's an STD at that point. Okay. 
Objectively speaking, that, that is an STD. <laughs> If your girlfriend is left and there's something wrong with her and you should not be having sex with her, you need to take her to the doctor, objectively speaking. <laughs> Hypothetically. <That's amazing. laughs> is this from the same interview where he admitted he's he he has never been able to make his wife orgasm? I I think so, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's been married to his wife for like ten years and she never had an orgasm. Oh my god. <laughs> and he's and he just thinks that that's fuck that that's that that's going to that it's going to result in anything but ridicule to say that out loud like in front I, of a, <laughs> like in a fucking interview. That's amazing. Oh my, oh god. my god. All right. Fucking part 5. You want to take it? Let's go. Uh, know how your fake fainting spell will happen. <clears throat> know how your fake fainting spell will happen. Will you be standing <laughs> or sitting? Like Let's say You'll be standing or sitting. What symptoms do you think you can effectively mimic? Which way will you fall when pretending to faint? How long will you be pretending to be unconscious? Have these questions answered, hypothetically. It's important to do a dry run of your fake fainting spell. Gently. You don't want to think you can pull it off, only to realize during the act that you're afraid of falling and bumping your head, or that you can't hyperventilate without smiling. <laughs> you also want to ensure that you fall as safely as possible in order to minim minimize potential injury. Okay? Know exactly what you're going to do, so that when you fake faint in front of other people, it will go smoothly. Yeah, Chad's saying make, it's important to do a, a, a very dry run. <laughs> a, dry, a very dry run. God damn. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh, God. You gotta say hypothetically, like, every four words. Gently and hypothetically, chat. Uh, Let's say, for the sake of argument, that you're doing a dry run of your fake painting spell. Okay? <laughs> hey, Fred. I, I've listened to very little Ben Shapiro. This is Fred, the best I can do. Fred, do, do you want to make like, do, do you want to make like shitty G mod videos with like like Ben Shapiro models that you can no, do the, 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 vo no. the voice acting no. with Ben Shapiro, please? No. Why not? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> this is the most association I want with him, like on this stream. This is this is the most I'm willing to to, to dip into it. It's important to do a dry run. Fake <laughs> fade spell. GG Mars. If you have cancer, then perish. If you, you or that you can't hyperventilate without smiling. So that they're afraid. So in other words, they're afraid that you're going to be so giddy about this 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 fucking thing that you're pulling over on everybody that you're going to be chuckling to yourself while you're doing it. Right. Right. But well, this is okay. So this is actually a really interesting thing because um, socio. This is a criminal psychology thing. Uh, sociopaths and uh, compulsive liars when they um right hypothetically. Oftentimes, Hypothetically, yeah. Um, when that well, this is documented. When compulsive liars and sociopaths lie, oftentimes you can tell that they're lying because they start smiling, because there is an excitement uh, and an adrenaline rush to lying because they feel like they're getting away with it. Mm. There's a sort of euphoria that comes along with it. I didn't um, know this. There's a euphoria of playing people, and so. Um, if you ha if you have a um, so <laughs> everyone's chat smiling, God damn it, that's so cursed. Um, but they'll you can tell because oftentimes like they'll say something really terrible or tragic or horrifying or something that should like in any normal person have a very brutal response, but they cap it off by smiling. Right. So it's that feeds into the. It, it is a tell. The, the theory that the vast majority of these WikiHow articles are written by complete sociopaths. The argument that I'm making is if this person has tried to fake faint and has found themselves smiling at it, it's a... I... I'm not saying that they are because there is no possible way I'm being an armchair psychologist, but it falls in line with criminal psychology. I buy it. Don't gotta, don't gotta convince me of that shit.
Now, I caveat, if you, if you like are telling a lie to your friends and then immediate, or immediately like fess up to it, right? If if you're if you're just fucking with your friends, right? And then you like ha have an urge to laugh, that doesn't make you a sociopath. It's cuz you're making a funny. If that was the right, case, that's... then I'm <laughs> extremely sociopathic. Right, right, yeah. right, because you'll just say something. Because I immediately, like, my first reaction is to take things literally. I'm just like, seriously? And then you're just like, no. No, I, yeah, I, I do that way too much. You do that all mm. the time. <laughs> but I, I pretty much I pretty much say that I'm I'm lying almost immediately afterwards. Immediate, yeah, yeah, immediately. That that That's my habit, too. Okay. I, I can't keep it up. Let me take, let me take this one, all right? Okay. 20 Monk seconds, shit tea, right, right Roswell rat. <laughs> oh yeah, remember monk shit tea? Yes. Yeah. Oh, actually, I forgot about fact, monk shit tea. Fun fact: I actually ordered some duck poop tea. Oh, nanny. So, so okay. So here's the funny thing: it's not. It actually has nothing to do with duck poop. It the, at no point in the production of this tea does duck poop come into it. It nobody knows why. It's like it's a colloquial name for this kind of tea. They just call it duck poop tea. They just, for some reason. Where is it from? Duck poop tea. It's Chinese. It's from China. Yeah, it's from China. Fred, I hate to tell you this, buddy, but you've been sucking down duck shit. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm so sorry, man. Listen, sorry. if if it's good <laughs> and you and you like it, then whatever. <laughs> but you know, we're, we're talking about the people who brought you piss eggs. You know, oh, I mean, God. this this is oh, this God, is right. uh, you know, you're drink you're drink you're drinking you're drinking duck shit, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're drinking ground duck shit. Welcome to your new tea, freak. <laughs> 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 know from, your place, duck shit. From the people that brought you boy piss eggs. It's duck shit tea. <laughs> now with extra shit. All right, you ready? All right, let's go. Step six, plan your exit. You should only pretend to be unconscious for a few seconds and a maximum of 20 seconds, even though it's probably going to be really hard to like check the stopwatch while you're pretending to be unconscious. Uh, I don't know about you, but the one, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, that shit never works. Chat can attest to that. Every time I, I try to do that shit, it's a miserable failure. Oh, like, I, I always just imagine a timer in my head. And that works? Yeah. I, I I have a pretty good sense of time, though. It's kind of funny. I'll set a timer, and I'll I'll forget about it for a few seconds, and I'll be, oh, wait, timer's about to be up, and then I'll go and, like, stop the timer half a second before it goes off. It's uh, it's kind of uncanny. It's, it's one of my only talents. It, it must have something to do with, like, your circadian rhythm or some shit. It, I, circ I, circadian rhythm, as far as I'm it's something aware, completely only different. Um, sleep, it is, some, it is but... absolutely something completely different. I just wanted to sound smart for a second. You could just let me have that, man. No. Just I be, can't just, let just, you have just, anything. Just be, like, just be like, yes, Mike, it's the circadian rhythm, yes. What, what a smart, yeah. intelligent man you are, yes. Let's suppose for a second that your circadian rhythm was so off <laughs> that you fall asleep standing up. Hypothetically? Hypothetically. For the sake of argument. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, it says plan your exit, and, like, it says 20 seconds, and but it doesn't show them getting up or, you know, starting to come to from the faint. So I just imagine them wriggling off on the floor <laughs> out the door. <laughs> that's the escape. That's the escape. Yeah, that's, that's the, the escape. That's the exit, just kind of, like, inching like a fucking caterpillar towards the door. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just point out I, this or off like, topic slightly, but I want to point out two two things. You have an absolutely amazing Jordan Peterson impression and an absolutely in, amazing Ben Shapiro <laughs> impression. <laughs> Thank you. And as uh, from what I know of the, the the Dennis Prager guy, it's on point too. I so, I, I appreciate. So it. like, what you 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 we got to make a cartoon of some kind. We gotta. <laughs> I can't. This is amazing. Uh, sorry. Uh, once a person falls to the floor or reclines enough so that his or her head is parallel to the heart, blood flow is almost immediately restored to the brain as is consciousness. And then as soon as consciousness is restored, tentacles sprout from their body and start pulling them out the door. 
There's no God above me. There's no police above me. There's no, there's nothing above me. I am God. And he just fucking said that like, like, like just matter of factly, like it was like, it was common fucking sense. Right. <laughs> Once you pretend to awaken from your loss of conscious, your loss of Launch conscious, of loss of 143 conscious. authors. Mm-hmm. Don't jump up immediately and act as if everything is fine. Plan to st sit still for a few minutes, since it takes about that long for a person to recover from a real fainting spell. Knowing this is important. Yeah, because I mean, just, e even just using common common sense, it's like, oh, would, would I be able to just fucking pop back up and be like, okay, I'm fine, guys, never mind, see you later. <laughs> it The way that this sentence is, or this paragraph this bullet point is written makes it feel like a bible passage by ending it with knowing this is important Jesus right? it feels like you. a psalm yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah. feels like a psalm <laughs> like or or like um or like ecclesiastes there is nothing new under the sun knowing mm -hmm. this is important this isn't the art of war this is learning how to <laughs> fake faint well, that it kind of can be the art of war though you know uh, if this is, maybe I, this, I guess this is part of your this is part of your strategy right I always uh, thought it would be really funny if, like, a general just, in a bad situation, ordered all of his men to suddenly faint. <laughs> like, pre pretend to faint. And then they're like, what? And they walk up, and they're like, what's going on? And then they jump up and start attacking again. It sounds like some shit that, like, Genghis Khan would, would pull. You know, like, he always had, like, little tricks and stuff. Like, like Genghis yeah. Khan's, yeah, he... like, brother that was born, like, eight months too late. Oh, it's like a bitch, like a bad to... Genghis Khan idea, right? Like, <laughs> like stupid Genghis, like Genghis Khan's moron brother. It's like, man, what if <laughs> his name is Pengus Khan because he's a total Peng Peng Pengus. He's a total Pengus. Uh, Pengus. Yeah, well, it's like playing possum, right? Apparently, the Viet Cong did it in 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 Vietnam. Is that uh, Eagle Cohort? Hi, Eagle Cohort. Thanks for coming. I believe it. God, the right. They just like play play possum. Resourceful. You know, and then when they, you know, when they come into, like, sta stabbing range, you, you, you get stabbing. Uh, you don't want to faint during a time-sensitive event and expect to run out immediately afterwards. What? Also, prepare to explain away your fainting as, no, no big deal. Listen, people do it two or three times a year. It's normal. Two or three times a year, the average adult faints out of nowhere for no reason two to three times a year. <laughs> One to two. In in their in their favor, one to two. Wouldn't it be funny if that if that figure continued to grow as the article went on? <laughs> yeah. It's like it starts out, oh, the, a normal adult faints one to two times a year, and it's like, oh yeah, they faint two to three times a year, and later on, you know, five times a year is perfectly normal. It's like, like Joe it's Rogan, not, like so, slowly funny. becoming monkey, right? <laughs> right. It's like, yeah, listen, I faint 11 or 12 times a week. You know, it's not a big deal. I mean, it just happens to everybody. You know, and you, you say this to a normal person. It, you it will explain away your fainting is no big deal. And they're going to be like, go get a brain scan because that's not true. Right. You right. have a fucking brain tumor. Are you kidding me? You have brain Some... cancer. And then they're going to be like, well, hypothetically, I can't do the voice. <laughs> hypothetically. You're dying. Some, sometimes, sometimes when I drink apple cider, I faint. Please say I, I drank apple cider and, and doom. yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you to say. Thank you. That's actually exactly what I was gonna ask. Imp a sense of impending doom. <laughs> thank you for the subs, guys. I saw people sub. Uh, thank you. Uh, how do you say that? Amush, um, am Amanush. Thank you. Or Miss Piggy, I'm going on an all pork diet. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Unfortunately, Miss Piggy was unable to become wet, so... Uh, or actually, actually, that's a good thing in their universe, right? I, I guess, yes. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good thing in, 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 good the uni thing. <laughs> in the universe of these people. All, all women are dehydrated look, in Ben look. Shapiro's ideal universe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dehydrated and powdered instant woman. Like, you're getting ready for space travel. <laughs> Explain away your fainting is no big deal, so that once you should feel fine to stand up and walk away, you can exit the area as quickly as possible. 
Wow. It's like the same strategy for farting in public as it is fainting in public. We already ha we already did a wiki how I know. I know. That. God. I know. Fainting. Yep. You want to uh... method two, fainting in public. Can we just take a look at the art for a second? God, what? it it looks like they they took Spock. Intense. Everyone in this image is of actively avoiding the fainted person. Have you noticed this? Right. Like, look, no, nobody, they're being completely ignored. Look at the face of the kid on the right. right. He's like, he's like, gonna pretend I didn't see that. Just keep walking, you know? It's like, like the, it's like, for, for rely on the bystander effect. Right. Right, they're yeah, they're walking away. Ignored. They know. This they bitch, know. This bitch in the back is like getting ready to step over her and just like keep walking to class. Right, they're, they're just talking to each other. This is the fifth time she's done that this month. But, <laughs> yeah! Well, like, like, this type of thing really only works, like, once, may, may, maybe twice, before people are like, okay, you need to go see a fucking doctor. Otherwise, we're gonna stop paying attention to you, asshole. Right, you think the school nurse is just, like, fainted again. Yeah, I don't know how it happens, teehee. Here's, here's the even worse possibility, right? And this is going right. to be a, like a, a mass, a massive fucking wake up call to the person reading this article. When they faint, and nobody gives a single fuck. <laughs> when they when they faint, and as far as as far as anybody is concerned, it's real, and they just get completely ignored. <laughs> like, I fainted. Right. What, why is it? I'm supposed to be unconscious. Why isn't anyone doing anything? Confirming all their greatest fears about everyone hating them. Mm hmm You want to read this? <sighs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I know nobody Set... liked me. <laughs> Set the stage for your fake fainting spell. Now that you're prepared to make a fake faint look real, you can now make it happen. Once you're where you want your fake fainting spell to happen, make sure the conditions are right for it to occur the way you want it to. Are enough or the right people present? Is the event you're trying to avoid still happening? Is the hallway too crowded? Once you know things seem right, move to the general area where you want your fake fainting spell to occur. A real fainting spell happens fairly quickly from the onset of symptoms. Make sure there aren't dangerous objects nearby that could cause serious injury if you happen to hit them while falling, and make sure you won't hit anyone. Again, it's it's just it's just disclaimer because it's like I don't know. I feel like you don't you don't give a fuck about other people if you're pretending to faint. I'm sorry. Right. Uh is the event that you're trying to avoid still happening is the hallway too crowded? Yeah, I mean you, you, it, when the Man. between class in my high school, right? Between classes, mm -hmm. like, whenever the bell rang and everybody, like, fucking scuffled, they had, like, you know, like, two minutes to get to the next classroom. Mm -hmm. If somebody... Fa there's a, a there's one hallway in particular that I'm thinking of where if somebody fainted in that hallway, they were getting fucking trampled like fucking Mufasa. Right, it's like a mosh pit. Because if you were late to class, you got a fucking... You, you got detention in my high school. So yeah, if, you if got you, reprimanded. If, if you on. fainted in that fucking hallway... You you were going into a fucking whole coma, and you were gonna be fucking eating meat through a tube while your daughter partied across Europe. Okay, <laughs> long long live the king. Yes, long live the king. Cause nobody's like, oh, I'm not getting fucking detention to see if this person's okay. Fuck that. Despite it being a Catholic high school, by the way. Want to point that Christ. out? Christ indeed, or actually, <laughs> dis despite or Christ, thereof. despite Christ, despite Christ. I wasn't getting detention I, to fuck check on some. Fuck them. Get right, out of here. Right. I had video games to play at home. You kidding me? <laughs> you fucking freak. Yeah. <laughs> freak. I, I I just realized someone might be using this to test their significant other. Right? Like, what would this person do if I fainted? Would they look out for me? Would they catch me? And I'm going to tell all of you right now. If you have a partner that fucking tests you, get out. That is a red flag. And when someone shows you their true colors, believe them the first time. Because those tests aren't going to stop. 
that's insane. Yeah, that's fucking it, insane. That's insane. often it it yeah, it, it can be it can often be a byproduct of trust issues for the person, right? Like maybe the person was in a bad relationship and they needed to make sure that like they felt like they needed to make sure that this person would be okay this time that they like they needed to know sooner rather than later before the relationship got tested but that person is very clearly not ready for another relationship like red flag step away like i it'll be hard for them you know especially be careful if there's someone that gets really attached really quickly right god what good advice though seriously yeah he's right uh, fucking normal, normal people with, without like severe emotional issues aren't aren't, aren't gonna aren't gonna like test you, and, and fuck. Listen, that, 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 that doesn't mean that that person might not be like deserving of love or, or something like that. Right? But, no, but, this you know, isn't, this isn't necessarily a judgment on them, right? Like the person could easily have extenuating circumstances. They may have uh like really bad trust issues. It could be because of abuse, right? Like this isn't. This isn't, this is a terrible person and you need to get out. It is a shitty thing to do, but people who do shitty things aren't always necessarily shitty people. They can have reasons. You can, you can, you can respect why someone is doing something, but you don't have to go along with it, right? Like you don't have to make excuses for your partner. I mean, be, be aware that those issues it's, are, are going to become your issues in that, in that type of yes, situation. Right? It's right um people are yeah, saying a that the, of a deeper issue the, the music or... was perfectly timed why what what song was that like was it i like, think it was just like what video motivated. game was was fucking relevant to what he was just talking about it was just sad it was just yeah oh it's from pokemon six, yeah six-eyed rasmus it's the cool motive still murder meme yeah basically it's like like i understand why you did it you still are being shitty. Right. I mean, God knows I've done I've done shitty things, right? Because you know I I like there have been perfectly good reasons for it, but what I still like still what I did was shitty. At least you could recognize that's, what, you, what you did was right, shitty, right? Right. Like that's like hopefully the person recognizes what they're doing is is shitty and they can use that to grow from it. Hopefully, it's possible. But you know, I I think. Growth is, is hard for people like that. Mm -hmm. Um So anyway, Fred. Fuck breakfast. Fuck yeah. Bre yeah, fuck <laughs> it's breakfast. Fuck bacon, eggs, and toast again. Fuck. Fucking bacon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you heard the good word about the, the anti breakfast religion? <laughs> anti bacon? It, it, I think that's actually just like Islam. It, 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 that actually it, just <laughs> that actually just exists. Never mind. That actually no just cloven, exists. Yeah. No cloven who. Yeah. Yeah. Don't he's... eat any animal. Like don't eat the meat of any animal that has cloven hooves. You want to join the, the the fuck breakfast club? Hell yeah! I fucking hate fuck. breakfast. Fuck breakfast. That was a terrible movie. The fuck breakfast club. <laughs> Dude, it was just about a bunch of kids in in fucking detention, like just like getting it on with some toast. It was like, what? What am I watching here? What, what, what? What's wrong with this? this, this, this what's yeah, his like, fucking name? Some, Hugh John Hughes. I almost said John dude, Williams. <laughs> some dude cozied up to me, and in a very disconcerting and low voice said, "Hey, you ever noticed that two over medium eggs kind of look like titties? Oh, Have you ever?" Oh, pa. Oh, pa. Boba for breakfast. <laughs> That's why they call them milkers. Got him. Fucking yeah, we, bacon. Chicken chicken menstruation. Yeah, that's a actually. Can, can we talk about how that's not accurate? Oh, that's not true. We've already we already yeah, had this conversation but... during the Warrens. Did we? Yes. That, right, that's well, my that's the reference I'm making. Let's uh, re re reiterate. Re reiterating that that's not that's not true like that that's fucking not, no. chicken menstruation is not eggs it's not the same it, it's 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 a faulty it's a fucking false equivalent uh, equivalent thank you it's a false equivalency all right so these guys hate breakfast uh what's going on here you want to read that yeah complain about having symptoms of fainting <laughs> when you're ready <laughs> begin exhibiting symptoms of fainting this should only occur for a few minutes in total if you plan to use not 
If you plan to use not as your excuse not eating breakfast, mention people. that you're very hungry. 143 authors. Mm -hmm. If the room is crowded <laughs> or stuffy, you could start complaining about feeling hot. Oh my god, if I feel so hot. Guys, are you hot? Oh my- oh yeah, I feel- I've been feeling so lightheaded. Oh gosh. Oh, oh I don't feel so good. If you're walking, start slowing down, hold your head a little, and say you feel dizzy. You can blink or squint your eyes, complain of nausea, pretend to suddenly lose energy, and say you feel weak. Keep up this last symptom for one to two minutes. <laughs> Oh, I feel so weak. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, <five> Mississippi. exactly. <laughs> I feel like if I was witness to this, I would be like, that That felt a little bit too convenient. Um, What is he trying to get out of? You know, like, I don't think... <laughs> I think... Sorry. It, I, I believe in order to pull off a really convincing feint, you probably have to be a, a fucking actor. Like, you, you have to be a trained fucking, like, stage actor, man. Right. So, sorry about just laughing for no reason. I, I read Dr. Ball's PhD. Oh, what did they say? Writing, uh-oh, chat, I don't feel too good, smiley face. Yeah, right, that. <laughs> Harkening back to the the so sociopath smiling. Uh, uh the, the emo. Yeah. Yeah, just that smile, the colon, close parenthesis. It's just, mm. it, I, I feel like... You're not going to be able to effectively fake this by reading this article. Like you're not, you're, you're not going to. This is this this is a failure of an article on several levels, is what I'm saying. Because this isn't even going to teach you how to fucking fake a faint. Like it's not even going to. Right. Do that. Um. Th that this was something that we this is something that we brought up in the last wiki. How it's this is detailed, but not detailed enough to actually help you if no. you're completely clueless. No, it's and it's frustrating. Useless. Yeah, it's useless. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, tummy hurty. Yeah. <laughs> Number three. Look get in Lorca. position where you'll faint. So like right outside of an open window? Like you wanna be so you wanna be next to an open window when you faint. <laughs> Step three, defenestrate yourself. <laughs> um can we talk about this guy's mouth for a second? What the fuck is going- He looks like he got his mouth sewn shut. He looks like he belongs in one of Gabe's the Odyssey. The the, the odd world <laughs> the odd world games that that too i was i was thinking he should have been um hanging out next to jordan peterson in the bed next uh, to him uh -huh. you ever see the you know the Tell matrix us how to live the what you know when the, they put the fucking like the centipede robot into into yeah. fucking neo's uh yeah, the matrix. Be be belly button yeah it looks like he's and, part and, he's he's in the process yeah. of his melt of his mouth melt and the his, mouth melting off yeah is, and, and his like lips fuse together yeah that's yeah that's what's going on. he got the robot peed in his in his belly button get in position where you'll faint while exhibiting your symptoms and without drawing attention to your movements move into the spot where it seems safest to fall so, like, not next to an open window. Why is this image here, then? If you plan on fainting while sitting, pretend you're too weak to stand and take a seat. You could say that you feel kind of weird and that you think you need a, a glass of water or some fresh air. Oh, that's why, that's why the window is opening. Okay. Yes. Maybe ask someone to open a window. If you are windowless. If you are windowless. <laughs> Again, it feels like these were written by an alien. If you are windowless, have you gone windowless yet? I've gone paperless and windowless. I'm this trying to like reduce that... my carbon footprint, you know? No, th this is like that Doctor Who episode where people get holes in their skulls that they can open up by snapping their fingers. I don't remember that one, but that sounds weird as fuck. It, it, it's really weird, and it, oh, Doctor Who, like, I, I'm talking about, you know, the reboot. That who was the doctor th uh, up th up through um like it acting? was uh David Eccleston. Okay, I wa I watched that. Yeah, I yeah. watched this. I watched like, the Eccleston who. Yeah. Doctor Who from Eccleston to Tenet was just fucking amazing. And like I think people forget just how fucking weird and uncomfortable it got. And like almost eldritch a lot of the time. Oh, I, a lot of those episodes were, were genuinely fucking creepy. Creepy they were and terrifying. Yeah, creepy yeah. And, and like disturbing. Were, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because like the hole opens up in their forehead and you see their brain. 
Like, that is body horror shit. Yeah. Like, there's so much body horror in Doctor Who. <laughs> it's fucked up. It, like, it, that it, show it, got fucked up. It's a, it's a great show. If, if, you know, if you haven't seen it, guys, you should... Uh... Yeah, st I would say start with Eccleston, but I'm saying that because I didn't watch anything like pre-Eccleston. Yeah, uh, it's... It's really hammy before then, and then after Eccleston, it kind of goes down. Like after a uh, Tenet, Tenet like Eccleston did a really great job of reviving the character. Tenet made him into a really relatable and fantastic. Like built the character up mm -hmm. really well, mm -hmm. and then after that, it just kind of. Well, Matt kind of Matt Smith was stuff. in between them, or he was after Tenet. Matt Smith came after. Like it went straight from Eccleston to Tenet. Smith, that was that wasn't bad though. Smith was good. No, so he, that people was, keep Smith saying was pretty Moffat. pretty damn good. I, Oh no, I'm not saying I'm not saying that the actors are bad. No, just the, I'm the, the error. Writing, I mean the, the error. He like, yeah, he the, he means the error of the show when he says Yeah, the, the actors, actors yeah. were all great, right? Like they always get great actors for the doctor. The problem is like the scripts that they're given. They only like they can only work with what they're given. Uh so okay, so right, you need to go windowless. Someone in chat said, "Yeah, I use Linux." Oh, get fucked, Bill Gates. I mean, listen, that's a big mood after the fuck what the Windows updates have been doing to me lately. <laughs> like, I would love to go fucking windowless. Uh, if you are windowless or have no water around, just say you think you need to sit down, go out for fresh air. What it sounds like, no, what it sounds like is um, a speedrun strat, windowless. Like, speed fainting, any percent, windowless percent. Win windowless, any percent. Windowless percent. Window yeah, it's like percent. or the windowless skip. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, uh, sit for a bit and get up slowly, then stumble a bit and fall forward. Before you do that, say something such as "I just ellipses." Make sure you don't so finish your hammy. sentence unless it's short. That's so it's hammy. Short. <laughs> That's so hammy. Oh. The these people just got their how to faint advice from like watching TV shows, like like bad soap operas and shit. Don't forget to go <sighs> before you faint. <sighs> yeah, make a sound like that as you go down. Yeah. <laughs> you want to take this? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Don't forget to fucking body slam the ground, cause fuck <laughs> Mother Nature. <laughs> Fuck the earth. Make it humble. <laughs> Put Fuck it in the, the camel earth. clutch. <laughs> the earth is the jabroni of the earth. <laughs> rub rub its titties into dust. <laughs> the tit rubber. The tit rubber. <laughs> did you show your chat the tit rubber? I did show my chat the tit okay, rubber. Okay, good. Who hasn't seen the tit rubber? Who hasn't seen? Ah, uh, fuck. Where's Tit Rubber at? Oh, I'm in the wrong DMs. Oh, where's the Tit Rubber at? Yeah, we're doing this. Uh, actually, fuck. Where is it? Ah, where did the Tit Rubber go? Ah, it's in. It's it's in our DMs. It's not that far up. Oh, it's, here, here it is. It's tit, right tit, above tit, tit, um tit. Sonic saying, "Just dropped my new single. It's me. I'm single." Oh, yeah, elite Sonic fan. Yeah. <laughs> the tit rubber. Tit rubber. Okay. Do you want? Can you can you read this for everybody, please? Gladly. Yeah, please read that. Number forty-eight. Tit rubber. Height six foot one. Attitude bad. Hair beautiful. Step into the ring Whoa. with significant tip meat. It's first huh? person. It's first person, so you got to do a wrestler voice. Right. Step into the ring with significant tip meat, and boy, I am going to rub them tits down. <laughs> Slap my hand on them tits, I will. Then I'll press real hard, and you'll scream. You'll say, not my precious tits, but I will say, oh, yeah. Goodbye, tits. <laughs> I will rub your tip meat into dust, you piss. Nobody got better tip meat than me. Copyright 1991, Paperback Paradise. Better not got great tit meat. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, oh, tits. yeah. I'm really... I was trying to do my own. I was trying to, like... Like, I, I obviously <laughs> wanted to go a little bit into um, into Hulk Hogan, but I also wanted to, wanted to make it my own a little bit. 
was my goal. You, you achieved it. I love how the so, implication is he does this because nobody can have better tit meat than him. Right. Like, You're that's the thing. To. Like, it's no a, one's it, allowed to come close. Yeah. <laughs> I also enjoy using, like, calling someone piss as an insult. Like, you piss. <laughs> right, right. Have you ever noticed how much piss comes up in Paperback Paradise anything? He, like, ha having yeah. piss drain from the bottom of yeah. your foot? They, they find because piss you don't very have a amusing. Piss sack. They, they find piss to be very funny, and I, yes. I, gotta, I gotta say, I, I, do, I do too. I, you know, Sorry, like, I do. I do. you know, I think they're right. Yeah, yeah it's like they got, they make a good point. They're on, they're on to something here. Yeah. Now, now let's say, hypothetically, for the sake of argument, you step into the ring with significant tip meat, and boy, I am going to rub them tits down. Set my hand on them tits, I will. Then I'll press real hard, and hypothetically, he'll scream. He'll say, not my precious tits. But I will say, oh yeah, goodbye, tits. <laughs> I will rub your tit meat into dust, you piss. Nobody got better tit meat, tit meat than me. Oh, Fuck, I fucked it up at the end. I, I love how we fucking like, unlocked a new, a new Fred voice tonight. <laughs> I've had this voice for a while. Just nobody asked. <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't know there was no, There was no point to bringing it up. Wet ass p word. Wet ass t word. Yeah, he wouldn't say tits. He, he's he's too no. he's too refined for that. Dry ass titty. Dry ass titties. Uh, you want to read this shit? Yes, I'm I'm ready. Pretend to faint. Make sure you fall safely. You don't want to hit your head and hurt yourself. If you are standing, buckle your knees and let them hit the ground before you attempt to drop your torso. Make sure you go fast enough without yeah, making it look as if. A 5,000 volt surge of lightning has rushed through you, or it will seem fake. But it won't seem very fake. specific. Yeah, if it's just like a, a 4,300 volt surge of lightning. Right. You're, you're safe up to 4,999 4, volts. After that, people are going to start calling you out on your shit. Right. <laughs> That's the cutoff. If you are sitting, relax and imagine you actually are fainting. Let yourself fall off the chair, as it is unlikely you would stay on there if you actually did faint. Try to land on the back side of your thigh, not your hip or tailbone. Then quickly drop your torso. Just close your eyes and let all your muscles completely weaken. Just relax. Act as if you have no bones and <laughs> fall to the floor in a crumpled heap. This will seem real. See, this it's doing it again. Real. It makes it sound like a psalm. <laughs> Knowing this, this is important. Real. Knowing this is... <laughs> exactly. Also, when I see act as if you have no bones, it reminds me of uh, Mischief Man. Did I ever show you Mischief Man? Uh, no, what's Mischief Man? This is something that I think only I know about or something. So, you know Clickhole. We talked about Clickhole before. We were talking about Clickhole last night. Uh... Yeah, um, yeah, we the, web, the website, Afternir. the website that does the uh, fucking like the parody articles and shit. Right. Yep. So they also do click ventures, which are basically. Um, I've no, I've I've done them. I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, it's okay, like a choose, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, a choose your own adventure, but it's all like it's fucking surreal and stupid and funny. Yeah. Right. Did uh, did did you did you do um did you do join this cult? I I fuck I don't I, they haven't done that shit in years, have they? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think... Does Clickhole still exist? It, it still exists, definitely. Yeah. I'm following them. So there was one about, like, a meatless man... A boneless man? A meatless man. A boneless no, man. No, it's... No, it, it's... um mis Like, their god Mischief Man will return to Earth to remove everyone's bones. Oh, sounds hot. Yeah, so everyone can just be sacks of organs. Bones are kind of an inconvenience, aren't they? I vehemently disagree. How so? Why? Well, I mean, they give your body structure. They protect your organs. Mm -hmm. They let you move. I mean, I mean, if you had to, like, slurp your way across the ground, think about all the chafing. Right, but can I point out to you that octopuses can do all of that stuff with no bones? Right, but they're in the ocean. 
Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a very significant difference. <laughs> like, have you seen an octopus out of the ocean? It turns into a little pancake. It has, it has a hard time. Yeah, true. Yeah, it, it, ha yeah, it, it can go for a little bit. Well, then what, what about the, 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 the Pacific Northwestern tree octopus? <laughs> what was what happened with that? I remember that was a jape, but like, how how did that happen? Like, what's the story behind that? This guy, a, 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 a long time ago. I don't know how many years ago, but this, this, this has been this going on. This sounds like Ken M. This, this is, sounds like Ken M. To me, I don't know who that is, but th this has been going on a long time. This guy made a website about the protection and conservation of the Pacific Northwestern tree octopus. It's an octopus that's native to like Oregon and Washington state. And it uh, lives in, you know, the rainforests up there and it jumps from tree to tree. And it's, uh, I think it's like semi-aquatic, like it'll occasionally return to the water, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to live in the water. And it, uh, you know, he made up a, a cryptid basically. And right. th th this, this website, is extremely detailed like he went into like he made up a lot of fake shit about this to make it seem very real and it's gotten to the point where people will will use it in like critical thinking studies and stuff like that like they'll show it to children and okay. be like what do you think about this article like they'll show them the website and ask them oh do you, do you think that this octopus actually exists and uh you know m most of the time the the, ki the kids will, will will be like yeah of course it does you know, and they're they're kind of actually using it in studies to to figure out how to how to get people to stop believing fake news and shit like that. Right. You know, it, it's become important in the, the the quest to combat disinformation as like a case study, because there are so many people walking around believing that those tree octopuses exist because of this person's website. Well, you want to know the frustrating thing? What? I guarantee you that the majority of the kids who were in classrooms, like, learning about this, their takeaway wasn't to avoid disinformation. Their takeaway was that there is this amazing tree-swinging octopus in the Pacific <laughs> Northwest. It's cool as shit, right? That's the- I guarantee you, a majority of the kids who go through that, they don't remember the disinformation part, they just remember it's something about a swinging tree octopus. And isn't nature crazy? And, like, years later, they'll be talking about- they'll be telling people that this tree octopus exists. You know, right. completely forgetting the, the the reason that they were shown the tree octopus. Exactly. The same as the tiny hippos. It's a lot like the tiny hippos thing, yeah. Uh, all right. So crumpled heap. This will seem real. There it is again. <laughs> Twenty-one this looks seconds. Like a shit post. Again. Twenty. Se if you get up on the twentieth second, you're good. If you get up on the twenty-first, the twenty-first second. The, the jig is up. It's over. The gig is up or the, the jig is up? What is it? See, the jig is up. That's it. You, that, that one extra second is the difference between you pulling this off and everybody knowing that you're full of shit. The I, one I, is photoshopped, like, it is. Yeah, it definitely is. I like how the implication of this is if you accidentally drop your human on the ground, they're still okay to eat for the first 20 <laughs> seconds. Yeah. But after 21 seconds, you'll have to throw it out. Is the 20 second rule. Yes. If you pass 20 seconds, you will enter a coma. Respawn. <laughs> Wait. My, Skull Jester, Mike, he's down to help him. I'm not gonna help. What? Oh, cause he fainted? <laughs> yeah. No, no, he, he, was, he was shot. In game. Oh, somebody shot him. Yeah, in, in game. Yeah, you're playing a game, and he, and he he got taken down. You have to revive him. Somebody is saying, uh, respawn timers. Yeah, <laughs> respawn timers. Res me. No, fuck no. I'm busy. Res me. I'm not getting detention for your ass. You got Bitch, 21 your DPS seconds. Your has to been terrible this entire raid. You stay down. <laughs> You, you're a hindrance, if anything. <laughs> like I said, you know, th this, this is, this is nuts, because you're not going to be able to look at a stopwatch while you're pretending to be unconscious. First of all, second of all, all the people that you're trying to bamboozle with this, 
aren't going to be able to, you know, realize that you've been down for 20 seconds, nor are they going to be aware of the 20 second rule that's being put forward in this article. Unless, of course, it's you. Who has, like, mastery of all time and knows when, when a certain amount of time has passed just innately because of your perfect circadian rhythms. Which is what they're called. We learned that earlier. <laughs> Pretend to be unconscious for a few seconds. Lie on the ground. Make sure you aren't stiff. And when someone, and if someone attempts to lift an arm and shake it, let it completely relax. And when they drop it, just let it fall. This is a common fake spotter test. Unconscious people don't have control over their limbs. Someone should come over to see if you're okay, causing a diversion for whatever occasion. Don't stay down there too long, or someone might call the emergency services. Unless you want that to happen, make sure you don't stay out for more than 20 seconds. You know, let's just feign illness and take up hospital resources. Let's go. D d it, unless you want that to happen. So right. at this point... You are potentially killing another human being, and that's not, it's not exaggerating whatsoever. I just imagine someone fainting, and then, like, immediately someone says, Call an ambulance! And the person gets up and yells, No! <laughs> I only have 500 in my bank account. What? While, while that, that ambulance is on its way to this faker, there's somebody actually dying somewhere. Oh, right. But, you know, as part of their scheme to get out of doing their... Take that pop quiz or whatever the fuck. Or, you know, uh, go into their friend's wedding, right? Mm. Somebody has to sacrifice their life for this. Somebody has to sacrifice their life for this ruse that this person is trying to pull off. Uh, you know who would really be upset by that? Mm. Ben Shapiro. <laughs> yeah. Right. You are dying. Let's say, for the sake of argument, you're a cancer. Let, let's say you have two weeks to live. Let's say you have one week to live. You are like you have to be taken care of, and you're taking up thousands of dollars of like I I I can't I I don't know what the clip is from, but that's the clip used in the animation for him. We're like that's just that's still stuck in your head too, isn't it? Like just his animation. I, I don't I don't even need to know the the broader context of of it to tell you what the fuck he's talking about. It's some kind of like you're a parasite on society argument. No, I know. It's some I kind know. of obje saying, objectivism like, it, bullshit. If someone is dying anyway, don't waste resources on them. I know the argument he's making. Yeah, like like fuck you, die, you know. Perish. Yeah, just perish, yeah, exactly. Just, just perish. <laughs> perish. Uh for... <laughs> Unless Can we talk you want that to happen, make sure yeah, like just the fear of a of an ambulance bill will be enough to revive the person. In the U.S., right? In the U yeah, in the U.S., uh, obviously. Can we talk about the common fake spotter test? A is that common? Like, let's suppose your friend just... Like, let's suppose we're hanging out, right? And you just faint, like fall to the ground. Yeah. I feel like that's a movie thing where you pick up someone's arm to see if they're dead, right? Like, that's I not something someone actually does. Like, if you fall to the ground and, like, I'm going to immediately assume that something is wrong with you. I'm going to be checking for vital signs, not checking to see if you're fucking with me. So, that's what I would do, but... If the first thing that this person is worried about is someone checking to see if they're faking, like, if that's what they think their friends would do, what kind of friends do you think this person has? Obviously not friends for whom they'd want to go to their wedding. Right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. It all, it all connects up. A common fake spotter to, I, I, yeah, I, I feel like you and I would give people the benefit of the doubt. Oh my god, that guy fainted. What reason would he have to fake a faint? Like, that, that wouldn't even enter our fucking minds. But clearly the existence of this article is, is, is showing us that that benefit of the doubt uh, is, is erroneous. Uh, by the way, before I forget, uh, Crest Fresh is a cocksucker. Congratulations, nice. <laughs> Very nice. 
Oh good. A common fake spotter test. Yeah, I mean I don't I don't I'm just I'm just gonna call I'm just gonna don't don't fuck with me. I'm just gonna call the ambulance. I'm just gonna call the ambulance. And you know what? That's this 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 is again, this is sociopathic because you are taking that 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 ambulance away from somebody who might be actually like having a heart attack or something. I mean like more immediately, you're taking advantage of the goodwill of your friends. More immediately, yeah. Yeah, like th this is an abuse or of family. trust. Or family. Or I don't like, know. I, I feel like I feel like we're stating the obvious here, things that don't need to be stated. But I guess like this is where, like at this point in time, because this is the actual act of it, this is where it's coming to a head. Fred, this where... this is th this is the website for people who who don't understand extremely obvious things. As we're gonna right. see, as we're gonna see later tonight. By the way, um, there is just some things that. You're not just even supposed to think about. Remember, like, think about some of the articles we've already seen. This website Wait a, should not exist. Wait a minute. Someone in chat made a point. Who, what? Where does the link on call the emergency services go? You want to find out? How, it says WikiHow, how to call emergency services. Oh, you clicked it? No, you're just hovering. You can see the link in the bottom left corner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I did oh. what, call my. This is exactly the point I was just making. Who the fuck doesn't know how to call 911? You see what I'm saying? I, what? You know, this actually, website is pointless. There actually is a hypothetical um, that I was considering. I realized that if I went to Europe and an emergency happened, I wouldn't know how to get to emergency services. You think every European country has a different, a different uh, number to call? They do. Oh, all of them? Every I don't know one. if all of them do, but uh, different countries do have different uh, numbers. Some of them are 999. Yeah, Europe is 999. Okay, thank you, everyone. I actually was wondering that. Okay. It's so, one, someone's saying 112, 42069. <laughs> oh, if you call 911, it will still connect you to emergency services. Good to know. Really? Operator, I need 911. <laughs> What's that joke from? I know I've heard it somewhere. The, the, in the amount of time that it's... So, so somebody somebody's dying in front of you, right? And you're like, right. fuck! I don't know what to do! Oh my god! I, I gotta go to WikiHow! They're already dead. Oh, They're dead. Right. They're, they're it's... dead. It's too late. They're dead. You're, while you're <laughs> typing in WikiHow.com, they died. Yeah, if only the site loaded faster. Take this advice and shove it up your nose. <laughs> yeah, you like that? <gasps> you like that? It reminds me of that commercial. Uh, applied directly to the forehead. Right. Faint be gone. Applied directly to the nostril. Slam it on in there. Don't be shy. <laughs> if you don't have a bong, just take the weed and shove it up your nose. <laughs> Then shove, light it. Shove those dank nugs straight up your nostril. And light. I, I saw a video of someone who actually did that. They gave Took her the, the they, weed. They, they gave her the smelling salts. Are you? Okay. You, are you saying you saw a video of somebody like set weed on fire they while it was in their nose? Took. Yeah. They 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 got weed smoldering inside of their nostril. Wow. What a hero. Why? I, I guess they didn't have a water bottle. Damn, that's powerful. So they died, right? They, they, Gamby move. Yeah. Oh my god, that is yeah, a Gamby move. No. That's a fucking Gamby move. You want to read this shit? Yeah. Open your eyes and take a deep breath. Water flowing underground. People <laughs> who have fainted will often awaken having not remembered that they fainted. Say all you can remember is feeling hot and that it looked as though someone dimmed the lights in the room. This is bullshit, by the way. If you just faint out of nowhere often it's because you got up too fast you'll remember starting to lose consciousness i that, only like yeah oh. that happened to me um like i i very much remembered falling over like that it you can remember i only like the fall I only ever fainted once and it actually wasn't uh it wasn't fainting it was a seizure because i was um I was withdrawing from Xanax, so I fucking was, mm. it was like a drug withdrawal seizure. And I was on the phone with one of my friends, and I just fucking, I, 
I, I, I don't, I don't remember the, the, the fainting. I just, rem I, I remember talking on the phone with one of my friends. Uh, yeah, yeah, gu guys, I'm telling you, it's a miracle I'm, I'm alive after all the fucking, the, the, the shit that, that's gone on with me. Uh, I was talking on the phone with them, and the next thing I remember is looking at a paramedic who was like kneeled over me. Jesus. I like slammed into the floor, and my mother heard the bang. And ran into the room and called the cops. The cops, the, the, the paramedics, cops. Emergency, called 69420. The emergency, emergency cops. Emergency services. <laughs> 69420. Uh, yeah, it was that's not. For it, you, that's for when you need an emergency stripper. I, I think, I think if my mother <laughs> wasn't home, I think if I was alone in the house and that happened, what probably w would have went down is I would have just woken up. And right. I, I would have woken up and been like, "What the fuck? Why am I on the floor?" Like, I don't, I don't think the paramedic was was like needed, is what is what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't think right. the paramedic like saved my life or whatever. But right, right, right. Well, that's the only time in my life I, I ever like I came close to fainting. Right. So, I, and I don't, I don't remember. The point was, I don't, re I don't remember it at all. Mm -hmm. Um, an unconscious Italian is an illegal Italian. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, the call cops. the police. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Xanax, by the way, is, is fucking terrible. And if you are... See, here here was the thing, right? I was taking a bunch of Xanax, and then um, I, I changed the doctors. Uh -huh. And my, uh, my, my, my new doctor was, was like, you don't need that anymore. So I'm no. not... He was like, you don't need Xanax, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give it to you. So then I just didn't have it. And uh, what happens when you, like, violently just g get jerked off of a fucking... No, he didn't wean me. No, you're supposed to... Yeah, wean. I think it's W-E-A-N, Vinehart, not wean, yes, like, you know, we, like, 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 peach wean. Uh, W-E-A-N is what you're looking for? Uh, yeah, you're su yeah, you're supposed to wean off of drugs like that. You can't just abruptly stop taking a drug like... I was gonna say a drug right. like that, but I think most drugs you, you can't just cold turkey like you have to wean off most like psychoactive drugs you taper mean? i guess uh i think I, I think antidepressants will do that too somebody's saying zoloft mm. uh yeah i think antidepressants will also do that you, you need to like slowly just decrease the medication until you don't have it anymore right but anyway it would be weird Very... if you got up from fainting and you were like well the last thing i remember was i was looking at this wiki wikihow article about how to pretend how to faint, and then I came over here and and faked the fainting, and now and now and now I'm I'm and now I'm awake. Oh fuck! I blew it. I blew and now it. Now I'm Italian. Make sure to hile when you're getting up. Our both both of our brains went the the to the exact <laughs> same place. That, I it's, we both went just, to the exact same place, dude. We did. Janice, now is not the time to hide the Führer. We gotta get you to. We gotta get you to a doctor. This feels like a terrible sitcom pitch. Wait. I fainted, <laughs> woke up, and now I'm a Nazi. Whoopsie Daisy. <laughs> what the hell happened while I was unconscious? You're in Nazi Germany. Bum bum bum. Hypothetically, what happened to me? <laughs> Text. You, you just you, you time travel every time you faint or some shit. What is it? <laughs> like, a, did you inhabit the body of a different person, or a different person inhabits your body? Oh right, it's um, it's the fucking um, it. Oh, what what are they called? Fuck, I I'm forgetting. Um, Quantum leap. The great race of Yith. It's the great race of Yith all over again. Not familiar with that. It's Lovecraft. Basically, they're uh, time travelers. Like they're not time travelers. What they do is, in order to in like time travel and learn about things throughout the past and the future, they. Um, I'm spoiling the entire story for you, by the way. Um, you see the chat, by the way. They. Yith. Yeah. The great, great race of Yith. The great, great race of, of Yith. Of Yith. No, Y I T H. Lovecraft was a furry. Um, it, in order to learn about different times and different places, they will essentially have the mind of one of their race swap bodies with with like a sentient creature from that time and place, 
and let them live for a while, absorb a ton of information, like study it, learn it, and then swap the bodies back. So basically the person loses their minds for like a couple of years. And, and then they just then. they they just don't remember the, the the years where they were inhabited by this time traveling entity. Well, no, they do. The thing is that their consciousnesses swap, and so basically, oh. the great race of Yith teaches the person about their like they let them live in their society oh, for a while. I, well, that doesn't seem terrible. I mean, it, it's not. It's it's actually just really interesting. The great race it's, of Yith. It's of, pretty of, cool. Of Yith. Great race of Yith. It's cone um, barnacle the, people. Oh, that's the great. problem is like the people don't really remember it. Um, oh. Like the the person in the story was haunted by nightmares of it. Well, that sounds interesting. Yeah, I've seen I've seen that before as a time uh, travel concept. There's a fucking TV show that my brother uh, likes uh, on uh, Netflix where they time travel like that. Uh, oh, really? Travelers, it's called. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, they took that it, from Lovecraft. Right. Um, Shadow out of time. Thank you. I couldn't quite remember the story. Uh, uh, no, I read that. I read that. No, I know exactly what you're talking about now. Okay. I just didn't remember that they were called the Great Race of Yith. So I'm sorry. The, the way that Lovecraft described that creature in that book, I will actually never forget in that short story. It's great. I, uh, it, it's like a big, yeah, cone-shaped vagina man with like a single <laughs> giant, like a single giant foot with toes. Right. And like a, and like a bunch of like wiggly shit on top of his head. Yeah. I, I love the artistic interpretations of it. Have you seen some of them? I I believe I have at some point, yeah. Yeah, they're they're fucking great. Hotter than the lavaliers. Are you trying to say langoliers? The lang the lavaliers. The lavalier <laughs> microphones, yeah. I love it. Uh, let's continue here. Sorry, we're laughing at you. I'm sorry. It's all good. Sit up slowly, and after a moment, stand or get someone to pull you to your feet. After a moment, you can attempt to stand and sort of waver a bit again, so people think you might faint again, and we'll all rush to your aid. God, this is sociopathic. <laughs> At this moment, if people are asking you questions, you can begin to explain your fake faint aw and away as harmless. And no one will believe you! <laughs> and all will rush to your aid. The world does not revolve around you, you cunt. But it does for this moment. What? Someone just pointed out, what is going on with her legs? Uh, that's... She's goose-stepping, dude. That's normal. Oh, stop. That's a, that's stop. a, norm, a normal Nazi fainting spell right there. That's stop. what it looks like. <laughs> it happens to every Nazi two or three times a year. It's totally normal. Stop asking questions about it. It's to <laughs> totally normal. This feels like a bit out of um, Der Fuhrer's face. Why is where, that where familiar Donald to me? Duck dreams? Huh? Uh, yeah, that's why that's familiar. Yeah, Donald Duck. Yeah, yeah. when Donald Duck. Yeah, where Donald Duck. Yeah, yeah it, it's like he faints, and then I imagine him like suddenly waking up and going and like hiling. <laughs> yeah. Right. You like <laughs> when he wait. I can't do a Donald Duck. Yeah, I, I love it. When he I love it. when he wakes up, he's doing it in bed before he like comes to his senses. Right. Yeah. 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 It's it's. I, it's it's a pretty funny animation. It it oh. certainly has aged, right? It's, there are certain parts of it that well, when, have when aged it, poorly. When it but... when it was when it was made, it it was like during like the height of of Nazi Germany of and they II, of World War yeah. They they were just like ripping into Hitler. Like that was just political commentary about, about like how much fucking like Hitler is just sucks and that place is weird and these people are fucked up. I mean the the big thing was the portrayal of the Japanese. Um, oh, I don't, I don't remember that bit. Yeah. Oh, it, oh, yeah, it, 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 was, it, was a, it was a little spicy. It gets a little bit spicy. Um, it gets spicy. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Disney, for animating Nazi Donald. It's propaganda. Oh, it was, you know, it was anti-Nazi propaganda. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone's uh, like, oh, spicy might be an understatement. Yeah, it was, it, it, it was pretty racist. Nelson JD is in chat saying, "Man, what if it turned out Disney was really racist?" That'd okay, be so that'd be crazy. Tr truth, truth, and pestilence. Yes, the Jap like Japan as a nation was pretty awful, but there were Japanese people living in America at the time. Right, and then that's a whole thing because they, they were they were put in, in their own camps. It was kind of concentration uh, camps. It, it wasn't very II. thoughtful. It wasn't very thoughtful. It's uh, is what it, you're saying. Yeah. It it very like I mean it very likely um helped push anti-Japanese-American sentiment, right? 
because like they're just... anyways we're getting on to political topics but you want to read that you want to take that one yeah well i already already did oh you did the last one yeah i did i did seven okay sit up slowly and after oh wait no you read this um i'm mm-hmm. looking at this wrong okay Right, you can begin to explain your fake faint away as harmless. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that's just, again, not going to work. Can we, yeah, you know, I just wanted to take a look at their mouths here real quick. What are, you, what, are you, what are you seeing? You seeing any problems with that? Why are they eating white oranges? <laughs> that's, what, that's what you see. Yeah. Oh my, oh my god, the... The mouth on the person on the right looks pasted on. Like I see two faces at once. I see. Really disorienting. It's like one of those tests. It's like one of those tests where you know what do you see? Do you see two people's faces or do you see a candelabra? And it's like that, except it's just do you see this face or the other face? Because if you just look at the mouth, like that white wedge that is the mouth, you see one face. But if you look at the contour of the head you see a different face it's very it's disorienting like, it's very disorienting. it is yeah uh how many of you guys have seen that i think it's a cartoon network cartoon where there's a there's a dog like the character design of this dog looks like absolute shit this cartoon dog where like the 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 fucking nose looks like the the the, the dog has a crater in its fucking in its face Oh yeah, I saw that. And then the nose, yeah, the nose looks like it looks like just a regular Butch Hartman character with a tumor on its chin. <laughs> Can we bring that up on stream for a minute for those people who haven't seen it? Um, hold, yeah, hold on. Uh, I just wanna do it. Butch Hartman's quick. a piece of shit, by the way. I don't. You've seen everything going on with him? No, I don't. I don't know. Any, I don't know anything about he, that. He, he. Okay. Tough. Uh, he's he's uh, been tracing a lot of artwork. Like he he's been doing commissions for like two hundred bucks a piece, and he's very obviously tracing people. Um, look at, look at oh, that! that... Look at fucking design. Oh, that's gross. Well, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking for a specific dog. There's a specific character that's particularly vo- vo- vomitous to it's look on, at. It's on there. Which one it's, are you? It's on the second row. Three, four, five, six, six oh, eight. Oh, this bitch. Yeah, yeah hold there on. There it is. I got look her. Hold, hold on. I, I just have to. I had to censor. Oh, yeah, Butch- I had to censor the Google image search because I didn't know what was gonna what was gonna fucking show mm. up. Yeah. Also, fun fact: Butch Hartman is in a cult. Make sense to this character design, chat. This is your brain on weird Christian cults. <laughs> That's he's in a weird Christian cult. This guy. Yeah, he's in a weird Christian cult. It's a Picasso dog. So you notice, all right, so the first issue is obviously the mouth being directly under the left eyeball. It's so bad. Like, the, the problem is the mouth is higher than the nose on the face. What? That's, what, I think, what makes it uncanny. What would make them think that this would be remotely okay? Listen, Butch Hartman learned how to draw one character. And he has spent the last few decades drawing that one character over and over, one face. What's his claim so to fame? Because had... I don't know. I don't know anything about uh, this guy. He did Fairly Odd Parents. Okay. What else? He he did a bunch of like childhood favorites. Um, take Danny a... Phantom, and obviously Tough Pup. So what's happening with the nose is it's supposed to be like a like an oval shaped black nose, like a dog nose. With like a shiny bit on the top, but it has yeah. the effect of creating like a, the the interior of a lip of a of a bottomless chasm. Right, it looks like Diglett should be coming out of it. <laughs> exactly. Or like a whack a mole. Uh, my first thought was like, man, I just would would like to sit on that and just take a dump in it. You know. <laughs> why it like why, a why is your reaction to like take a dump in a thing? Because it looks like a toilet. And oh also, my god, yeah, someone pointed out, it's a, it's a gauge. Oh, ew! <laughs> ew! It is, ew! A face have you gauge! Ever just, have you ever just gauged your tumor? <laughs> it's a fucking gauge. <laughs> I hate looking at this so much. It hurts so much. 
And then she's got like those three spots that are just making it even more confusing. Fuck, I hate this. Right. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> it's their... Like, did they look at their own character design? What happened? Oh, who th who put the thumbs up on it? I feel like... Oh, I, I feel like this happens to a lot of people who, like, get... Who get too deep into a cult. You know what it's like? It's literally like indoctrination from Mass Effect. Where, like, if they become too indoctrinated, then they stop being able to think for themselves. And they stop being able to think creatively or independently. And so they actually become less useful. You get, you guys get what I'm saying? Guys, you guys get, know what I'm guess about, what right? video game Fred is playing through right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm playing through Mass Effect again. Uh -huh. I just finished the first game, and God, that does it does not hold up. I actually, I think I played like Mass Effect three for like five minutes, and then I stopped. I don't, I don't. I don't uh, recently I don't learned about the Ant Hill Kids. I see someone's listening to last podcast on the left. So you're saying, as a consequence of him joining this insane Christian cult, it has impacted his creativity? Negatively? That's the argument yeah. that I'm making. Like. It, he wants to keep his standing in the public sphere so he can help push uh, the religion. And this is not Scientology, at least, for once? It's not Scientology. It's, however, they did try to resurrect a dead baby. What, what, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? What? What do you mean? Who, yeah. What's the name of the order? Like, what's the name of the cult? Here, let, you know what? Maybe, maybe we're going off on a tangent of right now. Of course we are. You're, but you're ready? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've already taken two hours for a single article. We Yo. may as well go, like, lean into it, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, here, I'll, I'll go ahead. Someone someone wrote up a, uh, a summary. Um, the Hartmans appear to be connected to Bethel Church. They, Bethel Church is the name. They donated a ton of money to his Kickstarter. Unfortunately, his accidentally opened Google Doc is now private, but there's a lot of people saying it contained info about how Bethel Church donated to him. Explaining Bethel Church would take an entire novel, but ever since they tried to raise a toddler from the dead, I've been weirdly fascinated with them. <laughs> Bethel Church is a cult. They claim to be Christian, but they are more like New Age hippies that use Christian terms, and they will attack anyone who dares to expose them or leave. They are wildly anti-LGBT and anti-disabled, as they believe they can cure those things. The two most important aspects you need to know is that they believe that they need to dominate the seven mountains of influence so Jesus will return, and that their entire belief system is based around signs of miracles, wonders, and healings. First, the seven mountains. Should I keep going? Uh, yes. Okay. First, the seven mountains. Bethel believes they need to dominate the seven mountains so that Jesus can return. They are cultural aspects of society that need to be totally Bethelized so that Jesus will want to return. <laughs> this word, is not really? in the Bible. That word for real? Yes. Okay. The realms are religion, family, education, government, media, arts, and business. As you see, media and arts are part of their mountains. This is why they are funding Butch Hartman. They want him to create media with oh, Bethel ideology. God. They see that he's popular, and they see it as an opportunity to covertly evangelize to unknowing fans. Bethel has been wildly successful with infiltrating the Christian music scene. Their worship songs are a staple of most evangelical Protestant churches across the world. They leave out their wacky beliefs in the songs, but they hope that Christians who sing them will look up Bethel and start introducing Bethel ideologies into their own churches and transform their own churches into little Bethels. As for Butch Hartman's work, they are hoping that people will look up Bethel because they see it in the end credits or via some other means and provoke interest in their cult. If you're thinking this is sounding like Scientology, but way better at infiltrating culture, you'd be 100% correct. It is what I was saying. Scientology thinking. also has a mandate for infiltrating culture so that more people will join. Fucking cider! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sleep for 25 days. I didn't... I didn't sleep for 25 days. Fucking cider! An overwhelming sense of impending doom. 
Well, that's some fucking insane bullshit, but, uh, that's... Uh, there's more. Uh... Should I, should I keep going? Uh, well, you want to finish, like, one article tonight? Just... Eventually. Alright, go ahead, yeah. Tell me more about this insane shit. <laughs> uh, this is where it gets weird. Now, the emphasis on signs of healing. This is probably where the rumor that his wife can cure autism is coming from. Bethel cult members what? believe that they can cure anything if they prey on the person. In Redding, California, their headquarters, they have a- I have been to Redding, fun fact. They have a special clinic where they pray over people for healing. Obviously, it doesn't really work. However, they have an explanation for this. If their prayers don't work, it's because you don't believe hard enough. <laughs> oh, that's it! Oh, of course. Right. If you're a hypothetical autistic person asking for them to cure you of autism, they're going to blame you when you don't suddenly stop being autistic. When Bethel cult members claim healing happened, it's because either medical interve intervention actually cured it, or it was a minor problem. So in the case of autism, if a person with high-functioning autism has social anxieties, asked for healing, and then went and had a conversation with a stranger without getting nervous, they'd say they cured autism. This healing belief extends to death. They believe they can cure death, which is why they tried to perform necromancy on a toddler. <laughs> they fucking did necromancy. That's what it is. That's what it is. What else? What else do you call it? What else do you call it? Right. And being LGBT, since they consider that a mental disorder. They have a lot of LGBT people in their church that repress their sexuality, so they consider that cured. If you see accusations that Butch is anti-LGBT, this is where it comes from. Lastly, this isn't very, very relevant to Butch Hartman, but the cult accusations toward his wife, but Bethel's beliefs are not followed by 99% of Christians in the world, that's probably an understatement, it's probably way less, because they are not found in the Bible. This is a hallmark of Christian-based cults. Most American Christians are told that if a church is preaching things not found in the Bible, that you should stay away because it's a cult. Uh, yada yada yada. Yeah, you get the idea. Fucking cider. Fucking cider. This person has like more things about them. It's it's wild. Wow. So they claim to be able to cure anything. Like like they like. So I could yeah. be like, hey, grow my foreskin back. And then they'll just <laughs> sit there and like they'll 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 pray over my dick. They'll pray over you while singing. I'll grow it back again. Grow it on back again. Grow it on back again. And they'll just sit you're, there. You're, you remember that song? Yeah, I remember right? it. Yeah, I remember it. It's a fucking it banger. Slapped. It's a banger. It's a the, the song of the summer. <laughs> uh, it's, again, it's February. Um, fucking, fucking foreskin. foreskin. <laughs> fucking, fucking foreskin. Uh, yeah, uh, that's fucking insane. I had no idea of anything about- I, I, I didn't even know who this guy was. Like, I'd heard his name a couple of times. But, uh, he's mixed up in that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no wonder- I mean, and, uh, dude, uh, it, it's gotta impact your, your fucking, you know, your creativity at a certain point, right? Right. It gets in the way. Um, I, I know that there's sort of a feeling of, um, art as performance for God. Uh, and it gets in the way of creativity because artists are very careful about wanting to always honor God in their creations. And so art ends up being um, a a way of essentially peacocking for God. You, right? tell you me want to show him you, like you got to make sure that he he is certain that no, like I that that is an abomination. You, you but, look at you look at that right now and you tell me there's a God. <laughs> no okay butch butch i think what happened in his mind is he felt like his art style was something that appealed to the kids and he was afraid of changing it up because if it didn't appeal to if his new art style didn't appeal to the kids as much then he would have failed god or he wouldn't have been reaching out to as many people for god and he wouldn't be peacocking for god as well peacocking for god amazing Peacock for the power. This is just this is wild, dude. What a fucking rabbit hole in this thing's face that we just went down. That that right, whole, we <laughs> <laughs> that hole in this dog's face is the rabbit hole that we just went into. Like literally, I, I can't believe it, it's like yeah, joining this cult made him worse at designing characters. Right. Like if if God was supposed to be impressed by this, then uh, 
I don't know about this god then, you know? I'm sorry to everyone watching this VOD and wanting us to be talking about the article. This is always how it goes. We if go some, off if, on no, tangents. If somebody is watching this, then they, they know that they, they're signing on for this. They know this is going to happen. Right. But holy fucking shit. I had no idea all about this dude. This is, this is nuts. Don't watch this fucker's cartoons. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. What, what weird Christian sect is this? The Bethel Church. I don't like it. I don't like any of it. Okay, I'm going to read this now, okay? All right. Make a shit haste exit. Rest for about I, 10 minutes. Go ahead. I think they meant hasty, a semi-hasty exit. Yeah, they no, they did. I just shit haste is a meme. One, uh, oh, okay. Rest 143 authors. A semi-haste exit. Yeah, it's not still still doesn't work. Uh, rest for about 10 minutes or so to pretend to recover from your fake fainting spell, faker. When you're ready, excuse yourself to either go home to rest or to set up an appointment to visit your doctor. Well, why do you need to do that when this is a totally normal, harmless fainting spell? Yeah. Someone may offer to take you somewhere and you can either accept their generosity and, and make them like take time out of their fucking busy day. To bring your fake, fake an ass to the fucking hospital to get examined for a fake nothing because you're an asshole. Midnight Fox, I found you, faker. <laughs> fucking faker. Uh, someone may offer to take you some. You can accept their generosity or explain that you could get safely to your destination on your own. Now, you sure? You sure you're not just gonna fake? Faker? <laughs> Ha, you're not even fainted enough to be my fake. That's it. You want to see the Q&A? Here we go. We did it. Two, uh, two hours, 15 minutes in. We finished one the first article. article. For one article. What if I'm at school and they tell the principal, uh-oh, you're going to be in big trouble. Ooh. Gear up. Gear up. If you have successfully tricked people into thinking that you have fainted, people will get the nurse, not the principal. If you're discovered to be faking, then you will most likely be disciplined, but probably not by the principal. A faint, even if it was faked, is not really a criminal offense, and the principal likely has better things to do. Ah, right, so this is con consequence-free fuckery. You heard it here, folks. If I'm a fucking principal of a school... And one of my children is 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 faking fainting. I'm calling their fucking parents, and I'm having them take the fucking kid home. They're fucking expelled. They're out. <laughs> they wasted everybody's fucking time. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you're getting in trouble for that. No, it's not against the law, but it's gonna piss me the fuck off. Come on. Thank you for the bits, uh, pineapple biz, vagina pineapple. Uh, Jesus told me Butch Hartman is a jerk. Oh, it could have been... This could have been tithing, but Jesus told me Butch Hartman is a jerk and to give it to a jabroni. Thank you, Pineapple <laughs> Bees, and thank you, Jesus. Mike, they're kids, Luigi Guy says. Yeah, and they're not gonna get away with that. Alright, that's not an excuse. Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm the principal of this school. My role is to help mold them into, into fucking halfway decent functioning adults. That does not involve letting them get away with fake fainting, okay? No, there is going to be consequences for that. Expulsion might be a bit extreme. I no, fuck them. Fuck them. They're out. They're out. <laughs> Forever. I don't care. They don't deserve <laughs> an education. You want to read that? I'm exaggerating. You want to read the next one? Would I still breathe? Yes. You should continue to breathe. Otherwise... You would be dead. <laughs> Who can't hold so their stupid. breath for 15 seconds? Oh, it's so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. Less than 20 seconds. If you stop breathing for 21 seconds, you'd be dead. You die. You just die. <laughs> when you are unconscious, your breathing becomes shallow. You don't stop breathing altogether. What will happen well, if I am out for, let's say, one hour? What will happen? Someone will probably call an ambulance if you don't wake up within a few minutes. 
A medically trained person will know that you're faking it. So if an ambulance does come to pick you up and they find out it's just a prank, bro, it will probably be treated like prank calling 911. People may be mad at you, lose trust in you, and there may be other unpleasant repercussions. Pro tip, don't stay out for more than 20 seconds. I think fucking around with emergency services, actually there's laws against that you can get in some kind of trouble. Yes. I, don't know if it, I don't know if it's fines. Maybe like jail time on like repeated offenses. And this person's like, people may be mad at you. You're going to jail, bitch. You want to take that one? It's really funny. What if I hit my head and really lose consciousness? You won't be pretending anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you should only try this when you're like standing on a bunch of pillows. It won't it, it'll look a little suspicious, but it's better than getting a concussion. <sighs> you still should try to fall safely. How do I make it look like I am fainting because I am terrified? Hold your hand over your chest with slightly widened eyes. Then let your eyes flutter a few times before actually fainting. Be sure not to seem too dramatic or rehearsed, which will be impossible because you will have rehearsed this. And no, it will be impossible b because fluttering your eyes before fainting at something scary is dramatic. Is too dramatic. Y y y you're gonna look like a fucking cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, I think 18 people in chat also just said, I'm noticing, yes. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah every, everyone is in on this. How should I breathe when I'm unconscious? In quotation marks. Breath shallowly through your nose and try <laughs> not to move your chest so much. It might help if you leave your mouth open a little bit as well. Really, like, let your tongue loll out onto the, onto the linoleum, too. Like, really, really get a tongue full. 285 people found that helpful, Fred. Thanks, Two guys. 285 Thanks. fakers! Fucking fakers! Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. Fake! No way! Fuck you, man! Fuck you! Should I breathe while I am pretending to faint? Yes. Breath shallowly no, through no, your nose. No, Should I breath while oh, I am pretending bad. to faint? So None how of come these people are well acquainted enough with breathing to spell it correctly. They're not getting enough oxygen to their brain already. Well, it's like the people who are asking the questions can't sm spell breathe, and the people writing the responses can't spell it either. Uh, don't move your chest too much. Don't move the boobas. Did my did my shadow voice? What? I'm I'm glad I'm glad people like my shadow voice. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. No, another another voice got unlocked tonight. Yeah. The, none of these are unlocked. They've been there inside me. All the time. There are two hogs inside you. One of them is gay. The other one is gay. You. You are gay. Are gay. Why are you, you gay? You are gay. Why are you gay? You are gay. Why are you gay? You are gay. <laughs> God damn. You are gay. Why are you gay? Why Why are you gay? Gay, 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 gay. <laughs> you want to read that? And to eat the poo poo. <laughs> <laughs> like ice cream. What will happen if I'm out for one minute or more? It is not safe to faint for longer than about 20 seconds. If you are out for more than that, emergency services should be called. What is it with 20 seconds? Like... That's the magic number. I think this person pulled it out of their fucking ass, honestly. Uh, yeah. I mean, just... Uh... Alright, fuck this. You want to go look at the next one? Uh, yeah. Actually, would you mind giving me a couple of minutes so I can refill my teacup? No! Yes, go. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck it. All right. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. Uh, I guess entertain them in the interim. Uh, um, I'll, I'll, tr I'll try my best, man. But I don't know. 
I don't know. It's kind of scary. There's a bunch oh, of people what? here. It's freaking me out, man. Oh, no. You, you should show them the Neverhood soundtrack. Uh, You want to hear penis music, chat? Yeah, you want to hear a legitimate soundtrack from a legitimate game. I'll be right back. So I'm looking through the D the DMs uh, that me and Fred have here, and I'm gonna show you some of the some of the things that that are in there. I'm gonna show you some of the gems that are in here, uh, provided with absolutely no context. There's a tweet, right? It says, I Googled Joker Jesus and found this incredible art. There's a, a, a random, a random Googler was able to find this. Just Googling Joker Jesus. The image combined with the music has a strong, is a strong combination. Now that's what I call content, volume four. Yeah, because it's like clownish music. Bike, bike. Let me get this next article ready. Um, this one's bad, guys. Have you tried the Professor Jabroni Chen glasses avatar yet? I have not, Tito. Uh, so I, be I believe it's just a version of the Avatar that has glasses. Hi, Sino Pence. We can start a new cult now with this. What do you want to call it? The Society, Society of Christ. I like the society society. It makes a lot of sense. Like, it works, too. Instinct says, this music is making my pee-pee soft. Good. Thick, but not too flaccid. I hate this. I'm gonna skip around in it a little bit. It sounds like fucking. You remember Claspy Cus Cusco? I can't pronounce it. I have no idea how it's pronounced. But the animators who made Rugrats and and uh, like Ah Real Monsters and shit. I, I believe this is the same type of music. Klasky Chupo, that's how you say it. Were those people involved with Doug, by the way? He's saying tomatoes and potatoes and peas? <laughs> He's saying he puts like potatoes in his pants and then he does a little dance. It sounds like he's got a bunch of shit in his mouth while he's do while he's doing the vocals. It goes off. Let's listen. Yeah, this is the Neverhood OST that Fred randomly decided to show me today. Oh, I was waiting for it to go off. It never went off. 
this game had a, a video of the devs vomiting into a sink while this music plays. Dude, this is Borat music. Borat core. This is Borat core. So I watched the uh, the Borat sequel not too long ago, and I brought it up to you guys. Told, I told you I liked it. I did like it. At the end of the movie, during the credits, there's a, like, I don't know, K Kazak Kazakhstan cover of uh, Bill Withers' Just the Two of Us, which, which actually slaps. I couldn't fucking believe it. Giuliani's pocket pool, yeah. <laughs> Kazaki core. I, it was really good. Society core. Listen to this, listen. Now that's what I call gaming, volume six. Doi, 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 doi? It's a point-and-click game, Neverhood. I, I don't... I don't particularly like pl uh, point-and-click games, personally. Uh, it's not... It's never really been my jam. Uh, Riddler on the roof. Uh, thank you for the resub. Welcome back to you, new home freak. What's up, attack team? This is how you get people to click on a stream. This is, uh... This is the thumbnail right now? Local Orca says that this song is Mike's brain when he's not streaming. How do you think that this isn't my brain while I'm streaming? I'm back. Hey, Fred, we're all enjoying the Neverhood soundtrack. Wonderful. I, I'm so glad. Doi, 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 doi. Uh, I'm gonna put the Nintendo music back on, uh, as because that that's just it's very hard to fucking focus on anything else while that's happening. Yeah, but isn't it terrible that that music <laughs> was a part of a point and click adventure? Like you're supposed to do puzzles while that music is going on on a loop. Dude, you're not doing no fucking puzzles while that's happening. Get out of here. No, you're not. You're not. You're not thinking about anything else. Uh, Fred, you got your tea? You ready to buckle in, dude? Yes, I am ready. Uh, Bun Time got... has, has found what what I believe to be maybe the single most sociopathic article we're ever going to see on this website tonight. Or ever. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, only three stars. Okay, the this, this chat can't see it yet. Okay, mm -hmm. uh... But th th this, this, this is frighteningly fucking mental, guys, when you see this. Alright, bu buckle up. Hold on. Yeah, this is... Fucked. How, under dating, under love and romance, how to pretend to be in love with someone. Yeah, I'm wondering, it, does it have three stars because they take umbrage with the article or because it wasn't helpful? <laughs> this article did not help me pretend to be in love with someone. One star. <laughs> it didn't help. They found me out. One star. Bree Spawn says, yep, it's fucking cider. <laughs> fucking cider. Why well, that just works for everything, doesn't it? It does. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take the lead here. Uh, By all means, I, and, I, and I, I'm I, waiting. I love how it's under dating and love and romance too. Right? Why is love and romance under dating? Isn't dating a subcategory of love and romance? It should be. It should be. The, it should be the reverse. Is what you're saying? Right. Exactly. 
Last updated, uh, 2019. Does it say something about the people reading this article if love and romance is underneath dating? Do you think that dating is just the more searched topic? And so that's where people automatically go to and then they go to love and romance? Maybe maybe the people who run WikiHow just know their audience that well. Yeah, it's, imp it's important. I mean, listen, this website is still here. It, it, it knows how to survive like Dark Side Phil. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fighter. <laughs> okay. Um, let's start. Manipulating people isn't a good thing. As the opening sentence to an article titled, How to Pretend to be in Love with Someone. Oh, right? it's... That's like, a, that's like having an article that, that's called, How to Stab Someone in the Fucking Stomach Repeatedly. And then you scroll down and the first sentence is, Murder isn't a good thing. Could you imagine if this was if the the anarchist cookbook was written this way? <laughs> Blowing someone up is a big no-no. Explosions are generally considered to be bad. If at all possible, just don't do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, I got the anarchist cookbook. I can't wait to start, you know, causing some mayhem for the establishment. Page one. Right, this, Bombs this is like are an bad. <laughs> Oh, I had to pull the wind out of my fucking sails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like it's like those tips, uh like you know, those ten dollar bills that people leave for waiters and waitresses, except they're actually like telling people to find Jesus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or imagine seeing this at the opening of like an IRA pamphlet. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Go uh, ahead. Uh, wait. Manipulating people isn't a good thing. If at all possible, just don't do it. But sometimes. And for whatever reason, you just might need to pretend to be in love with someone. It's callous to use people, but you might have a very good reason. Maybe they need to be there when you fake faint. <laughs> you, know you gotta have somebody react when you fake faint, otherwise you're gonna look like an asshole. <laughs> Try to be wise and think carefully before you follow any of these instructions. You are playing with emotions, after all. Can we try to think of some, like, legitimately good reasons you might need to pretend to be in love with someone? Can, 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 you, can, you, can you think of one? If you're a spy? That was the only thing I was going to say! That was the That's only it. fucking thing I was going to say! You're a spy, so if we were, and the fucking if we were person that you're seducing has nuclear codes or some shit, and you're going to save fucking millions of people by seducing this person. Right, if we that were That was the, literally the feud. only thing I could think of. If we, if we were in Family Feud, you would slap me in the face so hard that I could pretend to faint. <laughs> yeah. Reasons to be in love with the reasons to pretend to be in love with someone. Show me you're a spy. <laughs> ding ding ding. <laughs> and uh, then you know, cue, cue the host looking at the audience dumbfounded. Uh, how about you're a complete, uh, sociopathic incel? Show me you're a complete sociopathic incel! Ding, ding, ding! And then that's it. There's no more answers. If that's out. You're done. You're out of answers. Bike. Listen. Top answer! Listen, if you just want some dick, be straightforward about it. It's very easy. Right? Yeah, it's very easy to like, do. Like, like, because... A a after after you finish, you know you want you want the time after you finish to be comfy and pleasant. You don't want to be thinking about the fact that you just led someone on when you just wanted some dick. Well, if you if if you're the target audience for this article, um, you're incapable of that kind of emotion. Right. Uh, yeah, that's true. Right. Uh, like you're not you're not going to feel remorse of uh, of any kind. Uh, Cactor Mancer, welcome to your no new home, freak. Thank you, Anon. Uh, all right. So this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be terrible. Um, we've got 
This Listen, or, so like this Oran host club looking motherfucker. Yeah, seriously. Um, I, I, I just, I want to, I, I need to get this through to people. If, if you want something from other people, I know this sounds like you know, oh, so, like soft and shit. It's like just, but but I'm serious about this. Just fucking be honest. That is, like, if you want something interpersonal from someone, be honest with them. Because, because, if you just want to get laid, and you end up with someone that is looking for more, or at least, you know, that knows that they're looking for more, and you lie to them, and you try, and you just want to sleep with them, and you ghost them, you're going to have to go and find someone else immediately, right? Like, I'm, I'm taking the selfish angle here. But if you tell someone, I just want to get laid, congratulations, if the other person is the same way, you're going to have someone that you can booty call, right? Like they, that's clearly what they're after. You're making it harder. Like you for, don't. You're making it harder for yourself if you're if you're gonna fucking if you're gonna lie. Yeah. If you're gonna manipulate. Right. You're like you're just, just like you're shooting yourself you're in just, the foot. You're actually just you're shooting not yourself e you're in the not foot. even yeah. finding the people yeah. that you're looking for at that point. I love how we like have, ideally we have like the mm -hmm. WikiHow article and then we have we, and then we have Fred with like the fucking rational like the rational mm -hmm. take. I don't feel like this is that much of a leap though. It's and not. The, it, uh, but that's why in, this in website is an anomaly, vein. you know. Like, in that same vein, right? Like, if you're if you're looking for an actual relationship, be upfront with that right off the bat. And the like, you can argue, right? The argument that could be made is that if you are upfront with yourself, then someone else can take advantage of you. What my response to that would be: rather than learning how to conceal your true intentions, learn how to sniff out other people's intentions. Right? Like, mm -hmm. devote your energy and your time into that instead. Because if you just spend all of your time hiding your intentions, you're never going to get what you're actually after. But yeah, so just th this article exists because people do think like this, and people do have this kind of yeah. mentality where it's, you know, I, I don't know, I, I, this is like some fucking pickup artist shit or some. It's not even that. It's like, it's like, it's like worse than that. I don't even know what the fuck this is. But you know what? I, I, I've been I, I've been shitting on WikiHow a lot. I, I want to point that there's one there's one thing that I think bears keeping in mind. When we do this, like when Buntime, you know, found these articles, for example, she, you know, she she was told to find the dumbest ones. Mm -hmm. I didn't say Buntime. Can you find me like the best, like most helpful, like legitimately, like like good WikiHow articles? You know, can you just find me like the ones that people are really gonna appreciate? You know, like no, no, find me the shit. Uh, if the, if there's like a like a part of this website where there's actually useful information on it, I honest, I don't even want to know about it. I don't want to know about it because it'll ruin the illusion. <laughs> Look at the top right corner of the screen. Are you guys talking about how to moan? How to moan? Yeah, don't yep. worry. That one's we're reading that one next. Um, in Are the meantime, we? you want to get back to this fucking yeah. He, let's he go. Looks, he looks like somebody left a Ken doll like out in the sun. Yeah, the, the like abs melt, He's got melty abs. Yeah. Hey, babe, check out my melty abs. How do you feel that there were people in chat that were calling this um an anime waifu uh, Fred? What were, you, what were you guys saying? What was it? What was the thing? I didn't want to interrupt him while he was talking, but... Uh... I was hoping nobody would draw the comparison. It's the... <laughs> Yeah, people were people were saying it was like anime anime Fred basically. Yeah. He's a victim of the tit rubber. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got like a four pack or or, or something. I don't even understand what's happening with his body. It's weird. And again, he's also got like a high albedo. The fu the funny thing is, I do have the long yaoi fingers. Like I have very I've, they're spider like. You got long sp this. spider like yaoi fingers. Yeah. It's like you'll see it when I, I'm I'm doing uh, tea streams pretty soon. By the way, guys, um, I got everything in, and I have Ark making. Excuse me, I I ate before I came on. I have Ark making an overlay uh, for the stream. So the idea, the whole idea behind it is, I'm going to be like brewing tea, 
and then like I'll I'll have a webcam on my tea tray and everything and then I'll cut to like a strategy game or something that's really easy to like sip tea while playing. Yes, yeah, so you can and see then, his fingers. Like, when and I make... shit. Yeah, yeah. So you'll you'll see my creepy spindly hands then. <laughs> yeah, it's quarantine all over again basically. And I I want to have friends on while we do it. Uh th this man oh, has like me, has um... like finger dysphoria. Like I'm sure they're fucking normal. Should I should I should I link uh my stream in chat? Uh yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I'll uh, follow follow Fred yeah, on Twitch. Yeah, just follow me there. That that'll be happening. <laughs> what is the fuck? You are a ghoul. <laughs> well, you're just going to see his fingers, Ralby. You're not going to see his ghoul face. So. Uh no. yeah, that's that's Fred's Twitch. Give him a follow. Don't be an asshole. All right? Follow him. Okay. Hands out. <laughs> don't be don't be an asshole. All right. Um Fingers in his ass! Fingers in his ass! Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna read this, okay? Alright. Pick someone to fall in love with. Wait. Ready? Yep. Yeah. 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 Wait. Your person should be someone relatively good looking. You wanna pick someone who other people will believe you'd fall in love with. Also, try to pick somebody that you won't have too much trouble pretending to love. My impression was like, you know this person, like there's some sort of background, right? This is like finding a mark. You're starting, you're, you're jumping off point is, I wanna, tr I wanna fool somebody into thinking I'm in love with them. Who do I pick? What is this 8chan incel bullshit? Your, your, your starting goal is to pretend to fall in love with somebody. Now, when, you, when, I, when, I, when I came up here and I, and I read this, right? When I read this intro paragraph, okay? My first, when, when they were saying, you might have a good reason to pretend to be in love with somebody. I was thinking about reasons assholes might want to pretend to be in love with somebody, right? Um, right. They're rich. And you want to marry them, and you want to, I don't know, uh, you're gold digging. Gold, that's the word. You're gold yeah, digging you, or something like that. You right? want to pull a Malarnia. But, but, right. When, when you read this paragraph, you realize that this is way more insane than even that is. Isn't it? Mm. Isn't it? It's like, the only reason I can think of is, like... Joker style vengeance on society. <laughs> and yeah, right. I, I know I know you're bringing it up right now, aren't you? Yeah, you fucking are. <laughs> you can be forgiven. Even even the Joker can be forgiven, chat. Everyone is welcome in the society of Christ. Um so yeah, this is fucking nuts. Uh let's let's dig into this too. Uh, your are we person. About to, are what? we about to fall down a rabbit hole here? Why? With what? The the art? With not not the art. I mean, just with this. Yeah. There's so uh, much going on rhetorically here. Your person should be someone relatively good looking. You want to pick someone who other people will believe you'd fall in love with. Where where the fuck do we even start examining what what's that? wrong? What's wrong with that? What does that mean? They're saying don't pick an ugly person. Is that what you're getting from it? Yes! Yes! Is it... So, like... We have... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm taking a minute to just... I know! Unpack oh, I, I know! I, give me a second. Yeah, take cause... it! I did... <laughs> I had the benefit of seeing this beforehand. You still gotta wrestle like... with this shit. I feel like for most of this stream and most of the streams we've done together, I've been able to sort of wing it, you know, and, ju and just say what the first thing that comes to my head. Yeah, but this is so fucking but, bad shit insane. You, you have no words. I know. There's layers to this, but I, I they <laughs> don't so immediately jump out to me. It's like it's like, you know, when you hear a piece of music and you you the, it's beautiful. There's tons of. They, there are parts of it, you know, there are tons of elements to it, but it all just sounds good together and you can't quite take it apart. It's like, 
imagine that, but like a symphony of elephant farts, and you're trying to like pick out each of them and how they play in. It's like, and but they sort of run together. Yeah. That's just so, what my listen, brain's at right now. It, it, it says, you want to pick somebody who other people will believe you'd fall in love with. And then it says, try to pick somebody that you won't have too much trouble pretending to love. Here's how I know that this article was written by a malignant narcissistic so sociopath, specifically. Because okay. the first thing that they addressed was whether or not you were going to be able to convince other people that you're in love with this person. Your, mm. you, your personal... Because outward appearances are actually more important than a to, to a fucking narcissist. Right. Than, like, even their own fucking satisfaction sometimes. I, right? I see the angle you're coming from. Yeah. Yeah, because appearances are fucking literally everything to a, nar a malignant narcissist, right? Use the right. dentist system. <laughs> yeah, the dentist! The dentist it's the system? dentist system from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, exactly. Because I exactly what it is. <laughs> it's just a... This is a wiki how of the dentist system, dude. <laughs> I'm not. F I haven't seen it. Oh, that's amazing! You gotta, you gotta watch it sometime. It's, I do. It's fucking, I do. Because the, you know, the, the 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 character is is a total fucking obvious narcissist. Like that, half of his right. fucking gags are are based around the fact that he's a just a fucking malignant narcissist. Right. Um, and he comes up with this whole like dating system or, or, or whatever, and it's called the Dennis system. Dennis is an acronym for something. I don't remember exactly, but it's fucking brilliant. Um, and yeah, no, no, that, that's kind of what we're talking about is like, this isn't about, you know, loving someone who fell for you first. It's about, yeah, th this is finding a mark because historically, yeah. um, I've had people interested in me and I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try to make it work with them. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like, you know, I, I kind of like, like, I like them. I've got a crush on them and I'll try to make it work. And then, you know, after a while it was clear that it wasn't working, but I had to, you know, I felt like I had a duty to keep it going. Not, not a good mindset, by the no, way. No, not, but, but don't do yeah. that. Yeah. But uh, everybody's been do, there. Don't do that. And no, not vampire girl. Um, oh, remember that? She was actually yeah. with someone else at the time and I dodged a fucking bullet there. Um, very interesting, very lovely person. Uh, fascinating. Not a good idea to, to get with them. Uh, anyway, but you get but other other situations, right? Like I I sort of felt obligated, and so that that was my first thought: is this is where you would want to like this is where the article would be applicable for people. Mm -hmm. um, the healthier thing is just to be honest, but you know, as always, you can't like as always with WikiHow articles, you can't do that. <laughs> Honesty. What is what, what language the fuck is, is that? that? What the fuck? What what are you, what are you even talking about? Uh, it's such a foreign right. concept here on this website. Right on this fucking hellhole. But this is something else entirely. Yeah, this, this... is a whole. I told you. I warned you. I said it was going to be a whole new level. You did. I did warn you, right? Um. Hold on. Someone in chat said, "Wow, it must be nice to have hordes of people like you." Here's the truth, Blood Realm. When you have a certain degree of fame, I, I guess, or, or popularity, you you do you do become a, 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 yeah sadly, you, you do become a kind of a magnet for people. I actually looking to, to manipulate you. You do, you do kind of become like a beacon, uh, and it's it's you know like at first, it's a little bit hard to recognize. It's something that you have to, you have to get used to. But yeah, this is this is a thing, Fred. Is this not a thing? Yeah, it's they're like get them like I, I feel like the step one is get them to fall in love with you, right? Mm -hmm. It what in the in the article or what the I just brought up in the article in the article. Oh right, okay. You want to get back to the I'm, article? Sorry, I'm yeah, sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's bringing it back on track here. Yeah, I am. I'm um, making it work. Your person should... Okay, we read this. Uh, try to pick somebody that you won't have too much trouble pretending to love. So, yeah. Basically, they're saying, make sure I, you don't pick an ugly person. Mike, I'm going to level with you. When you were talking, I was, like, spacing out really bad. I, like, dissociated for a minute. Oh, well, thanks for being honest with me, Fred. I...
I'm so sorry. I don't know why. I just dissociated really hard. Uh, you think it's it probably because I brought... You know what it is? I brought up a personal thing, and I was like, should I have said that? And then I just went off into a, a thinking about that instead. That's what happened. Yeah, you went into a little, like, doom loop in your head, yeah? You yeah, little... essentially, yeah. Okay, that's okay. That happens to me, too. Um, and I, I apologize. I'll try not to do that in the middle of fucking stream. <laughs> That's, that's it's to yeah you you do want to try to not do that during streams but it's okay it happens it's gonna happen. He retreated to the doom chamber yeah. A, a little bit. Y'all mind if I uh. <laughs> uh... Um, but anyway, yeah don't pick an yes. ugly person. <laughs> yeah I just fake fainted. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Uh don't don't pick an ugly person or you're gonna have a hard time. Uh, manipulating and, 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 you know, pretending to be in love with, with, with that person if they're too ugly. That's the point. Mm. You know, because these people, again, um, literally just don't have, uh, don't have anything, any other qualities, uh, that you might be interested in. Um, right. It's almost like this, this, this paragraph kind of just comes off as like a literal legal disclaimer. Yeah already you know it's it's like okay phew now that we got that out of the way time to fucking trick some chicks <laughs> right although it could go either way it could frankly. absolutely could go either way of this course. is yeah this is gender neutral but um yeah oh hold on gay idiot official is gifting sobs oh my god lone archa nut boys fake kitten white angry and pankaroo frail to your new home freaks thank you so much uh, I am not a financial advisor, Nihilist Gangster, yeah. <laughs> this is not financial advice. We like the stock. We like the stock. We like the fucking stock. I just... Sorry, and then there was the the whole issue oh, of... Oh, shit, more. Uh, oh, Ultima Weapon. Five more subs. Sunshine Sheep, Rabbit Cowl, Ominous Bagel, Tofendor, and Ultra Chronos. Welcome to your new home, freaks. Ultima, love you, bud. Thank you so much. Uh, just the idea that... You went out of your way to find, yeah, find a mark instead of already knowing who the fuck you were going to do this with, right? right. So the people this searching is... for this article, you know, they didn't type in like, oh, I, f I found somebody that I want to manipulate. It was, I feel like manipulating someone. So you know what it is? I, I think what threw us off is the article, uh, the title of the article is defensive, right? It's how to pretend to be in love with someone. Like, oh, I don't want to, like the implication is, oh, I don't want to hurt their feelings, you know, I'm, I'm looking out for them. But immediately, the rhetoric is aggressive. Yeah. You are the predator in this. Yeah. Woke up and chose manipulation. <laughs> How to pretend... Because it's like, you, you're saying, oh, you're pretending to be in love with someone for their benefit. Right. Right, yeah. So they don't get hurt or something. Right. Oh no, it's me. What? Again? <laughs> it's you! Oh, I'm, about, no. I'm about to be manipulated. Uh, How you... are they going to? Helpful? Do, do you want to you read this? Yeah. Mm. Think only of the person's good attributes and ignore the bad ones. This is already giving me, like, how to make a gnome of your <laughs> husband. Remember that one? Vibes. It's funny, I thought of that one too while I was reading this, yeah. Mm-hmm. Think of what good characteristics they have in them. Are they funny, smart, caring? Obscenely wealthy? This, is... <laughs> this is helped a lot by step one. You can choose your attributes. But if you can't choose... Like, it's the gamer lingo. This is more incel shit. But if you can't choose your person and you dislike that person, try to be a little more accepting of his or her ways. It'll be a lot easier if you can start off with a relatively good relationship with your love. Where to even and start? What's... I feel like... You know what? I don't even want to comment on this. I want to keep going because I feel like I have an incomplete picture. Also, what... What is this footnote? Uh, footnote? Yeah, the, it's... um The label. There's a one next to love. It's a link. At the very end. Oh, did you, did you? Oh, it's a research source for psychologytoday.com. Uh. Do you want to you want to check that out? 
Uh, yeah, what what how the fuck are they using this research? I just I don't know where that link is going, so hold on a sec. It's going to psychology today. Well yeah, I, yeah. I, I no. Um They linked I'm going to the article that they Alright. Accept them as they are. In what ways do you wish that people were different? So what is it? This this, this person just completely like misunderstood and, and, and warped whatever is going on in this article into their own twisted fucking fantasy. Right. Pop psychology. Well, it's it. Th this article is, is not condoning pretending to be in love with people or manipulating people's emotions. This is pro I'm gonna I'm not reading this, but I'm gonna assume that this is a fucking article about how do you just accept the people that are in your life and you don't have a choice that they're in your life. Right. You know? And then which is which is a real which is a real coping mechanic sometimes for people. Like my dad's a penis, yet I I I have to see my dad. So how do I deal with that? Right? That's what this article is about. Or my coworker's a fucking cocksucker. How do I deal with my cocksucker coworker cuz I can't just quit my job? That's what this article is. And now they're twisting it into whatever the fuck this is. Right. There, it's a tool. Like, psychology it's like, look, is a tool. Look, I got a footnote. Yeah, I got a footnote. I got one. Look. Right! Fucking cider! Fucking cider. So, think of what good characteristics they have in them. Uh, if you don't... If, but if you can't choose your person, and you dislike that person... And, and again, this is about relationships, because the title of the article is How to Pretend to Be in Love with Someone... If you can't choose that person, you can definitely choose the person. What in what scenario can you not choose the person? This the step right, one. Step so one was choose your mark, find your mark. You, you've chosen the person. Right. Right. An arranged yeah, marriage. An, like an arranged marriage is a is a good answer. It's it's the only answer, by the way. Right. Do you think? But but but, step but, one, but are we gonna are we gonna sit here and pretend that the target demographic for this article is people in arranged marriages? Because I'm not ready to do that. Sorry, I interrupted you. What'd you say? No, just basically what you were saying. Step one implies that this isn't the case, right? Um, try to be a little bit more a little more accepting of his or her ways. Uh. D just, just get, just, if you don't like the person, break up with them. If you don't like the person, break up with them. Barring an so arranged someone, marriage, if you don't like the person. Someone pointed out, unplanned pregnancy marriage. That happens, uh, arranged, yeah, right, but, but again, I cite step one. Right. Um, an unplanned pregnancy marriage. Ah. Oh. I do you I, I don't know man I, I think uh you just both raise the kid but you don't you know you don't live together you're, you're you're not you know you're not married maybe this is one of those we're gonna stay together for the sake of the kid of the kids thing maybe yes, a yes. type of a type of a thing I guess mm -hmm. uh but um I don't know man uh just learn how to pull out I don't know just, I don't know what to tell you man <laughs> like you can't like what are you gonna do you're gonna fucking live with someone you hate because because you have you have a child together? What the fuck? You're get you're getting into a divorce eventually. Eventually, this child's fucking life is gonna be in impacted by divorce. Okay. So like maybe sk maybe skip the part where 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 you where you ha you have a fake marriage. I mean, there there are religions where like you're not like if you, if this happens, you, know, you got to marry the person, or that it's it, it could be for a religious reason. What are the odds that this is written by, let's say, um, a a, a person who's in an arranged marriage? Honestly, the like zero percent. Step one, I it's step one, I can't get it out of my head. Choose your mark, right? Like you're picking a mark. Uh, I yeah, I, I, mean, I can't is... like. That's, that's, that right there, it's like step one just completely ruins everything else. Like every, every sort of good faith argument that we're trying to make for this person, every bit of devil's advocate that we're trying to throw at this is completely busted.
by step one. <laughs> like, we you know, know why. Is, like, this this isn't like a like a like a you know like by Hindus for Hindus thing or some shit. Right. Man. Like, this, okay. Um. Ooh. <laughs> That's a guy. <laughs> Hello, Desu. Frank. So Frankie Coon. Hi, Frankie Coon. <laughs> I was sucking Have you pee -pee. seen? Let me suck your pee pee, Frankie Coon. <laughs> Have you seen what? the comics that Meriwether's been doing, where it's like a weeaboo starts, like a a a um a girl weeaboo goes to a Japanese school? No, I don't know like, what you're oh, talking about. She's like, oh, I'm so about. excited! It's real. It's really funny. Uh, who is this I'd, artist? I'd what is it? I'd recommend it. Who is huh? it? What's what's who's the artist? Meriwether. Meriwether. He's Mer the producer. Not familiar with Merryweather. Um, also, Dick Fist is uh, resub, and welcome back to your new home, freak. Thanks for uh, forty-three months. Uh, it made me happy to see you playing with Vinny again. Yeah, uh, I had a lot of fun last night. Um, act happier when that person is around. Whether you're trying to convince the subject of your affections or someone else, you'll be expected to seem in a better mood when he/she is around. So what do you think of that? You want to break that down? I, uh, I, I don't really have a whole lot to say on that. This feels pretty obvious. Act happier when that person is around. Uh, how often in your life have you tried to act happy when you weren't really happy? Uh, I mean, I got pretty good at it actually. You think so? Yeah. You you don't like, you don't think past. that but that. that but it, it, it was less so when I'm trying to convince someone that I'm, like, happy to be around them and more like, I'm really not doing well, but I don't have the energy to explain why. Because in like my... Like, that, that kind of thing. In my experience, like, maybe... There, there, there's, a, there's a little bit of a something to, like, you know, I don't know, may, maybe, like, trying to put yourself in a good mood and having it have, have a broader effect... Right, like you kind of just act like you're in a good mood, and maybe you'll feel like in a, you're in a good mood. But but by and large, that's just more ex mentally exhausting, and actually puts me in a worse mood. Oh no, fake it till you feel it never works for me. Yeah, that's something um, that churches do a lot. They're like, well, fa it, like if you don't feel it, you know, fake it till you feel it. Yeah, and then they that, perform that. necromancy on a on a baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, that's, exactly. That's, that's 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 where that road ends up, right? Um. You'll be expected to, to seem in a better mood when he or she is around. Uh, yep. Fucking totally, absolutely balls to the wall psychotic in every conceivable way. Uh, and by the way, when, whenever I try to pretend I'm in a good mood when I'm not, I never fool anybody. Nobody's I, fooled I, by that shit. I can do a pretty good job of it, I've noticed. You think so? If, if the person knows me really well, they might notice something's up, but other, but other people don't seem to. Mud Crab says they did necromancy on a baby is the new they did surgery on a grape. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cider. You want to read that one? Draw more attention to yourself when that person is around. When people have crushes on other people, they tend to be louder to try to get the attention of their crush. You'll want to imitate this. Talk louder, laugh louder, smile more, move a bit more when you're talking to other people. Make this change obvious to any looker on. Because again, again, the outside perception that they that of other people is the most important thing to a narcissist. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's kind of counterintuitive because you think, well, they only care about about uh, they care about nothing but themselves, right? But that's actually not the case. They're right. very concerned about how other people see them. To a fucking mm -hmm. absolutely psychotic degree, right? Mm -hmm. So there's definitely a heavy dose of that going on here. Yes. Also, this person's face, like the eye. Oh, they look like Evangelion it, angels. Yeah, they're fucking horrifying. It, <laughs> yeah, it's... I was gonna say the dude's eye looks like a watcher from Bar from Barrow Trauma. <laughs> you see it? Yep. Yeah. <gasps> oh wow! Look at the yeah. He's fucking. <laughs> He's cursed as fuck. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, the structure of his skull would, would be interesting. Yeah, there's something... Uh, it, it, it reminds me of something I've seen right here. This guy's eye. This whole thing. Yes, the barrow trauma thing, but but more. Like, what? It's a sonicification? Sonic. 
His yeah, there's not a lot of like space between this eye and and the other eye, is there? Someone said facade. <laughs> okay. Ka. Here we go. I like the wiki house shirt. Mm -hmm. Now, of but course, the the person engaging in this works at WikiHow because this is the website where sociopaths live. <laughs> this is where they thrive. This is where they this is where they congregate. This is their home. So, of course, she's wearing a WikiHow shirt. This this article should be the poster child for this entire website. <laughs> Oh, look at the way he's, like, grabbing her with his middle finger only. It's, like, kind of a uh, air air touch. What, what is that called when you, when you do hover that? Hover hand. When... Hover hand. Yeah, it's kind of a hover hand. But he's, like, snaking his prehensile boneless finger around her arm. <laughs> Octopus. Yeah, th this, this, we could, this could be us, but you chose to have bones. <laughs> Is that what your hand looks like, Fred? Is that your spindly yes. spider hand? Yes. What's up with his thumb, too? Look at his thumb meat. I can, I can grab things with a single finger because I can wrap around it. His arm is also extremely short. Good point. It is. And the poor um, man was in a thresher accident. <laughs> his fucking arm is completely mangled. <laughs> also, oh. I, the, the opening <laughs> line, the title of this step... Act like you would if your relationship was real. I thought that was the fucking point of the article. That's like saying, like, oh, how, how do you assemble a computer? Step one, put together the computer. Well, here's Step where... Step two, go fuck yourself. Here's <laughs> here's where it's a little bit, it's a little bit different than that, because... Uh. There's a clear separation here between what a real relationship is and this fake relationship that you're you're engaging in right now, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you have. I, oh. oh yeah, the, everyone's right. Like, draw. This is a draw the rest of the fucking owl situation. Oh, what's that? Have you ever seen this meme? Hold on. I'm I'm finding it for you. Here it is. It's. A... Uh. Here. <laughs> I can't believe you've never seen this before. How to draw an owl. Draw some circles. Step two. Draw the rest of the fucking owl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never seen... No, I never seen that. That's great. But, it, you know, it's a little different because... This person who the person writing this knows that there's a clear distinction between a real relationship and whatever the fuck that they're doing. Like this is not an article that's, you know, even though I'm I'm sure we could find this article on this website, how to act in a relationship. You know, because again, these are articles like for aliens that were written by aliens right. who were trying to assimilate into fucking earth. But but this person again, yeah, like knows like why not get into a real fucking relationship. We have to assume that if they're looking at this article that they don't they don't know what a real relationship is. This is a person right. who like maybe maybe their knowledge of a fucking relationship is watching other people in relationships or watching, you know, movies and television shows because they have no concept of what it's actually like to feel emotions because they're that much of a sociopath. Right. Yeah, you know? this the, it, again, it's all 8chan users that are looking to get Back at those femoids. <laughs> femoids. The roasties, Fred. The ro <laughs> what? What is? That sounds. You haven't that heard that expression. Racist. They're saying that uh, the f the femoids. Uh... Oh no no no! Stop! Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I remember. Please don't. Oh God, nope. They're no, just. I, I know what you're talking they're about. Just I remember. That... I remember. They're just saying that vaginas look like roast beef. That's it. I know. Um, like that. That's what happens. No, they believe that's what happens when you have lots of sex. Is that what it is? 
No, that that is what they that yes, that is the like logic, the belief behind my assumption the was that thing. My assumption that was that these people have never seen a vagina or a roast beef sandwich and have no fucking frame of reference. <laughs> right. <laughs> I didn't know it was specifically quote unquote slutty women, Peachy Froggy. I di I didn't know that. I thought it was just like you just call every woman that. It'd yeah, they, like... they think it's a symptom of being um of being promiscuous. I thought, I, I mean, I'm trying to think of like the male, what the male equivalent equivalent would be. Like, like, what is it? Like, what food does a, does a, does a dong look like? A wiener? Like a hot dog? Yeah, a hot dog. So we yeah, would be like, like hot you doggies, have, you know, hot like doggies. Like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Hot doggies. That. We're hot doggies. What is my well, computer? It, it, my computer's I, doing something stupid. Okay, it stopped. Never mind. Go ahead. Okay. In your, in your case, maybe a chicken nugget. Fred, what? For you to say something funny, like that, would, funny penis joke, would, would mean that my penis is small, and that would pro and that would be really hurtful if you were to say something like that. So I know you don't mean that shit. Funny penis <laughs> joke. <laughs> A chicken it's nugget. It's funny. It's funny because I indirectly insulted your manhood. You did. A chicken nugget. My my penis is deep fried and spongy. And occasionally crunchy, if you don't wait too long to eat it. Yeah, Peachy Froggy is like, in, in case you guys didn't know, and there might be some people in chat who don't know, sex does not change the look of sexual organs. Just FYI. I, I'm, I, 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 that, that is, that's like Christians love, I think, uh, like pastors love trotting that out. It's like, no, it, it doesn't. There's, there's no, no. It's not how it works. For the second time tonight, I'm in awe that people believe a thing like that. Like I just can't. Like people. They like do. people thought that. They do. Like the the only exception is like an STD, right? Like that that will that can change it. Uh, if but you're gonna get we're not talking that, that's not warts, what they're talking about. Yeah, you're gonna about. get general warts. They're yeah, just... if, you're, if you're gonna get general warts, but that's not what we're talking about. That's why would this you assume? Why would you sense. assume that? What the fuck? Because, because remember, like, a lot of these people are people who are so separated from the sexual experience or because True. of, like, the shame associated True. with it. Yeah. They, um, learning about it. So, uh, in Christianity, th there's sort of a concept that doesn't really get talked about a whole lot. Um, it, it's the concept of, uh, forbidden knowledge. And it, you would think that's really obvious with, um... With, you know, the Garden of Eden, right? You know, you eat the, you eat the apple, you, not the apple, but you eat the fruit of knowledge. Um, it's, the fruit is not specified, but you eat the fruit of knowledge and you immediately, like, the knowledge that you gain is not what God intended for you. Well, that uh, theme is echoed in other parts of the Bible as well, specifically demonology. Uh, you are told, like, the Bible instructs you not to learn about demons. Like, simply learning about demons is a pathway for Satan to enter your mind, essentially. Sorry, I zoned um, out. Did you say something about semenology? God damn it, dude. I, I didn't zone. I was following you. I just wanted to... I, I know, I know, I know. But no, like, demonology is essentially forbidden knowledge in Christianity. Uh, and it opens up uh, doors for Satan to enter your mind, essentially. And... Uh, one of the, an, an, another example of this is sexual knowledge. Um, sexual knowledge, oftentimes, I don't know if that actually is in the Bible. I never read anything about that, but there is that feeling. It is taught that like sexual knowledge um, is something that allows like Satan to enter your mind. Essentially, it's because it is thinking about so like let um th there is a Bible verse let verse let nothing that is unwholesome enter your mind. Uh, that's New Testament, I believe. Um, it, it's it's in the same. I believe it's. I believe that was the Sermon on the Mount when uh, Jesus was saying it is better to you know cut off your left hand or like gouge out your eye than, than to um, jack off to look at something sinful. Yeah, no, <laughs> if your eye would cause you to sin, gouge it out. It's that kind of thing, right? Like there's there's you, so the that's it's that same concept. It, it's not thought crime because learning about these things itself isn't uh bad it's that it can put it leaves an avenue into your mind for unwholesome thoughts that's the concept there is also a practical utility to this shit in that mm. when people are ignorant they're much easier to manipulate 
So if you mm. if you if you create this general attitude of having knowledge of these things is is sinful, and having knowledge of these things can hurt you, uh, you know, then you're not then you're not gonna want to know, um, and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna spend your money on the tithe instead of giving it to Jabroni Mike, <laughs> right? No, that now that would be the most sinful thing of all is giving Jabroni Mike money. Is giving him biddies, uh, or, pay, get, or paying your taxes. You get the idea. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, the, the forbidden knowledge. I mean, um, I don't the know. The extension how... of that is it does allow the um, a a control over your mind by limiting what you are allowed to know and learn. Right. Uh, th this also extends to um, any knowledge of like argue like arguments against God. Um, although the apologetics directly contradict this. The pastors Anyways, will I'm trot sorry. It out. I find this interesting. I, the, it is. I'm the, sorry I rambled. Don't apologize, because this is what we're here to do. Uh, I think if, if these people didn't want to hear this shit, they wouldn't be here. Because, they again, again, they know what we do here. Uh, Zara, thank you for the for the biddies. I'll show you my titties. I'm not going to show you my titties. Uh, wow, I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. Fuck. Um, oh, the pastors trot out the whole, uh, yeah, your, your vagina changes when you have sex thing because they think it's going to freak people out and be like, oh, no, I can't have sex now because I don't want my vagina to turn into a sandwich from Arby's. Right. And even beyond that, the belief that, like, the first time a woman has sex, their, like, their hymen breaks, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that is a hard and fast rule. Well, guess what? It really isn't. It right. really, really isn't. And that has a knock-on effect of, like, people say, well, if you didn't bleed, then I didn't do it right, or I'm not big enough, right? Mm -hmm. When And so, oftentimes, for women, you know, they have a really bad first experience with sex because they're bleeding, not because their hymen broke. They're bleeding because they didn't use enough lube, but they're like, oh, the first time is supposed to hurt. It's like, guys, no, it's not. Yeah, like, and that's I'm because... you this right now, it's not. That's because they weren't fucking taught anything. Because, you know, this shit... Is considered sinful, right? So, right. so nobody fucking knows anything, and then they're fucking clueless when they go into this important life shit, because our fucking school system doesn't actually prepare you for jack shit. Mm hmm. In any area of fucking life. Fuck. We can. Anyways, we, we have to get back to the article. <laughs> but, How did we get here? I don't know. This is article two. This is the second article of the night, Fred. Okay, so act like if you would, if your relationship was real. Think about how you would act with someone you loved. He said to the person who doesn't understand the concept of love. <laughs> right. What is that song from Jet Set Radio? The concept of love? Yeah. Understand, uh, understand. Uh, go on the dates. Concept, the concept of love. There it is. Uh, thanks, DMCA. Go on dates. Put time out for him, her. Enjoy yourself. Even if you aren't interested in the person romantically, you can still be friends. It'll make it seem much more realistic. Why don't you put God. that time and energy into somebody you actually like? They don't specify why. It it it, it it's for the coochie. You, you, you could you could just you could Gucci just man. you could just have a relationship, asshole. It's cause they want the coochie man. You wanna read this one? Oh look, it's I, another I will. it's another WikiHow employee. Oh good. Let the relationship go on for as long as you absolutely need it to, then end it immediately. This literally is, like, how to get the nuclear codes. <laughs> Do not go on pretending to be in love with someone, ever. If you need help with this, see WikiHow's How to Break Up with Someone You Love. Also written by me, just saying... Uh, which would have been impossible because he doesn't understand the concept of love. Uh, don't go on pretending to be in, in love with someone ever. So, what is his fucking suggestion? To, to do this, but only do it for a limited amount of time? How much time? A week? No, Two it's, weeks? No, How long is ethical is, to do this? What he's saying is, as soon as you have what you want, get out. That, you're, that's, the, I, I without, think without, without saying that, hand. the dentist system he, never fails. He's <laughs> tipped his <laughs> What is the dent? Okay, I have not seen this episode. What is the dentist system? He's just explaining, like, yeah, how to be a fucking psychotic, manipulative piece of shit to women. 
Uh, cause he has, cause he, he, cause he's fucking sociopathic and had, and cannot feel, he's a fucking legit psychopath in the show. Like that is his character. That's the joke. All the jokes about this character okay. have to do with him being a psychopath. You want to okay, see the, uh, the, 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 oh, there's, th a, there's link. a link. There's a link to it. Um, D demonstrate value. E engage physically. N nurturing dependence. N neglect emotionally. I inspire hope. And S separate <laughs> entirely. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! It's totally, it's totally this WikiHow article. It is. 100%. It's it's this, but unironically. No, this is like this, this is unironically like how you would. I hate, I hate that this actually is doing a better job than the WikiHow <laughs> article. <laughs> But you know, always sunny. It, 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 if you, I'm sure you knew this already. But for those of you who don't, it, it's very much like Seinfeld in the fact that it's depicting people that you should not aspire to be like. Right. And it's like, these are terrible people. A lot of the, the, the comedy, comedy comes, comes from you laughing at how objectively awful they are, and right. you, the, the the people who make the show expect you to know that these people fucking objectively suck, and you're not supposed to fucking like idolize these people you're supposed to detest these people while you watch this laughing right. at not with exactly that's and it comes across very well right right like there's never any ambiguity no no but look at yeah it's exactly <laughs> it's the tennis system <laughs> it really is um so oh here's the q a well that's it that's the article article that's two it. um once you're out I... It strikes me as like, you know those teen movies where somebody like makes a bet? It's like, I bet you could make so-and-so fall in love with you. And then like he, f but but in the process, he falls in love with her because she's actually secretly hot after she gets a makeover. Right. Oh, yeah. The, the whole take off the glasses and they're beautiful cliche. It's like that, except at the end of those movies, he always like falls in love with her accidentally. You know, right? But it's like, just this, oh, that now doesn't... that you don't wear glass, like now that you got contacts, I love you. It's like, fuck that. Glasses it's a trope. Cute. It's a I trope. Fucking, yeah. I, I fucking, I fucking love glasses, dude. Right? She's like less like, hot. Glasses. Yeah, she's less like, hot after taking the look, glasses off. Yeah. I just like how glasses look on people. The difference being, he never, he never falls in love with her. It's like the the lead up to one of to one of those teen comedies, but it's just. It, it ends like a half hour too early, like the credits roll a half hour too early on like a scene of her crying and then it's over. Right. You want to see the community q and I can't wait. Tips. T oh, we have tips. Yeah, it's tips. Don't be too over the top. People don't act that ridiculous when they're in love, contrary to popular belief. I don't. When you smile, you let your smile affect your eyes. Otherwise, it looks extremely fake. You, you look like um, that that guy from those commercials that we were talking about the other night, chat. The uh, the dude who's always in pain, Gerald. What's his fucking name? Uh, hide the pain, Harold. Hide the pain, Harold. Thank you. You don't yeah. want to look like hide the pain, Harold. <laughs> you shouldn't let the relationship go on for more than one year, maximum. Oh, there is a limit. There is a time there limit. There is a limit. There is twenty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> too long is just cruel to the person you're pretending to be in love with you know as if like yeah. six months like six months is fine but it, like you know 11 months okay but a year that's too far <laughs> what the fuck what's sick like what yep. what sort of mental gymnastics is this person going through they're the gold medalist dude well, listen, Holy they're only shit. they're only going through the mental gymnastics for the benefit of people who are going to read this and think that there's something wrong with it. Basically, me and you. These mental gymnastics and these disclaimers and these types of things, these 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 exceptions to the rules are really just so because in their mind, we're going to sit here and read this and be like, well, I was worried that the person was a complete sociopath. But because of this one sentence, those fears have been completely allayed. <laughs> right? It does feel like what they're trying to do, doesn't it? A 20-second relationship. 
Don't lead the person on too much. They might be loving you a lot and might end up be assessed. Obsessed. End up be might obsessed. End Her up be obsessed. Her quills be bouncing. <laughs> yeah. Th okay. Th this is. This I is. This fucking... was. This one was rough, man. Fuck. Yeah. This. They just don't give a shit. I, like, I have. I. I have legitimately like. Did I ever- did I ever tell you- I- I'm pretty sure I told you ab about the person who decided we were dating and forgot to tell me. <laughs> what? Did I ever tell you about that? You might have. You want to refresh my memory? Yeah, no, like, I- I- I told- like, they were my friend, and I- and I told them that I- I started dating someone, and they immediately just got unbelievably angry. They said, wait a minute, uh, but we're dating. Right, and then they were like, but but we have something, and I'm like, no, we, we don't. What? Fuck. It was really bad. They don't the love each other. Bad experiences with chat. that. People just assuming that you're in a relationship with them? Yeah. It, it's, that has only happened once. I've, I, ugh. It's it's one of those things where you know turning someone down sucks, right? It it doesn't feel good, but this person I didn't even turn down. Like it never happened. There was it, yeah, it just fucking happened. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. That's that's uh, that's, that's he didn't that's, give that's me weird. The, yeah, didn't weird. give me a fucking chance. Yeah, you didn't even <laughs> you didn't even get the opportunity to turn them down. Yeah, yeah exactly. Hey, Fred, um. We're in a relationship now. You're welcome. Oh, sweet. Thanks. Yeah, that's how that is. <laughs> that's... <laughs> yeah. It's like... It's like the reverse of this article, right? <laughs> <laughs> Chat's saying congratulations. Thank you, Chat. I, I didn't know until just now. They're happy like... for me. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Love wins, Shraddle. <laughs> we... We... <laughs> We will Skull, love each other. Skull Jester says, at least you told him. <laughs> <laughs> love. 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 <laughs> yeah, I could have not have told you. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think whoever fucking wrote this needs help, and whoever is reading this needs help. Uh, and that, inclu that includes us. Yeah, yeah. That actually, that actually includes us, because I'm, I I'm fucking, now. I had psychic damage from fucking reading this. This was, uh, this was thoroughly fucked. In, 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 it's in like darkest way. dungeon. I feel like I just went through a dungeon. <laughs> yeah. And stress yeah. built, stress is built up, and now I need to go to the tavern. You want to read another one of these fucking things? <laughs> Someone in chat. Let's say hypothetically that we were dating. <laughs> Let's say objectively we are already dating. <laughs> Let me get. Uh, let me get you trapped in relationship with Fred alone. Trapped in a relationship with Fred alone, and he doesn't even <laughs> know. Oh my god! I'm married to a fire type Pokemon. <laughs> I know. I know what to do. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, Mike will eat me. <laughs> nom 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 nom. All good. How to moan. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna like, you're gonna like this one. You're gonna like this one. Okay, no, we need, we need a, we need that clip of, um, oh my god, how am I forgetting his name? Uh, the Infowars guy. Alex Jones? Uh, we, yeah, Alex Jones. We need Alex Jones going, bleh, bleh. What was that meme about, um, where you, when you, you, Say something in your lover's ear when you moan. What was that that meme about? That was from a couple years ago. Remember that old meme that everybody was. What was that fucking? God damn it! What was that meme, chat? Uh, I think someone it, he moaned this loud. Oh, <laughs> that one. Uh... He moaned this loud. Ah, it was like dudes that moan in their lover's ear or something, but I do this instead. Oh, no. And you could like swap out the second part of the meme with anything. Ah, uh, here it is. Some bitches be afraid to moan, but I be in my girl's ear like. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the, no, that that's the meme. Peachy Froggy remembers it. And then you you could just put any noise at the end of the sentence. It's really good. That was a very versatile meme. <laughs> versatile. Elier says, "I'd be up in my girl's ear like Yahoo! Waha! Here we go!" <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, so again, under dating, I'd be dating... up in my girl's ear like love. <laughs> Wahoo! How to moan I, under dating you, and love and romance again? Do Do you remember? Do you remember? Did you ever play Mario Party Five? I, I, I think so. I played a bunch of the Mario Parties. Why? There's a stupid okay. voice acting in there. Um. So in all the other Mario Parties, it sounds like the voice actors are having a great time. But for Mario Party Five, they just very clearly phoned it in. Like, Wario, when it's, like, when he gets, like, when he lands on a blue space, he goes, Yahoo. <laughs> it's like Rosalinda in 3D World, where she's like, Wahoo. Right. Like, she's, like, so happy to be here. Oh, great. Excellent. Well, this is cool. Great. Excuse me. <laughs> be up in my girl's <laughs> ear like excuse me <laughs> excuse me sir I have to get in here excuse spread your legs excuse me now I have to go into your narrow thing oh well this is cool <laughs> oh Jesus <laughs> Dude, bitches be afraid to moan during se sex. I'm all up in my in, in my lover's ear, being like, quoting Mobility Mary. Okay. <laughs> uh, you wanna um, you wanna read this? Let's button? yeah, let's go. <clears throat> How to moan? Moaning tells your partner that you're turned on or feeling pleasure. In theory, a moan is a sexy involuntary noise. You moan in the heat of the moment because you are overcome by sensation. Not everyone moans naturally, but training yourself to moan can be a great way to show someone that you're enjoying yourself. Read on for tips on how and when to moan. Okay, so once again, I would like to point out that this is, this is one of those articles that details something or, or overanalyzes something that, like, you're not supposed to think about? Like, how many right. times have we seen that during these streams? Like, th th look at that sentence. Training yourself to moan? Wh what do you mean? Tr tr you either do it or you don't. Th there's no training yourself to moan. What the fuck does that mean? Right, it's... It's so for aliens, I, I actually, again! I actually... So, a, a lot of men are told they're too quiet, right? I suspect a lot of the time men are quiet because they're self-conscious. About yeah, you don't it, want to make right? like stupid. No, you're afraid you're gonna make like a stupid noise. And you're gonna sound like an idiot. Yeah, right. Or like, or like they're they're too focused. They're, they're worried about like any number of things, like like finishing early, or you know, am I big enough? Are they like, are they? Am I big enough for them to enjoy me? They're right? psyching like, themselves out in their own head. Yeah, right. Like it's it. it they're in, intrusive thoughts. Like that. That's a really common thing. Like men are like. People have to. People are expected to perform in a certain way during sex, and personally, I think that's really sad. Um, if, if you and your partner are having a good time, whatever. But it, it, yeah, it's a true. Am I too big? That that is a legitimate thing. This is like, all true, but so much of this is is subjective stuff. You know, if you look at the broad scope of you know human sexuality or whatever, uh, mm -hmm. there, there, there's no one size fits all. No pun intended. Yeah, <laughs> there, it, it, there really isn't. You know, everybody is so fucking different when, when it comes to this stuff. Uh, right. These kinds of top-down approaches are just fucking destined for failure. Destined for failure. Yeah. Destined for failure and a waste of everybody's fucking time. To be quite frank, Frank. Right. Okay. If if you're if you're fucking for your own self-esteem, then you're setting yourself up for a bad time. Yeah, I mean that as well. Um, fucking for your own self-esteem. Right, self like, what like the if, if you got, if, you got, if you got some other problems. That, that like, like if 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 it's between two people who are like accepting each other, 
right? Yeah. That that's where uh, the self esteem can come from. Like you're accepting someone else for who they are, and they're accepting you for who you are. Like that is that's where it's okay, right? Like that's where it's okay. But but if you feel like you're on a stage and like if I can just pull off this performance, then <laughs> I'll be like I'll have performed my gender properly. That, yeah. What is that? That's shit? where it starts to get really toxic. Yeah, don't, don't, it's just fucking, you know, this is supposed to be something that you enjoy. It's not supposed to be an, an anxiety experience, you know? I think, I, right. you know, when you, probably, like, when you, when you first start having sex, it's, it, there's, <laughs> uh, there's obviously gonna be, like, anxiety, but, you know, uh, hopefully, yeah, you're an adult at, at that point, and you, you know, move on from that after a certain amount of time, right? Right. Uh, if, stage fright for your dick, yeah. If, if if you're with someone who's going to make fun of you because you're inexperienced, you're with the wrong person. That's another yeah, another red flag tonight. Like that that is a red flag. Yeah, big red flag right there. It's 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 different for every person, but, but going in with the intention of like th like finally I like if you if you're going into sex thinking finally I will like be a man or finally I will be a woman or like I'll be an adult because of this you're it's not a good paradigm because you're not going to feel any different afterward yeah that's all right stupid. it's it's like it, there, there's this myth that like oh once you lose your virginity everything changes it's like nah yeah where the fuck did no. that come from yeah, right. well, it's it's um, it has I think it has to do with uh, the idea of virginity as being a privileged status. Maybe it's just it's really, you know, when when people eventually do like ha have sex, people who are under that mindset when they do eventually like have sex and they they find out like what a what a big deal it isn't. It, it's it's mm -hmm. kind of it's kind of sad, right? It's well, like I think oh, that people that... build it up to be something like earth shattering right yeah, it's like like, sex. Like, like it's like just the concept of it alone is massive and to be fair the sort of puritanical culture around it a little bit very to blame. much is it's a little like bit to blame, it, it yeah. builds it up that way like well because you know virgin like well, what's that clip virginity is cool come on have you ever seen that clip uh what is it some kind of abstinence bullshit I'm. We we. You, you you should like sex should should be undersold. It should be undersold to, to people. You have, like, to, you have to fucking see this, Mike. Okay, he linked something to please, me. Hold hold on please. a minute. Please. He, he he linked me something. Is this a potential DMCA, bud? No, absolutely not. There's no music in it for sure. No, there. Like, well, I don't. I wouldn't call it music. Okay, hang out. Here we go. Come on, ready. Oh what? Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? What is this? Here we go. Come on, ready? Virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is cool. What up? What up? Virginity is cool. He's got. He's got. Virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is cool. What up? What up? Virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is cool. fucking winded. Virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is. Why are they getting militant? <laughs> he's he's fucking hiling. He's hiling. He's hiling. No. <laughs> Look! It's a fist. No, it's a fist. It's a fist. Cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is cool. What up, what up? Virginity. What up, what up? <laughs> what up? <laughs> come on, come on. What up, what up? <laughs> All right, thank you. The, this Here this is go. how on, militant right? people Virgin are about virginity. And oh, because it's God. built up to be this huge thing, people freak out about it. But well, this is definitely happening in like a mega church or some shit, right? I it's a church. I don't know about a. It's not a mega church, but it Fuck. is a church. <laughs> Man, they're right. Virginity is cool. Uh, we're not here we're, to watch videos. True Blue review. We we got some reading to do. We do, yeah. Uh, like it's. <laughs> so the point the the point I'm that I'm sorry I'm sorry I keep giving life advice in these streams. That's okay. You've always done it. So nobody's expecting anything different. I fair like enough. I said, uh, you you did, you, you did that the first time we did this, 
I know. You've I've done, done it, it every, literally every time. Every time we've done this, and these people are still watching it, so whatever. I, I, hope, I just hope people are finding it useful, otherwise we're wasting oxygen. Right? Mm. Um, well, like, um... Yeah. What was it? Someone was saying, uh, Blood Realm is saying, Fred, it's the opposite. Culture is saying virginity is wrong. You're a loser. My point that I'm making isn't that virginity, like that society says virginity is good or virginity is bad. My point is that society makes virginity this massive fucking thing. That's the point that I'm trying to make. Not that everyone is saying it's good or it's bad. It's built up to be this huge thing when... It doesn't have to be, and it's not, right? Like, there, there's all this tension that's built up around it. Oh, it's supposed to be painful. Oh, you can never go back. Oh, it deforms your genitals. Oh, it, like, it does all these things, and just it just fucking doesn't. Like, all of this is, like, hyping it up so much more. He, he's. I was saying something. Is. I was saying something like this not too long ago. I don't remember the context of it, but we basically, yeah, we just what, during a stream. Had a conversation a lot like this, but I, I, it was oh, it was during uh, Yakuza Zero when oh. uh, when the kids called that guy uh, that guy fighter who works in the go kart place a fucking virgin, right? <laughs> uh, it was really funny actually. Right. But I like how these streams are called like tongue in cheek, like ironically, how to life, because you know the joke is like you're not gonna learn how to life from this website. Right. Right. But but the, and then I accidentally end up. <laughs> yeah. The irony is. This, this dude is actually dropping, like, real-life advice on you. Because he has mm. to cancel out the bullshit that WikiHow is shoving down your throat, right? I, it, it's, it's a reflex at this point. I'm just come fucking on. So, basically, you were saying that so, some people will, like, deliberately not moan. They'll, they'll, like, suppress the noises, you know, because out of embarrassment or something. But well, uh, that's my, very my different. My original point... I, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was just saying that that's very different from training yourself to moan right so if, right, you're, um, if your natural inclination is to not make any sounds at all then um just just then just don't make any sounds at all my point was again we have another article that is again over analyzing something or looking into something way too deeply that you shouldn't even fucking be going through life thinking about really you should not be the, the, a normal person doesn't think about this for, for more than like 10 fucking seconds. A am I wrong? Okay, so this is actually uh, related to the point that I wanted to make about this originally. I think that the reason a lot of men, because it's men specifically that are that are afraid to moan a lot of the time, though like, wi like women too, like, or AMAB, AFAB, um, they, like people often are afraid to moan because they're afraid they're not going to do it right. Which is why this article exists in the first place. Because they're afraid they're not going to do it right. It's just, right? It, it There's, goes, like, there, there is a way that you're told you are supposed to moan. And if it's outside of that, then it's bad. Yeah. Uh, or it's annoying. You know, they're worried about being annoying or killing the moment. Um, and so they just don't do anything because they're thinking, they're thinking about, you know, performing it right. And I think that's why this article exists in the first place. The problem is that moaning ideally is something that happens when the person is letting go of all of those worries. Because right. there's that ideal. Ideally, you're supposed, supposed to be able to let go of everything and just enjoy the moment. Fucking but, ex exactly. exactly. But, the, but because there's all of this theater built up around sex, it's hard to do that. And so you get articles telling people how to moan. Uh, let's read it. Ready to read it? Yeah, we, we have, actually haven't read it yet. <laughs> We've talked about it a lot, but we haven't read it at all. Y On yep. <laughs> part one, understanding the moan. Yeah, feet! Yeah, feet! She's I hate this shot where, like, it's supposed to symbolize sex. It's the feet. Out of the bottom of the covers. Well, they can't very well have a big old fucking cock and balls in the in the fucking art, right? They, they can't. Cowards. She's thinking about very noisy feet. Like maybe these <laughs> yeah. peop these people are like crickets, and when they rub their legs together, it makes a loud sound. <laughs> your feet? Yeah, th I, this is an infomercial for like anti scream foot. It's like, do your feet <laughs> scream extremely loudly during sex? Oh! <laughs> Oh, my feet, they won't stop screaming. They keep me up at night. What do I do? 
Well, we have anti-scream cream for your feet. <laughs> Apply directly to the foothead. Oh my god, it, it's the Sonic pogging feet. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. Remember that? How could I forget it? I tried to forget it. How to moan, step one. Turn up the volume on your feet. <laughs> Fred, what do you sound like when, when you fuck? Wait, let's, let me hear your... Why, Let me I, hear your signature you know. sound. Let me hear Why your... are you asking me? You already know. Oh. 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 <laughs> we had sex. Uh. <laughs> Whoa, Grunty! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What if? What if you're? What? Your sex grunts are, are grunty sounds from Bandra Kazooie. <laughs> 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 Bitches be afraid to moan during sex. I be like. It's true, guys. Fred sounds like Banjo Kazooie when he fucks. <laughs> I it's go true. through the <laughs> whole list. <laughs> Mike says, baby, baby, will you do Kazooie? And I go, <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. Oh, right there. Yeah. And then, and then, and then when he's close, he pulls me in. He pulls me in close to him and whispers in, in my ear, do sans. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, V Genesis, this is what I sound like when I fuck. <laughs> that, Julie. That's what I sound like. Julie. I'm sorry. I still don't know how to pronounce the name of that musical instrument. Kuika? Kuika. How do you... Okay, seriously, how do you say cloaca? it? Cloaca? I've been pronouncing it cloaca as a meme for several cloaca. years, but I don't know how to actually pronounce it. It's cloaca, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> you know what? Yeah, it is. Kuika. Just spelling it doesn't help me. Kuika? Kuika. It's not as funny. All right. What? No... That moaning is involuntary in theory, so when, you know, you're trying to imitate it, keep that in mind. So, fucking, just, obviously circular fucking logic. Like, the, the, the article just admitted how pointless it is. You realize that? In, yeah. in, in step one, well, no, in step one, saying, it admitted how pointless it is. No, it's saying in theory, right? Oh, it did but... say in theory, excuse me. So, sorry, that changes, yeah, that changes everything. A moan is a noise of passion that escapes you when you're overcome by pleasure or sensation. Usually in a sensual context. It's a way of vocalizing how good you're feeling. However, not everyone is prone to being loud, and many people have a hard time making their sensual feelings public. With practice, confidence, and a supportive partner, you may learn to unlock your moan and make it feel more natural. You gotta you know, un unlock you know your how, moan, Fred. Unlock the You know the how artists will, how you know how artists will stream them practice stream themselves, um, like making art. I mean, yeah. There was a Twitch stream for this. Oh hey chat, I'm just practicing my sex moans. <laughs> you know that you know what's funny is that's that's gonna become relevant later in the article. Remember that. Seriously? Yeah. Uh well not exactly, but uh, okay. But very but kind <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll see. Unlock it like oh. a Skyrim shout. Fus Roda! <laughs> hey guys, today I'm gonna practice my sex moans. Uh, it's actually like a vocal warm up. You know, for like people who, who sing. <laughs> you know, they do uh, this thing. Hello, 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 chat. I'm, uh, well, welcome to my stream. And um, so, so hypothetically, <laughs> you are here so that um, you can listen to me practice my sex moans. Um, okay, well, let, 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 let's get started. Uh, eh. <laughs> eh. Uh. 
<laughs> he just sounds like a turtle taking a shit. Like that. <laughs> That's his sex grunt. Ben Shapiro's sex grunt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I uh, I I I, oh, yeah. I I took that one from Luigi. Oh yeah. It's a matter uh, of time. From, oh, yeah. I, I took that yeah. one from Luigi Mario. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I I heard it and I was just like, you know, if if I use if I use it in bed, uh, I bet that I could make my wife's p word uh real dry, <laughs> uh, like a desert. So uh, oh yeah. Nice and dry, just just oh, yeah. how it, just how God intended. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yippee. Yeehaw. Yahoo. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's Mario time. Oh yeah, yeah, very nice. Oh, that's a bit, molto bene. Oh, so 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 someone in chat just said that uh, this is making them wet, and uh, clearly that means that I need to uh, try a little bit harder. <laughs> it means they need to see a gynecologist stat, as in monostat. <laughs> exactly, monostat. A Ben Shapiro VTuber stop. Uh. <laughs> Did did I ever did I ever send you the uh, was it the face matic of someone um, with what was it Pete Buttigieg who's like um, some people like small uh, what was it uh, some people like uh, oh fuck what was it oh no it's some pe um some people want small mommy GF with small milky but we need to make sure that the tent is big enough. For mommy with biggie milky and penis. <laughs> the tent. The tent. The tent. We need to make sure that the tent is big enough for the mommy GF with big biggie milky and penis. Oh, the tent. My God, I need this. <laughs> the tent. We need to make sure the tent is big enough. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get back to reading this because you're going to see go. that uh, this little bullet point actually references something that you were saying a minute ago. Okay. Research also suggests, hypothetically, that at least some aspect of moaning is consciously controlled, particularly for women, and it's sourced. So if it doesn't feel natural to you, don't worry. It's still possible for you to develop a moan. I don't want the person I I'm having sex with to, 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 to fucking make a conscious effort to make noises. I don't care. You know what I mean? Well, like, I get it. Like, I, 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 get it. I don't want you to sit I there and try it. to moan for my benefit. I don't give a shit. Well, see, I, I can sort of see it. Like, I, I'm kind of curious about the research now. Um, but I can see if you are consciously making the decision to allow yourself to moan, right? That, yes, but there's a difference there, right? Because right. the, the difference is allowing yourself to, like, like stifling a sound that you were going to make anyway, and deliberately like inventing a sound that you weren't going to make because you think that the other person Mike, is going is to enjoy it. Mike, when has anyone citing research in a WikiHow article that we have read done anything other than weaponize their citations? <laughs> True. True. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened here. I don't even need to click on that link to tell me that. What a beautiful way of putting that, though. Weaponizing their citations. Wow, that's exactly what they're doing. It was like when you were reading the, uh, the, the fucking feces thesis. Right. And it, it, there, was, there was that one phrase where it was like the uh, con forced consumer acceptance of mediocrity, and you stopped reading and went, ooh. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I I hate how well that was put. Uh, yeah. Listen, I don't. Someone in chat said, "Uh, it's the opposite of what Fred said with men. Women often fake their moans." I I, I it's don't. True. I, yeah. It, 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 don't don't. I, I'm saying don't. I'm saying you don't need to do that. There's no reason to don't. do that. Yeah. I... And it, and if the guy if the guy that you or whoever you're having sex with is like, you need to moan more, babe. Be like, fuck you and leave. Okay, so like, sex at its core is an is a radical acceptance of the other person, for right. who they are. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So if you feel that you need to be performing in a way that isn't you, then you have a problem. Oh my God! Could anybody ever put that better? 
Could anybody ever put that better? No. No, no, they can't. I answered that question for you. Ooh. Yeah, big ooh. Part two. Part two. Listen. <laughs> Part two is just watch porn, buddy. It's like when you're, it's like when you're in school and the fucking teacher wheels in the television and it's like, today we're going to watch a movie and everybody's like, yay! I wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm yeah, it's just watch porn. I'm what's, sorry, what? I wasn't ready for this. What's going on in there, honey? Oh, just research. Research. Just research. Look at the fucking, like the, the, I don't- I don't even know what this is. The motion things coming out of her eyeballs. So she's like- she's not even looking at the porn, she's like looking over the porn. Right. Yeah, uh, I want you to- I want you to read this, because I think okay. you're gonna enjoy this. Okay. Listen to other people moan. Watch videos or listen to audio clips of people pleasuring each other and making noise. Not porn. Watch YouTube videos <laughs> about how to moan. I don't want to know what that- I I think I think we need to click on it. I uh, let me finish this first. <laughs> I think we need to see what the fuck they're referencing. The best way to master your moan is to imitate others who do it well. Fuck. If you this. hear some if you hear someone make a noise that sounds sexy, wait until you're alone, then try to replicate that noise. What Wait until you're alone, though. We don't want people to think you're weird. This, you know. Okay, literally, literally, this is the worst possible advice. <laughs> Trying to imitate <laughs> so what you see it because what what are they talking about? Video, watch videos or listen he to audio never, clips of people pleasuring each other. They They're telling never, you to watch porn. They never and use, imitate the, the but sounds. they never use the word porn. Do you see the word porn here? I don't. What else are they referring to? They're talking about audio clips or videos of people pleasuring each other and making noise. What, That's like just porn. in the office? Hey, Janice, you know, this might be a little bit weird, but the next time you and your husband fuck, could you record it for me? <laughs> like what, are you going to get homegrown sounds to practice off of? Yeah, they didn't say por they they didn't say watch porn. They did not say watch porn. Fucking cider. <laughs> <laughs> watch videos or listen to audio clips of people uh pleasuring each other and and making noise. I need to I need to click that that fucking that, that footnote. I, I need to click that footnote. Okay, I, okay. I, I, I have okay. to I have to find out what's okay. I have to well, find out what's what going the on link there. Is. It probably links to their fucking YouTube channel. Okay, okay, I'm gonna make a prediction. Where they Ready? do mo moan tutorials? <laughs> moan no, 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 I, I, I'm, gonna I'm gonna make a prediction. This is going to be a link to a video some of someone describing how to moan. Okay. But this person is going to be really into new age crystals and shit. That sounds accurate. That sounds accurate. Right, like they're going to have religious symbols behind them on the wall, and like they might have an incense burner. That's my call. I'm watching what the you, the the uh, face rig is doing right now, and I'm not doing any of that. I'm remaining completely motionless this entire time. <laughs> yeah, she just she just fucking <laughs> she just stroked out. Wheels. Holy All shit! Right, you're, yeah, you're good. I'm clicking that link. Okay, okay. I'm clicking that. L wish me luck. I'm watching. I I can see it, even though stream can't. <gasps> Video unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> they linked to porn. They actually did. They linked to porn. And they <laughs> <gasps> Fuck! That's brilliant. <laughs> I just linked to porn. Oh, no. Oh, that's fucking oh, uh, awesome. Oh, people are saying we can at least see what the title of the video was. They're right. If we go, if we t send it through the Wayback Machine. I... Uh, it won't load the video. The video won't be saved onto the Wayback Machine, but we can at least I don't, see I, what uh, can, the title can, was. Can, can, can you do this for me? Because I don't, I don't want to... Yeah, sure. Let me, I'll, uh, I'll give you the link. Uh, link it, yeah, I'll, I'll send me you, the link and I'll yeah, do it real hold on, quick. I'll do it. I'll get it to you. 
I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm like doubly fucking nervous now. Uh, here. Boom. Bang, boom. All right, sweet. Copy link. Paste. I probably got trolled. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Snapshot from January of this year. Okay. It might not be there at this point. Um, we'll see. It was but there as was as cool. recently as January of this year, though. Uh, we'll see. I I'm I'm looking. This was article was last updated in November of twenty of last year. Okay. Uh, For the record, it looks like it looks like the earliest version of the site is from before then. So uh, the earliest version on the Wayback Machine. Give it just a second. Computer it's, enhance. Oh, I think there is nothing there at this point. Let me let me go farther back. Let me go to the farthest back one. John Jacob Jingleheimer Twitch is always watching you. Mike must be very careful. Yeah. Name is my name too. Yeah. Right, remember let's... when Vinny got like fucking banned for a side boob? A side boob. Give me that Christian side hug. That Christian side hug. So you couldn't find anything? Uh, it's taking a while to load if there is anything. Archive.org is not playing nice. All right, if that if that has to take time, do you want to continue to read nah, the article? No, let's just keep going. All right. This ain't happening. I don't think it's loading. Ow. Well, we tried, chat. We tried our best. All right, so you got to master your moan by imitating others who do it well. Guys, like, I... May I vehemently say, don't do this. Oh, my God, please don't do this. Obviously, please don't do this. Please don't try to imitate porn. That's the thing that I... I you, you reminded me I, what I, was something I wanted to say before. Obviously, yes, I'm, I'm joking... No, he's not talking about going to work and asking Janice to make a clip of her and her husband fucking. This person is, is saying porn without saying porn. They, they're saying go watch porn and imitate the moans in porn. Porn? And somebody here, I guarantee you, needs to hear this. And, and, I, and I hope that the person that needs to hear this takes this, this lesson and internalizes this. Porn is fantasy. Porn is fake it is i know a performance i know what you're thinking you're, you're thinking mike i knew that already you didn't know it you didn't you think you know it you don't know it you especially 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 if you're somebody who hasn't had a lot of sex okay in your life all right porn is bullshit it's bullshit I'm sorry, but it's bullshit. It 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 it, it 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 can fuck you up by creating unrealistic expectations about you know what sex is, right? It makes you it, it makes you like like want things that aren't even that don't even exist, you know? Like you know how much fucking like, beyond photoshops, I don't know, uh I deep fakes is kind of a normal thing. But between, you know, makeups and and, and implants and all kinds of fucking uh, electronic manipulation, and this those are actors in costumes doing things that like aren't even fucking remotely feasible in real life in half of the fucking situations. It's fucked up. What do you don't, What do you mean? Don't watch porn to learn things. Wait, what 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 do you mean in like in costume? It's makeup and, and, and clothing. Oh, you're, you're and, just and, talking makeup. Yeah, okay. You know, fucking what, whatever. They're actors playing roles was the point I'm trying to make. Maybe I'm, yeah, exa maybe yeah, I'm exaggerating I, I, I it slightly. Saying. But I think it's important yeah. to drive that point home. Okay? But it's the if same it's, concept. They're, they're maybe not there's having fursuits. sex. Maybe there's fursuits. Maybe there's fur suits or something, you know? I, they, they, there could be costumes. Okay, fair enough. Maybe it's pi fair enough. Maybe it's pirates. Fucking say you're, say you're into, like, pirates and you start watching pirate porn. Maybe Guess what, it's, asshole? Maybe it's... A SpongeBob parody. Guess guess what? There are no pirates anymore. Okay, there's like Somalian pirates, but they don't have eye patches and, pi and parrots and shit. 
So you're you're developing a kink for for fucking pirates from the 1800s, and there haven't been pirates for like fucking 200 years. So now Mike. you have a kink that can never be satisfied because there's no pirates. Mike, you haven't really had sex until someone's eye has fallen into your mouth. <laughs> Whoopsie scurvy. You gotta wear a condom to prevent scurvy. <laughs> I don't know. Is any of this making sense at all? The, the point is, they're not having sex for each other in porn. They're having sex for you, the viewer. It's performative. Yeah, just, like, fuck, honestly, like, 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 don't even watch porn. I know that's crazy. I know that's fucking crazy. But don't even, don't even watch porn. Like, don't even fucking watch it. It's just, it's just, it's stupid. It's fucking, st it's fucking stupid. Okay? Okay, can I, can now I level with you? Now I'm going too far? What? Yeah, level with me. It, 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 it never appealed to me. I it just, never appealed I, ne to I never you. got it. You never got it? I just thought it was awkward. Cause it weird. is. I, I'd, I'd see it. I'd see it, and just be like, "This, what? Like this isn't like th this is absurd, right? It, right? Is. It, it always, it always just weirded me out. I, I, th you, you might be having like the normal reaction. Honestly, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's 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 fucking. They're 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 actors. They're they're doing. It's just it's not. It's not representative of real sex at all is the, is the point I'm trying to make. Okay? And maybe I got a little bit stupid, but I think the, the simple way of putting it... <laughs> I th I'm quoting you on that. Maybe I got a little maybe, bit stupid. May, may, maybe we went too far in a few places, but... <laughs> porn is, 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 creates unrealistic ideas of what sex actually is in, in people's fucking heads, you know? And I don't think, I, I think it, it makes it harder for people to have, like, normal, healthy, like, sexual relationships when it's, when it's, like, time to do that with real people. You know There's what I'm saying? There's research on that, right? Like, overconsumption of porn creates unrealistic expectations. I, I've seen, I've seen articles and, and shit. But, though, you know, a part of me is like, I don't know, is this, is this, like, puritanical bullshit? But... You know, I I think it, it's not a stretch of the imagination for me at all to imagine that you know that that could be the, that that could be the case. Uh, Murph Pacific is, is asking a great question. What if I'm an editor for the New Yorker in a Zoom call and I find myself wanting to get my rocks off during a, a war game scenario? Well, then your name is Jeffrey Tubin, and you're not an editor for the New Yorker anymore. What? I, I think <laughs> that's I a missed that's this. a problem that solves itself. You know, Fred this, doesn't. This is clearly a reference. Fred that doesn't I'm not know getting. about Tubin. Fred... <laughs> Fred yeah, and why that's a good thing. Goddamn it, Space yeah. Furman. <laughs> and here's why that's a good thing. Yeah, he doesn't know and about that's Tubin. That's a good thing. Didn't I bitch about that last time I was on stream with you? You did, and it was awesome. I... And everybody loved it, and we've been referencing it ever since. I'm so glad. Uh, let's <laughs> let's move on here. Uh, you want to take uh, okay. part three, step three? Yeah, let's go. Oh, this bitch don't, snores. D <laughs> don't you feel pressured to moan. Everyone responds to intense pleasure in their way. He, and ag you again, don't need to I'm sorry, but he he invalidated the fucking article's existence again. It yeah, you're. It's you're the second time. Right. It's the second time he invalidated the existence of his own article. Right, like, imagine coming to this article, though, being an awkward person, maybe, you know, maybe you feel like you have to perform for the other person, you're like, oh gosh, I hope I do it right, and then you come to the article, and they're like, like, don't feel pressured, it should come naturally, and it's, like, that just makes the person feel worse, right? It's yeah. almost worse that they're saying that it should come naturally, because it's just, now they're just telling the person that they're <laughs> deficient. Now they're all self-conscious and freaking out like, Oh my god, but it's not coming naturally. Oh god, oh no, what do I do? Oh man, I'm a failure. I'm a failure. I'm useless. I'm gonna be a virgin forever. Oh my god. Oh no! No! Bike. I'm sorry, you wanna keep- <laughs> You wanna keep reading it? Uh, yeah, sure. Um... Everyone responds to intense pleasure in their way, and you don't need to force yourself to moan if it doesn't come naturally to you. Yes, some people are naturally very loud in bed, but the moans you hear in movies or pornography are intentionally stylized versions of re- 
Didn't you just fucking? I'm. I need tea. I'm, I'll, I'll, be, <laughs> fuck, I'll be. I'll be back in a second. He's so mad that he needs more tea. <laughs> Guys, he just walked away from the computer. Does that qualify as grump in it? Is that technically is it is that a technical grump in it? <laughs> Nasukin says the holes in this article make it a fucking hula hoop. <laughs> he unironically grumped it. <laughs> Dull meme says no because he read the paragraph. <laughs> All right, guys, I wanted to take a minute while he's getting tea to thank everybody who came to watch tonight. I hope you've been enjoying this. We're probably not going to go too much longer anyway. Uh, guys, thank you so much for all the support and the subs and resubs and gift subs and the bits and, and everything, guys. I really do appreciate that. Uh, thank you. I'll call out some of the names at the end of the stream, the ones that I might have missed. Uh, additionally, I'm, I'm here. if there's anybody new to the channel, welcome back, Fred. You can find me on Twitter, and you can find me on YouTube. There's links in the chat right there. Thank you, Vinehart. Also, uh, my buddy Fred here is on YouTube. He makes really cool documentaries on his uh, YouTube channel. It's the, the Down the Rabbit Hole series. You might know of it. Uh, I did see somebody actually in, in chat before like, Is that the rabbit hole guy? Yes, that's the rabbit hole guy. Uh, yeah, and hi, also, Fred, uh, Fred has a Twitch channel, and he intends to start using it, so... Uh, follow him on Twitch, yep. too. Uh, he has used it before, but he was just saying he wants to... Uh, he, he, he wants to start doing it a little, a little bit more again, so... A little more regularly, uh, throw, throw yeah. Him, throw him uh, a follow, because why not? Fuck it. Um, and, uh, we'll look at art later, too. So if you're making art for the stream, you should put it on the Buru. There's going to be a link to the Buru in the chats. Uh, Fred... You, do you want to try to read that paragraph again, or are you yeah, too angry? Yeah, okay, so I'm not sure that the reason for my rage came through. Um, the reason I was mad is they, in the previous section, they told you to essentially go and look up porn to right. learn how to moan, and now they are telling you that the moans you hear in movies or pornography are intentionally stylized versions of reality. And if someone truly enjoys your company, they shouldn't care whether or not you're a moaner. So you may even. <laughs> so which the fuck is it, man? Because it can't be both, motherfucker. I feel like. Why is this in step three? Serpent Tucker is pointing out actually something that I was going to remind you that I said earlier. They didn't say porn up there. They never said they, porn. They, they didn't, but. They didn't say porn. Well, I, again, maybe are they, they like? Meant, they, they, maybe they, they did just. They send, they might have just meant what, like watch videos of somebody eating like a really good cheesecake. Mmm. Oh my God. Wingardium Leviosa. They just um, they, they just listen to Jim uh, Sterling's videos, uh, his commentocracy videos. <laughs> when he puts the wig on. Yes. Mass Effect <laughs> isn't a real game. Oh yes, this cheesecake is divine. Oh yes. Oh my. I, okay, yeah. actually, oh, for yeah. real, I'll have for real, I having. put on water for tea. I'll be back in a second. Oh, he's coming back. I actually did. Uh, the moans you hear in movies or pornography are intentionally stylized versions of reality. So it's like they're flip flopping back and forth from like Fred's position. To like their own stupid Ugh. position, right? The kettle oh. didn't start. I screwed it up. Oops. You goofed, Fred. You blew it. You goofed. You fucking goofed. Yeah, they're backpedaling. Yeah. Uh. You want to keep reading it? Or you want me to? You want me to take over? No, I got it. Yep. Uh, yep. you may even find that your partner, however long-term or temporary, doesn't care for moans. Don't assume that everyone finds moans attractive just because there is a cultural fetish for the noises. They're even aware of what you were talking about to an extent. Right. So it's, so so it's like, like, what's going on Why here? isn't this up front, right? Like, 
step one. This should be at step one. I have a, like, I have a, I have a identify theory. Identify. I have a theory. If you even should. I have a theory. Mm -hmm. I have a theory. So you got 18 co-authors. Do, do you think this is the co-authors, like, trying to invalidate each other in a way? I, that's a really good point. Do you think this is <laughs> this is like, oh, well, that other idiot put this dumb bullshit. So now I have to add a chapter. So fucking this article is, isn't completely worthless. So they're just sitting I here, like, edit editing each other. And, like, it's going on to this day. Like, every once right. in a while, one of them comes in here and, like, deletes the other one's chapter. <laughs> right, this is an Empress just, Teresa situation. Yeah. They just have, like, intense disagreements about how this article is supposed to be. Yeah, author fights. <laughs> author fights. <laughs> this happens in Wikipedia. Do yeah. you know that, like, the article on uh, Rajneesh, like, mm -hmm. the... The per like the person who started well, like Raj I know Ra Rajneeshpuram themselves like militantly fucking monitor their their fucking appearances online everywhere right? Um, specifically Wikipedia. I went into like the change logs and the forums, mm -hmm. and like the there are dudes being like you can always tell when someone is a follower of Rajneesh trying to like paint him in a better light mm -hmm. on his page because like he'll be arguing in the notes on the page being like oh but he was wonderful and he did this like they can't help but suck his dick <laughs> they can't help themselves they're in they a just cult what you, what you, that, that's the point of a cult you suck the guy's dick Invo involuntarily yeah I know but just um, it's it's so it's so easy to pick them out. Tita says who what and normally I'd tell you to go watch Fred's uh, video on this topic, which was an incredible video, but but probably maybe one of my favorite uh, videos of yours, Fred. I really fuck that video really fucking sucked me the fucking. Um, Thank you. But Rajneeshpuram themselves, who were the topic uh, of the Osho, the Osho topic International, of the video. Um, and that is a name you guys should know, Osho International is the new name of the Rajneesh Corporation. They uh, DMCA'd... But that, my, the video was taken down. Um, they got his video taken down. They yeah, actually they, they success, down successfully got his video taken down. On, on yeah. The video he made about them, they got it taken down. Yeah. So I, I, I think the last time we talked about this, I recommended that you upload it to Pornhub. Right. Um, any, any, uh, any, any movement on that? Any... Oh, a, a move, any movement on Pornhub. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm working on it. He's that got plans. Up. He's working on it. Because it's bullshit that you worked that hard on that, and it's such a good video that, like, now nobody can fucking see it. Like, fuck that shit. Yeah, you can see it if you go looking. Uh, all right. So you try to replicate the noise. Don't feel pressure to moan. Oh, uh, my water's ready. I'll be just a second. We're never going to get to read this. Nope. <laughs> Um, take, take the next section. I don't know if it was a DMCA or, 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 or whatever, chat. It, it, was, it was a copyright claim. It was a copyright claim. There you go. Up I go. <clears throat> I'll read the next section. Uh, knowing when to moan. Katie, you always pick the worst times to talk about how much you love the Emoji Movie. Here we are trying to have an intimate moment and you're detailing the you're detailing the 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 livid the vivid characterizations of Patrick Stewart's character in the emoji movie. This is not cool, Katie. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to share a moment with you here. Have I seen R slash Disney vacation? No. Simula Karis says, you used my name and I got so caught off guard. Well, Katie, maybe next time you'll think about <clears throat> not, talk of, not talking about the Emoji Movie and how much you love it during sex. No, the Emoji Movie stays on during sex. <laughs> was Patrick Stewart in the Emoji Movie? You bet he was. <clears throat> I just know that, even though I haven't ever seen the Emoji Movie. Stop describing the emoji dance when we are plowing. <laughs> Mike, you brought up Disney Vacation, the last WikiHow stream. Well, I don't remember, so... If I don't remember it, that means i never seen it, okay? Avoid outright faking it. When you moan, 
It should be a heightened expression of what you're already feeling. If you pretend to feel good when you don't, it may be obvious to your partner. Think about moments when you're enjoying what you're feeling, but you don't express it outwardly. Like when you're eating some really kick-ass cheesecake. Moaning is essentially an outward expression of that pleasure. It's a way of sharing it. In some cases, you may feel that it's necessary to fake a moan. What the fuck is that? Oh, you know, it's just the WikiHow article saying, don't fake moans, and then in the, ne in the next sentence telling you to fake moans. Yeah, that sounds about right. That oh, sounded image? like where we were going. Can I say the joke again? Because Frank missed it. Yeah, sure. Katie, you picked the worst time to talk about how much you love the Emoji Movie. <laughs> Check this I like out. how Captain Picard was the poop. I said the same fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> I said the same thing. <laughs> She's sitting there waxing poetic about Patrick Stewart's performance while he's balls deep inside her. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they're saying, uh, when you mo, uh, oh, it says avoid outright faking it. And then one paragraph later, it says, In some cases, you may feel that it's necessary to fake a moan. I guess they're saying, like, yeah. ideally you can avoid it, but you're not always going to be able to avoid it, so sometimes you have to fake the moan. Right, so that- yeah, what the fuck? Maybe avoid you, outright faking it, but sometimes you have to. Maybe you want to make your partner feel appreciated, even though you aren't really in the mood. You just want to talk about the Emoji Movie all night. Maybe you just think that a person will find it hot. If you turn up the volume with your feet. Practice Stop. beforehand at a time when you are into it, so that your fake moans sound more authentic. Fred... Fred, when, when we had sex the other night, were you faking the banjo kazooie noises? <laughs> I feel I, I feel like they weren't they weren't as passionate as they usually are. Mike, like I have when, a confession to make. Yeah. I keep a tape recorder under the pillow. <laughs> and when we're fucking, I slip my hand underneath the pillow and hit play. So actually the Every time you heard it, it was the exact same recording, and any difference was in your fucking stupid brain. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I'm I'm gaslighting you. You never know when they're fake or real. Oh god, can you do? The, can you just do the banjo noise again for fun? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh uh -huh. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh harder. Yes. Go uh -huh. go uh -huh. go. Uh -huh. I don't know, honey. You don't seem like you're really into it tonight. Go ho, go ho. <laughs> Mal said, "Go ho, lighting." <laughs> go ho, lighting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's more feet. More feet. Uh, in this image, she is yelling angrily at the feet. They're making too much noise. She can't get any sleep. Uh, you want to take this one, Chief? Moan softly during foreplay. Soft moans can be a great way to signal to your partner that you, you're into what's happening and you want it to continue. Let out a gasp or a low... Mm, when your partner touches you in a way that feels good, don't overdo it or it might come off as fake and gay. <laughs> you are gay. Oh, you slipped that in there so subtly. Thank you. The allegations that our company makes hot dogs out of gorillas is fake and gay. You are gay. Thank you. <laughs> As I take a fucking sip of tea. All right, here we go. It's getting... Caw! 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 She sounds like a crow. <laughs> <laughs> Moan loudly <clears throat> when things get intense. Go! <gasps> Go! <gasps> moaning. Mm. Moaning. <laughs> no, at that point, it's... Oh! 
pa pa da pa da pa da pa da pa da pa la 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 la. Oh, boating. Pa 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 da pa da. Woo. Pa 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 da pa pa. Woo. Sorry, sorry. Moaning more heavily can take an intense moment to the next level. Let your moans last longer. Release your inhibitions, and don't be afraid to lose a bit of control. The more you get into it, the more authentic, and likely arousing to your partner, your sounds will be. Be aware of the setting. If you need to be quiet for any reason, try not to let yourself get too into the act of moaning. Go ho, go ho. Go ho, go ho. Uh -huh. Go -ha. Maybe the walls are thin, or you have a roommate, or your parents are sitting in the in the next room over. Uh, Nix, do you mind going out for a minute? Uh, me and Meg got got something to do, and we're we're gonna, it's gonna get loud in here. No, we're just no, it's not sex, Nix. We're just building something. Could you imagine uh, if to deflect suspicion? A couple got really used to just like having small talk while they're having sex so that their parents don't come in. Like just really loud, like small talk? I don't. <laughs> no, just right, no, just regular small talk. So they hear it through the door, or through the walls, and like, oh, they're just chatting. Okay. <laughs> that would be an impressive skill. That would be, and it would also take a lot of, uh, a lot of practice and fine tuning. Right. Right. Uh, so how how's the weather? Yeah. No, no, no. That there would be absolutely no inflection. That, like, that, no hint. So right? how's the weather? It would be really weather? uncanny. Uh, save the loud moans for a time when you when you can let loose. Yeah. So you want to come back to the you know the house of Hades and you want to make sure that Nyx isn't standing there. Sometimes she's not standing there. Sometimes she goes to visit Chaos. So you can get pegged, like, as loud as you want. And Nyx will be none I, the wiser. Dude, I got, like, in, in, in Hades, yeah. if you romance both Meg and uh, Thanatos, Thanatos yeah. you get double teamed. The, the, shut the fuck up. You, ha you yeah. got that? <laughs> yeah, I did. You got a, you got a fucking three-way cutscene? Yeah. Oh my god, I need to play that game more. They're just like both they're just both waiting in your bedroom. And like Zagreus is like, what what are you both doing here? <laughs> oh. Like Oh. Oh, I see. And then no they Darren just, Corb in his sultry voice. And then they just spit roast Zagreus. <laughs> I guess. It's so good. It's so funny. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking great. I had no idea. How many, how many hours in did you have to be before you got that? Well, a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fred uh, Fred has played that game quite a bit. Mm. Okay, part three. You, you want to you wanna take it, dude? It's part three. Uh-oh, sisters. Practicing your moan. <laughs> Uh-oh, sisters. Learn it from the man without eyelashes. Oh no! His umbrella! It's gone! It's What's he gonna do? Oh, stop. Practicing your moan. Okay. So. Hey, just hanging out. Moaning in bed by myself for practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is normal. I'm normal. <laughs> he <laughs> He's flatlining. <laughs> Start by sighing softly. The simplest moan is just a gentle sigh of pleasure. You can let this noise out at any point that it seems appropriate. Sigh at the first touch, or during foreplay, or any time that things slow down. In general, however, it's very much a getting things started noise. It's let it be anything you... Oh my, sorry. It yeah, it's no, 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 it's complete bullshit, and, and it's okay to be mad at it. In fact, if you weren't mad at it, I'd be concerned. Step two. Fucking just Fred, circular step... breathing. Circular <laughs> breathing, Fred. Circular, circular breathing. breathing isn't real. Good video, besides the circular breathing nonsense. 
a real I comment. Have, I, I have videos. certificates in multiple instruments. Actually, circular breathing isn't real. Yeah, it's a it's a real comment that Fred got on one of his YouTube videos. Yeah, someone someone tried to like, someone was extremely convinced in the comments for the hurdy gurdy video that circular breathing isn't real. <laughs> it's one of the funniest comments I've ever gotten. Uh, it is real. Spoiler alert. You want to read this? Yeah. Breathe in and out audibly. As the situation intensifies, let your breath quicken and try to make it audible. As though you're exerting yourself. <laughs> as though. Yeah. What? As things get hotter and heavier, you may find that your breathing swells to match the heat of the moment. Don't be afraid to let your breath get ragged. And loose as you lose yeah, yourself loose. in the feeling. Yeah, loose. Let's get loose. You just, you just become a prospector as you. <laughs> Step three. You I'm... so fucking precious when you. <laughs> as your breathing intensifies, add some voice and tone to your breath. Every time you breathe in, engage your vocal cords to make a, to make an, <laughs> sound. If you're a female. Consider letting your voice inflect higher than normal, and if you're a male, consider letting your voice inflect lower. But don't feel bound to any norm, and feel free to moan in whichever way feels most natural. Alternate, al alternately, engage your vocal cords when you breathe out. It may be easier to make the pitch of your moan sound deeper on the outward breath than on the intake. Either way, the muscles involved are essentially the same. Okay, um, again, stop fucking thinking about it, and just make the fucking noise if you feel like it, and if you don't feel like making a noise, then don't make a fucking noise! Right. What the fuck?! King Ass Ripper Moan. I said we needed to ban anybody who brought up King Ass Ripper Get mods. <laughs> Coom Slayer's gotta go. Don't ban Coom Slayer, it's fine. Oh, yeah, oh. oh. I'm gonna put this gravy on this large, large pizza. Oh. Rub that tit. Rub that tit, brother. The tit rubber. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye to them tits. Uh, they're saying feel free to moan in whichever way feels most natural after giving you an entire paragraph of how you need to think about the inflection of the moan based on your gender. Mm. Mm. The, how, how, stop, how, no, Mike, Mike, how are you supposed to make an M sound when your mouth <laughs> is open? I'm gonna try, hold on. <laughs> what are you gargling? Huh? Are you gargling? I, well, what do you do when you have your mouth open and you're trying to make, you know, or you're trying to, like, it's similar, it's similar to gargling what I'm doing, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're sending it through your nose. That's, that's, that's pretty good. You try it. I, I can't. I can't it's, do it. It just sounds. It just ends up sounding like an N. It's an N sound. Yeah, it's mm, impossible. It's no, it's not working. It's fucking impossible. Yeah, it's an N. You just get an N sound. Yeah, it, yeah. It, so, so it's almost like this is fucking stupid. Coney Island says I sound like a constipated swamp. Yeah, he's constipated because he keeps, like, ramming the, the Mario characters up his ass. Like, he's definitely got a significant blockage up there, if you think about... Like, how many times Amiibos have you died to a thwomp? Amiibo's in his ass. Amiibo's in his ass. <laughs> Amiibo's in... Mike, you just made a thousand people go... Argh! How do you feel about that? I feel fucking amazing about that. You should feel powerful. Yeah, that's, that, that's true power. I feel great about it. You want to read this, or you want me to read it? Uh, I'll yeah. do it. Okay. Add a few 
Mm. Not do it the right way. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying. Mm. No, the right way is... Oh, oh excuse me. Oh. Thank you. Z. It was plural. <laughs> Use an inflection. <laughs> Use an inflection that makes it clear that you're enjoying it. Don't mm, monotonously. Use a sexy, seductive tone. Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> Think, Think I of it. yourself like a cat purring from pleasure. Oh yeah, it's meow time. I no, I, I I'm I'm thinking Cats the movie. Cats the musical the movie. Don't get all jellical on me now. All right, it's too late for Jellic that shit. It's, it's too. I'm I'm too exhausted for that shit. I can't do that shit right now, dude. It's it's one of those things where like it takes prep. Yeah, I'm not mentally prepared to get jellical. <laughs> you can tell that a cat is happy when it purrs, even though it's just rumbling in a certain tone. Yeah, I feel like I I feel like. Now we're getting a little bit of Diane Kelly in here. The Purr Cat Cafe. Lady meow. Yo. Meow. Mm. Purr. Imagine, think of yourself like a cat. Yeah, we got we got to go check out the How to Be a Cat WikiHow article. Remember that? The How to Be a Dog WikiHow article? How to Be a Dog, yeah. Uh, uh, mm, mm, feet. Mm, feet? Is this the third time that we've seen this pair of feet with slightly different skin tones? Yeah, they're, they're just reusing the same image over and over. Yeah, they're just... They really like this image, Fred. They really like this this image. You want to do that impression my, my, of me? May I? Yeah, do I was the, literally... Yeah. I, I literally yeah. was about to say may I. They want to hear it, do it. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> hey, feet! Yeah, I don't I don't sound like that, but that's fine. Yeah, you do. I don't sound like that. Do I, I I never I never said that. Like that's not a thing. Like if you you're do. doing an impression of me, you have to say something that I said and I never said that. Spaghetti pastoroni. <laughs> this is racist. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> It's so bad. You know what though? Your your inflection, like you kind of have the accent a little bit when you do it. Like you kind of you you have like the the timbre of my voice when you do it. Do it again. I want to hear. It. I want to hear it again. Oh, what what the yeah feet? Do the yeah feet thing. The what what the a hey, feet a hey, feet. Yeah that yeah yeah yeah. You kind of I I listen. I don't you know I don't like feet. Like that's not a thing. But you ne you definitely nailed like the the, the inflection and the timbre. Like I can hear like my own vocal quality in there, so right. I, can, can I feel hear. like I've spent enough time around you that I can kind of get there. You got it. You're just you're saying the the wrong thing, you know. And he did right. the a like a. I'm walking here because you know he, because it's a stereotype. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it's it, um, yeah. But I, I in reality it would be more like um, some people want the small mommy GF with small milky. But we need to make sure the tent is big enough for the mommy GF with Bilky Milky and penis. <laughs> My God, I need this. Check it out, chat. That's a real quote from Steve. Uh, Steve fucking what's his name? Uh, Mike. I don't even know the fucking Pete. 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 Pete Booty, Booty, Judge. Booty Judge. Pete Booty Judge said that on the campaign trail last year. He did. He did. That's a real quote. <laughs> Pete, yeah, look it up. Pete Booty Booty Judge. And I'm going to read this look shit. It up. Ready? All right. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did say it. <laughs> Try it out the next time you're with a partner. Real way. I, I have the deep fake to prove it. Why is it always feet, by the way, in in these fucking in these fuck? There's so much feet That's in these fucking articles. That is literally the question I posed to you earlier. There's so much fucking feet. Why is there always feet? Why is that happen? Yeah, they should just change the name of the website to Wiki Feet. Or get like, but no, it's not Wiki Feet because Wiki Feet is all the different celebrities' feet. This is the same two pairs of feet. 
Oh, I forgot that, like Wiki over Feet. and over again. Well, I forgot Wiki Feet was real. Yeah, that's the problem. It it, it actually exists. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Try it out next time you're with a partner. Real world experience is the best way to build confidence and master your moan. Do it even if you feel self conscious. <laughs> that's great advice. The more you practice your moan, the more natural it will become, and the easier it will be to fake it. If you've been with right. someone for a while, you may want to start small. Use size <laughs> and low moans at first. Don't jump straight into a fit of loud moaning that might might take your partner aback. Yeah, I remember like the first time that me and Fred fucked, he was like, <laughs> and it was like really overwhelming and stuff, and I had I had to be like, whoa. Whoa, buddy, you're at an 11. I need you to take it up down to about a six. And that that's when I pulled out the... Yeah, that's when he got all grunty on me. He, it's, that's when he got all grunty on my ass, literally. And then... Then... When the time was right, I pulled out the 2D. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's the shit right there. If you find oh, yourself oh, oh. with a, a new partner, you have no expectations to contend with. <laughs> Consider trying to lose yourself in the moment and explore a new, uninhibited side of yourself. Uh, and uh, uh, whatever, what the fuck ever, man. They shouldn't have expectations anyway, man. Like, just fucking... This is so anti-everything that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mmms. She wants M&Ms. She wants M&Ms. m m m m m m Yeah, sure, M&Ms are cool, but have you ever had m and m and m and m ms This guy's like, wow, man, I need to find myself... Find myself a lady who who really appreciates M and M's. Yeah, and then she's like, "No, no, no! I not M and M's. Mo I was trying to say moms, big mommy G S." Here we go. The tent is not big enough to contain these gigantic milkers. We need the we need the tent to be bigger, much, much bigger. We need the biggest fucking tent you've ever seen. I'm talking like you're trying to fumigate for fucking roaches and bed bugs and shit. But it's like an entire city, you know. Mike's already pitching a tent for them. Or like some some Barnum Got and him. Bailey big top shit, but stretching across the entire continental United States. That's the kind of tent we need. That kind of tent. Too bad the most you can field is a camping tent. Oh, <laughs> Clown penis. Clown Fred, penis. if my fucking if my penis was big enough. To, pit, to pitch, like, a regular size tent, that would mean that my, my penis would be, like, I don't know, like, seven feet long. Right. So, like, you meant that as, like, a small penis insult, but you actually yeah, just... But, but actually... You actually said I have, like, a freak penis. Yeah, I... Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> there, like, the, I, I, have no, I have known people, I have known people with... Penis is so large that they literally can't use them, and it is miserable. Welcome to your new tent, freak. <laughs> He's talking about me, by the way. He's talking about me. It's me. Yeah, yes. It's me. It's definitely I, me. I'm outing you. It's definitely me. Fuck, okay, so do you think that clowns get reverse circumcisions? Like they get a red ball put on the tip? <laughs> like a clown knows. Hong Kong. <laughs> So they they add like more meat to the to the dick like instead of like right. taking meat away and it's just a yeah. big a big large like round Clownos. round mound of pound. It's a <laughs> like a red like a red. <laughs> they surgically attach a red sphere to the end of the clown's penis. <laughs> honk honk. Uh, yeah, it, it it's it's a thing for for a dick to be uh you know too big for somebody you know this is the thing, uh. You, you, you know, you, you got people freaking out about their dongs, like, being too small or being too big or whatever. And this is going to sound... This is going to sound a little stupid. Uh, it's going to sound a little a little bit... Uh, 
I, 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 don't, I don't know what the word is. Uh, touchy feely, like like feel good about about your peen, like positive peen energy. But uh, this is a it. It really is about finding someone that you just fit with, you know. Yeah. Um, that that is actually really important. Yeah. Yeah. The the music came in at the right time. Uh, you just it, yeah. It, and and, and, and I, that sounds like an abstract thing, but I actually mean that extremely physically. You know, because guess what? There's like different size vaginas. Yeah. And like buttholes that have like different capacities. You know, like butthole capacities and stuff, right? Girl, that's a boot hell. <laughs> it's real. I'm not. I'm not making it up. No, I'm, not, it's I'm true. not just saying it's true. It's true. No, he, he, he is correct. It is way more about finding people that fit you. Yeah, Seriously. you know, it's it, it, you know when you find a compatible person, that's not just you know uh, a relationship thing. That's also a, a physical thing with your you know your parts. You know, your, mm -hmm. do, do your parts. You know, complement each other. It's it's all it's all part of it. You know. Yes. Uh, this sounds like a yakuza side story. It, you're probably just saying that because of the fucking music. <laughs> yeah, you've been playing yakuza. How have you been enjoying it? I, I've actually been enjoying it way more than I thought I was going to. It's a very fun game. Yeah, that, that's what I've heard. Yeah, it's it's it, and it has a great sense of humor too. I wasn't expecting how funny it was gonna fucking be. Like it has me cracking up like all fucking night when I'm playing it. Yeah, Nep, people are like shoes. They all want feet. Feet? <laughs> <laughs> Ogres are like onions, but people are like shoes. They all want feet. <laughs> Let's not even, like, correct that. Uh, no. Remember that there is no right or wrong way to moan. The important thing is that you're enjoying yourself with someone who is also enjoying him herself. Let it be a natural thing, a thing of joy, a thing of beauty. So just disregard the entire previous five steps. Right. It's, well, just, no, it, the other, the, the, all three sections. Because it's not just five steps. The entire, so, so invalidate every, just completely disregard everything you just fucking read, asshole. This article has invalidated itself three times, minimum. Q&A, dude. Oh, there isn't Let's any. Go. There isn't any. Oh. Uh, I got an article here. So there you go, guys. You're welcome. That's how how to moan. You're welcome. This article... I, I, I learned. This article learned. is is very topical to some certain news that was revealed today. Uh, okay. In the world of gaming. Okay. So, you how? know... Um, society time, folks. <laughs> now... When when Buntime sent me this article, she said it was wholesome. But I contend that it's just fucking deranged. Okay? Okay. Now let me know let me know what you what you think about it, okay? You give what give me give me your fuck? Give me your opinion. What the fuck? Read that for everybody. How to become a loving and caring Pokemon trainer with your plush. So, you're a devoted Pokemon fan, right? And you want to have a physical part of the game in your life? Well, this article is going to show you how with a Pokemon plush. One time is in chat and she said... It's wholesome if you're not fucking mean. Well, I am fucking mean, so let's dive into this. Real quick, Approved. though. Approved. <laughs> Approved. Approved by WikiHow. Yep. Uh, how to make a Pokemon Tulpa. Yep. Is this where <laughs> yep. we're going? Yep. I saw it. Yeah. So, real quick. Did you see the news uh, today about the two Pokemon games that got announced? I saw they got announced. I didn't look into them terribly much. Well, that's good, because you would have found an overwhelm uh, overwhelming amount of cancer uh, upon immediately looking into, <laughs> a into any kind of fucking replies. Because, you know, it's Pokemon fans, right? Right. Um, and here's what's... And we got to... Let's talk about it for, like, a second. What was really remarkable about it to me was the fact that these fucking people got literally, literally 
exactly what they wanted from these developers. Right. Exactly what they fucking wanted to the T. To right. the fucking T. A fucking Diamond Pearl remake for the Switch. Uh-huh. That even looks like the fucking game. And they're still not happy. The the pickup of yep. foot the pickup of football energy was off the fucking charts. Like I started looking th through these tweet threads because I wanted to see if there was something funny, like I could screen cap and show you guys. It wasn't funny. There was nothing funny about it. It was just fucking depressing, and it just goes to show you that th there really is something fucking seriously wrong with Pokemon fans. It it's not funny anymore. It's not fucking funny anymore. When they when they are getting like I understood people complaining about fucking Sword Shield. Like there were there were legitimate complaints about that game that I fucking understood. But when you ask for these these developers for something for like fuck a decade, nonstop, constantly, when Gen 5 remakes, when Gen 5 Gen 5, I think it's Gen 5, whatever. When are Gen when are these remakes? When are we getting these remakes? When are we getting these remakes? Don't want this, give us the remakes. Don't want that, give us the remakes. Give us the fuck. Where are the remakes? Where are the remakes? And then they get the remakes that are exactly what they were fucking begging for. And they're still not fucking happy. What is this mass fucking m mental delusion? This, this is fucking wide scale fucking psychological issues is what this is. Mike. Making content for gamers sucks. Unless you specifically carve out a community that is unlike the wider gaming culture. He said because... to the person who makes content for gamers. But you've carved, like, the, but that's why I added the caveat, right? Yeah, he, yeah You yeah. have carved out a different niche. You're not appealing to just the unwashed, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're offending like so many people right now. I am, but you, I, I'm, I'm being facetious. But you get my point. You're not doing it for. You're not you're reaching unwashed. out to the COD gamer, right? <laughs> you're not reaching out to like the your typical league player. Orange you're... Fresh Cleaner says, "Hey, I just showered." <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in six days, no, I'm, I'm just. Well, kidding. He's, he's saying I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not like a league streamer or some shit. I get right. You, I get yeah. You mean. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That that's not your audience. Um, okay. You're a little bit different. Uh, you you found a niche outside of that. The problem is a lot of these Pokemon fans are in the core gaming demographic and specifically Pokemon. Uh, do you think it's that, and or do reason... you think it's Twitter? Because Chad is saying it's Twitter, and I, I think I think it's a it might be a little bit of column A and a little bit of column B type of a thing here, maybe. Both, yeah, it's both. But think about the kind of person who is really so uh, like so into Pokemon that they see these announcements and they get mad, like they let it affect their emotional state. I am married to a fire think... type Pokemon. <laughs> I have an idea. Lugia will eat me. <laughs> uh, it's like it's not it's not fucking funny anymore. There's something really wrong with like I I I'm I'm I guess I'm I'm calling out Pokemon fans in, in particular right now. You know? Uh I, mm. I guess because because dude and and it wasn't like one or two comments, it was just an onslaught of fucking cancer. Just right. in every so, fuck, it was unreal. Like I could, I never seen this most co concentrated fucking rage. Not, not even like when, not even Sword Shield pissed these people off this much as what I fucking saw today. And it was exactly what they fucking asked for. So again, think about the kind of person who makes Pokemon such a part of their life that they get like legitimately angry that it ruins like their week when when these things are announced and there's like something that is off right these people need things in a very they're very particular and mm -hmm. there's no way to please everyone even the people who seem on the surface level to have uniform interests and desires you think i'm exaggerating you... a, a little bit well i saw what? i saw people that, no i i don't i don't think you are i'm explaining why no they somebody in chat was, was saying it's, that. oh okay um they 
These are people that practically live for nostalgia. Like, they have an idea of what these games are, but what they were to them will never be matched by something later, not because it will never be good enough, but because even if they gave them the exact same game again, mm -hmm. they will be different people and they will experience it differently and it will elicit different emotions in them. But, but Case they don't... in point, mm. I fucking love Mass Effect, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love Mass Effect. I, d I decided to... I, I felt like I wanted to play through the trilogy again. I, I just beat the first game again. Uh, and... Holy fuck, that's a bad game. Like, the first Mass Effect <laughs> is shit. Right? Like, it is not good. There are so many, like, great ideas in it that individually work really well. The Codex is the best part of the whole game. But they do not come together in a cohesive way. Like, nothing, like, nothing, like, I get the intention behind everything that they're trying to do, but none of it works. Yeah, oh, you, I, I could go on and on about this, yeah, but you, you said it the aged idea. like shit. Um, it's yeah. still a nostalgic game for me, Yeah, but the nostalgia couldn't save it. It was still not a great game. I finished it because I wanted to have a file with things on it uh, for 2 and 3. And if I right, ever right. play the trilogy cool, again, like I'll that, probably just reuse that file so I can start on two. So these because people, the, the two and three are great, right? Like they they were. I I think that they were better games. I'm about to find out if my memory is serving me correctly. But I am coming at it from a new vantage point, from a new place in my life, and so I will inherently have a different way of consuming it. And these people are expecting re-releases of Pokemon. And in consuming them, they are expecting to have uh, to be able to relive the same emotional journey that they took playing these games. And they are not going to have them. And even the trailers are showing them how divorced they are from the person they were so long ago. As, like, and in some ways, they have stayed the same, but now they are just getting frustrated that they can't have that happiness anymore. I think this is the reason a lot of people stay in this sort of zone of nostalgia, because they can't, like, li something about life isn't working for them, and if, if they can just go back to that better time, it'll feel better. But now they're realizing that they can't. They can't go back. You can't go home. Fucking cider. <laughs> Piece of shit. That's incredibly like uh, depressing, but 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 it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be because all that has to happen here is and what and what you're saying is is fucking is is brilliant. And a lot of people in chat were were listening to you say that, and they were like like, like clap, and they were saying like yeah, Fred cracked the code. All that has to happen is maybe these people aren't capable of recognizing everything that you just said. They're not capable of recognizing that they've grown and they've changed. And and it confuses and, and angers them that, the, that things can't stay the same. So they direct that anger at the people making the fucking games. Right. Instead of saying, it instead, it can't instead be of saying, internal. instead of it saying, can't be why wrong with themselves? Instead of saying, why am changed. I angry? Instead of any introspection right. whatsoever, they just immediately right. go onto Twitter and direct that rage at the at the developers and random people. Right. They become vessels for their anger and their frustration. And just kind of, I guess, like sadness that that everything is different now. Right. Yeah. But. The it, things can't be the same. If you look at those remakes, I saw a lot of people specifically complaining about how it looked graphically. When all they did was they took the sprites from the original games and they upgraded them to look, you know, like 3D. They, they wanted to keep the same art style. But it's only in the overworld. When you're in a battle, it looks like Sword Shield. Mm -hmm. So that was just the art style that they chose. That was one of the, the, the main things I saw people fucking complaining about. Um, when they should have just been picking up a football. Uh, nah, nope. Um, it was the art style that, that, that they chose. I mean, is, is that really going to ruin the entire experience for, for you if you don't like that art style? Like, you can, I mean, you, you, play, you played through and loved that game with its original art style. And this is essentially, like, the same art, st art style, but, like, upscaled or whatever. Right? So, so and... this, is, this is the trick. Um, oh, sorry, I'm cutting you off. No, go ahead. What was the trick? Um, the trick is that when, when making a remake, 
or um or a, not not a, is would you call it a remake right um this, th that's this, what they're doing they're what, remaking these games what right? we're talking about yeah yeah this is a this yeah. is a remake uh, okay yeah this yeah, is a, yeah would be a remake so the problem when when doing a remake is that you're not just copy pasting the game like you are trying to capture the feeling of that old game mm. in a new in, in a modern context like you're trying to upgrade the graphics you're trying to make it look better while still capturing the same feeling and the artists and the designers that do this have a very difficult task because they're not just direct copying some of these things they're not just like they're direct copying a lot of the mechanics and the level design but they have to change it in a way that can get people to relive the feeling that they had when they played it for the first time. Right, that's a very specific thing that they're but trying to adapt. They have to, it's like it's an vague. adaptation. There is no, right? yeah, there is no formula for this. Right. And it is hard. It is probably one of the most challenging things that a designer can do because they have to not only read the emotions that people had when they first played it, but then translate them into the game again, just different. It's like recreating that the experience is, more more than it is just we're making the game again. We're making the game right. all over again. They're recreating right, the experience. Right, exactly. That is like an incredibly difficult artistic challenge. Like, look, at least, at least wait till you play the fucking thing to complain this hard, because you wouldn't believe some of the some of the fucking shit, that, some of the, the bitching and the fucking moaning that they that they managed to 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 to, to fucking rest out of a fucking like what two minute trailer out right. of a two minute there's so so many assumptions and, and leaps of logic and and the fucking game is like halfway through development we're not going to see it till fucking next year i think so right. you're seeing extremely early gameplay footage for them to react the way that they fucking reacted was was insane it was literally it, there's no other word but insane insane and then there was the other game which was uh, Breath of the Wild Pokemon, and I'm kind of sitting there, and I'm like, is, is are they just gonna oh. make like Breath of the Wild everything now? Is that like a new genre, like breath like? Right. Is this is right. this is this the birth of the breath like genre? Which <laughs> might not might not be so bad. Not the worst thing in the world. Not, might 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 depending on how they do it, right? Right. As long as it doesn't I'm... turn into like your bog standard brown open world style where just like everyone is just doing the same thing over and over and that just dominates the market. <laughs> Bethesda. <laughs> Bethesda. <laughs> uh, I, I'm thinking like Far Cry. And, Far well, Cry. Far, shit, I guess yeah. Far Cry is more fun. But that, that aesthetic, right? Everything is a, a brown open world action thing. Breath likes. They, I'm more excited I, I also for that game. Say, than the, the, the idea remake, that remakes are hard. I think that was I think that was Vex actually. That was talking to me about that so mm. i can't claim i can't claim that as an original idea no but that makes a lot of it's... sense that you're not literally copy pasting the game you're trying to recreate the experience you're trying to figure out what people liked about that game originally and 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 recreate it for for a modern audience that includes the people who played the first one who you right. know are going to be acting like fucking complete cocksuckers on social media right and i <laughs> I ab absolutely like oh, but but this was in the original game. Why didn't they put it in the new one? And then the, I, and the answer oftentimes is just going to be because it didn't fucking work the first time. Right. I like for example, right. Mm. I, I I'm this is some people might find this petty, but in the first Mass Effect, at the end of the game, and this is spoilers, um, you fly through the, like oh, it, I I guess it's not that big of uh, maybe I can pick something earlier. Uh, for example, right? After every mission, some of your friends will have more dialogue, right? Like after every main story mission, your your uh, teams, your teammates will have more dialogue, uh, but not all of them. So you want to go after every story mission, you want to go and check with all of them to make sure that you didn't miss anything. The problem is that oftentimes they don't have anything new. So in particular, there are a few really funny ones where... Um, like, if you go and talk with Tali after a mission, she has nothing new. It's like, oh, there's nothing new to learn about, like, her culture or anything. You walk up to her and you say, like, um, or after she's done explaining something, you say, I'd like to talk about something else. And she says, like, what? And then she then when you, when you click on the option to leave the conversation, Shepard says, 
I should go. Oh. And then Tully's just like, see you later, in this really awkward voice. So, so the whole exchange sounds like though she you get really deep about something, right? You you're talking about some really deep thing, you're learning about her history and her culture, and then Shepard just goes, I'd like to talk about something else. Like what? I should go. <laughs> See you later. It's just weird. It makes it, it makes no sense. It does not work. It's hilarious. But it's more it, it's hilarious in a way that obviously does not work. Uh, like not intentionally funny, yeah. Right, it's not intentionally funny. Uh, the the level layouts are absolutely horrendous. I I, I said I wasn't going to ramble about Mass Effect, right? But the level layouts are they make no sense. Uh, the architecture is brutalist because all they did was just slap a bunch of concrete textures onto really shitty level design. <laughs> the level design is really bad, um, like all over the place. To the point that I kind of want to make a video essay about it. Like, just why all the different elements of Mass Effect don't work. You just want to but make, like, a two-hour video of you shitting all over Mass Effect? Ba basically, yes. Uh, before and, you do you that... Know, the, the thing is, no, the, the, the thing is, like, brutalism makes sense in the right context as, as an architectural decision. But in Mass Effect, it's just that they obviously didn't have time to make things look good. You know what I mean? They didn't have the budget I'll, I'll or the tell time. You, I'll tell you where it really fucking works. Like, like for me, like real hard, the, that game control has a lot of that kind, oh, of, arch yeah. that kind of architecture in it. And uh, yeah. you, you got you, you got to play that game. You're gonna nut when you play that game. I do, I, I do. Especially because Fred's such a big fan of SCPs. I am. Do you want to read this article though before we go on a fucking another? Yeah, let, let's do it. Is? Sorry, wait. This, I'm guys. Literally, this is just what our hangouts are like. We just chat about shit. Like, like fucking ADHD, like hummingbirds, like zipping around, like fucking from topic to topic. A little bit. Yeah, you should hear us when we're playing Astroneer together. We've been getting into that. Yeah, I like that game a lot. I played it alone and I didn't like it, but now that I'm playing it with, with like another person, it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, you want to take uh, method one, making it real? Yeah, Good. making it real. Look out, it's a Mimikyu! Got him. He has no nose, though. There's something weird about this Pikachu. This is no not cheeks. a normal Pikachu. What is it? No red cheeks. Yeah. What the fuck is this? Is this a boot? Is this a bootleg? We ended up doing a bootleg stream tonight. <laughs> Surprise! It's a two in one. Like his eyes are where his cheeks are supposed to be. There's something. Maybe it's a ditto. It's a ditto. Oh yeah. It could be, but no, it doesn't have the little beady eyes. Tenga egg Pikachu. Kumsayer is really trying their fucking it's best to get banned tonight. <laughs> no, it, it's it's this is a two in one stream, kind of like Thanatos, Megara, and Zagreus. <laughs> That's the three in one. All right, why don't you go ahead and just read that? No, it's a two in one. Oh, 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 got him. Right, right, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Good. Step Start one. out. Start out by getting a cum jar. Sorry, go ahead. Start out by getting your first or second Pokemon plush. This will be your companion for the rest of your journey. You should make sure you will love them forever. So choose a <laughs> so choose a plush Pokemon character you like. No, get a plush of your least favorite Pokemon. Are we learning how to soul bond? <laughs> This will is be this your companion final... for the rest of your life. Is this the Pokemon house? <laughs> okay, I'm Pikachu. You are uh, Gyarados. Uh, tag yourself. The Pokemon house. That's horrifying. Oh, God, please don't I'm let that be Sobble. real. <laughs> I'm Sobble because I just fucking learned about the concept of a Pokemon house. <laughs> This will be your companion for the rest of this journey called life. Pika. Nicknames are important because Pika that is, is so. <laughs> fun fact: Pika is actually the, the name of a condition what? where you habitually eat hair. That's what that's called. Yeah, I thought that was called, called hair pica. eating. It's, it's Pika. 
on this episode of My Strange Addiction. Yeah, I think there actually was a My Strange Addiction, potentially. So um, this per there definitely was. So this person named their Pikachu plush after a condition where you compulsively eat oh. your own hair. Oh, it's not just hair. It's typically inedible stuff. I, I remember hearing a story or um, seeing a story of, um, it might have been a short documentary or something, where uh, someone habitually ate their hair. They have pika. So pika is just eating inedible objects. Um, eat anything inedible. Yeah, I, I saw it. Don't worry. Um, and this person specifically ate their hair and it created a ball of hair. Yeah, in you, you just get like a hair blockage in your ass. It's yeah. not good. Yeah, don't do they, that. They, uh, no, not in your ass, in your intestines. In well, yeah, I'm just, I said ass to be to be comical, but there's really nothing funny about uh, yeah. it. it. It's uh, worse. Yes. I don't like, ugh. It, yeah. mm. uh, nicknames are important because that is what your Pokemon will go by. Maybe determined by gender, but some Pokemon don't have genders, so choose something that fits them best, teehee. They ate toxic sludge and now they don't have a gender. Pika or Pika? Like, I think that, that... How is the condition pronounced? Pika? Pika. Obviously, because it's a fucking Pikachu, they're, they're meaning for this to be pronounced Pika. Right, clearly. Or Pika. Serpi. Serpipi. Make your trainer name. That is what your your Pokemon will call you. Does what? so this person's a Pokemon fan, but doesn't know that Pokemon don't talk. P. I like to imagine that his name is Serp. Serp. My my Pikachu Serp. calls me Pikachu. Serp. Syrup. Syrup. <laughs> just just an R. He put an R and a U in there. My Pikachu calls me Pikachu. <laughs> My bunger calls me bunger. <laughs> Sirp. Sirp. Sirp, I pursue you, Twitter. <laughs> you are creator of sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I, I need a big mic. cock. I need a big cock. I'm Big not taking cock. commissions right now. Peacock for madam. <laughs> Making a home. Welcome to your new home, Freakachu. Got him. Do you know about that meme, dude? No. Oh, guys, Fred does. Fred. Fred doesn't know about welcome to your new home, freak. Uh oh. Uh oh. We need to educate him. Oh no! So hold ho hold on a second. Hold on. Uh, no, you're fucking meme. Fuck off. Here, uh, here, look. Yep, I I see it. Tell me, tell me what's wrong with it. Well, what well what do you, what do you, what do you say? What do you say? What? In this image, you I, see I, I, there there's Yoda in chains. Yeah. And it, it looks rather like a BDSM dungeon. <laughs> and? The, the chains are blue? What am I missing? D and? And? Yeah, oh my god, his ass. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Why is Yoda thick? Nobody knows. <laughs> is Yoda thick? They made Yoda thick. I don't know. They had it's it, they had it shading too. I don't know. I don't know why they gave him a plump juicy ass. <laughs> they gave him a plump juicy ass. Chunk Chunk ass. Mm. Back up that ass, I must. <laughs> uh so anyway, that's that's why I'm it's saying the scissor to buff my butt cheeks. <laughs> that's why I'm saying to people who resub, welcome to your new home, freak. Instead <laughs> of wel why. welcome to the family, son. Yeah, that's why I've been saying that. Okay. Uh, making a home. You want to take that? You wanna, yeah. You wanna feel that Find home? a secret place that pets and siblings can't get to, for this will be your Pokemon's home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, just a, it's just a toy. Right? 
Oh, that's cute. Is it wholesome? Was she right and yeah, I'm an asshole? That's pretty cute. Uh, it's been a little, it's like a, a little from column A, a little from column B. Uh, it's it's a little bit like, it's a little, it's a little bit, you no, know, that's, that's a toy. Like, this is weird. You're weird. This is weird. You're weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. That is a cute picture. I'm not going to pretend that's not a cute picture. Get a pillow and a light blanket. The pillow will be the mattress, and the blanket will keep them warm. Spaguglio. Freak to your new home, freak. Thank you for 33 months of support. I feel like welcome to your new home, freak, is like the new version of know your place, trash. What's what's that from? What is that? That's what filthy. That? That's filthy Frank. Filthy Frank. So filthy now they're feed now they're feeding the plush toy. How do you feel about it now? They're giving it food. How do you feel about that? I, this is starting to feel a little ritualistic. Yeah, it's getting a little bit into the tulpa zone. Mm -hmm. the tul tulpa, tulpa yeah, territory. Yeah, they're, they're, tulpa they're feeding territory. them Italian food based on the way they're holding the, uh, the plate. <laughs> Shut up on your face, Pikachu, and eat your spaghetti. Shut up on your face. Shut up on your face. And eat this heap in a spaghetti pile of information. It's Hello, like pur Mario. Purple spaghetti. Hello, Pikachu. <laughs> oh, no. These are the... <laughs> Hello, Pikachu. These are the penis and testicles. <laughs> oh, my God. Have you seen... Um, what is it? Uh, Vaporeon is, is perfect for sex. Uh, no, that sounds god-awful. What is that? I'm, I'm looking for it. I think yeah, I, I don't might have it. Chat knows about this. Chat knows My about history. it. Chat might not know about this. I think this is a little bit obscure. Wow, what a sentence. He he says <laughs> He says, I think I have Vaporeon is perfect for sex in my search history. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for it. Uh where is it? Uh it might take me a minute to find it, but this is important. Important. Got it. This is important, guys. Got it. It is important to know this. Got it. Knowing this is important. That's a YouTube video that I cannot. I cannot press play on. <laughs> I'm not pressing play on that. What is that? Just. <laughs> Can you just describe? I, I'm not. That's fuck. What is it, it? It's what is two this? people is... in TF2 who, like, instead of playing the game, are talking, are like watching. Uh, that, sorry, the, the first frame has someone named Jonah in um, the all chat in in a TF2 game saying, "Please excuse me as I watch my femboy porn in the Intel room as a turtle engineer." Then uh, someone uh, Then he says, "With 700 ping." Step one: then... get some fake food to feed your plush, <laughs> such as clay poffins, poke blocks, berries, and poke puffs. That's cute. Doll food. What is doll food? Doll. Food. Square dude says that the stream thumbnail is Yoda s. <laughs> <laughs> the, the berries are back, baby. The berries are back. Give him Brock's jelly donuts. Hey, I mean, like, uh, they're, they're saying give it, like, pretend food. If you pr try to feed the stupid fucking plushie berries, it's just going to make a big gross stain on it that's never going to come out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what doll food is, Vivid Mango. What the fuck is doll food? Dolls don't eat. What's doll, doll, what's doll food? What is doll food? No, no it's, it's shorthand for dolphins, like dolphin meat. Dolphin safe dolphin meat. This is maybe, maybe it's like one of those toys where you could like, feed it and it shits. Like maybe this Pikachu shits. There are a, dis a disconcerting number of toys that shit. Have you ever thought about that? I I've read articles about that. There's theories that these these toy companies know that that shit is is like su super duper interesting to kids. So they make toys that are like poop centric. It's a huge industry, dude. You don't want to know. That's a rabbit hole. That that is a fucking rabbit hole right there. I don't want it. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. A rabbit hole like this one that you could just 
Take a take a big old dump in. No, stop. What well, again? I can't believe like we've been doing this for over like almost five and a half hours. That like us talking about that dog face. That uh, us talking about Butch Hartman feels like it was two days ago. <laughs> I figure we'll end after this this article. Yeah, sounds yeah, good. Yeah. So here you gonna want to read that spoon. there? Yeah, yeah. You can spoon feed it to your plush, and and love it, and cherish it, and, and hold it, and and worship it, and pray to it, and make human sacrifices to it, and kill I hope for Justin it. Justin RPG is reading this. You you could you could kill people for it. And worship you it like could, a fucking god. You could you could bury yourself in its bladder. <laughs> that that's like a whole other thing, Trapped right? In like, stomach like, alone. like this fucking Lugia's stomach alone. <laughs> I hate that there are the like, stomach gurgling sounds throughout that whole that whole song. It makes it so much worse. Why don't you spoon feed the Pikachu fucking cider? Fucking cider. The, the, that people Fred. are wondering what the fuck I'm talking about. They're like one of Justin RPG's like fetish images that he posted on um, the Vor forums was the like forums? talking about him being they... teleported into Arceus's bladder. B bladder? Bladder. So he can become piss? Right, and like Arceus has no idea. Is it Arceus? Arceus? I will rub your tit meat into dust, you piss! You <laughs> get a load of piss. Yeah, <laughs> Detroit become piss. Uh, Fred, do me a favor. Yeah, read method four. Yeah, out bonding. Loud. Read it out loud, please. Method four, bonding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He posted on the forums. They do call them that, right? Do they? I'm asking. They, they should. They should. Have fun together. Go to parks. Take it every place you can. When you can't, wait until you can go back home and have some extra fun. What does that mean, man? What What does that mean, man? Man? What is What does that mean, man? Hey, man, it, what does that mean, man? I, 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 I'm not sensing any weird intent from... The, it's a little weird, it's phrased <laughs> okay. weird, but I'm, I'm, I'm not ready... Go back I'm home. not ready to be like, oh, this person is doing weird. Like, oh, oh, I mean, I guess all the rest of this is a little bit weird, but... <laughs> I think so. Have some extra fun with, like, the extra eyebrows fun. going up and down. I guess it's in the inflection. But yeah, this is how you soul bond with a Pokemon. You called it. Right. It's soul bonding. Yeah, this is this is Tulpa E, isn't it? Like, is there because... anyone who knows more about Tulpas that can like in chat that can say is like if this is Tulpa E or if this is just Fred. child fun? It's huh? because I love you. Stop. Look at this. What the fuck, Pokemon is it? What is that? Psyduck? A bootleg Psyduck? Not Tulpa E. Someone is saying. I'm not getting a sexual vibe. I'm getting a dark ritual magic vibe. Uh, not really Tulpa-ish, but it could be. Not really Tulpa territory until we're giving it a personality. Okay. You, you can't just put fucking Pikachu with like regular stuffed animals. You dumb fuck. Because they, they're not. not they're the not. They, 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 there are no like regular animals in the fucking Pokemon universe, asshole. <laughs> this is stupid. You can't just put them together. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only person who knows what jet lag is. You know what I mean, Fred? What? Don't worry about it. You want to read that? I missed it. I'm sorry. It went over my head. Have sleepovers. It's fun. And you can invite your friends and socialize. Yeah, it's not. See, like, it's not Tulpa. It's not Tulpa. It's not. It's, it's fine. It's I, I feel like it. categorically calling something fun is like something a teacher does you know like oh this will be a fun exercise like whenever my teacher would do that when i was little right they'd be like all right time for a fun exercise and in my head i'd, I'd just be like bitch i'm the arbiter of whether i'm having fun or not 
Fred, like, fun is a buzzword. I get to decide if this is fun. Fred is a buzzword. Like, Fred is a buzzword. Fun is a buzzword, haven't you heard? A buzzword? Yeah, it's a buzzword, dude. How? You know, it's... it's who the fuck was it? Neil Druckmann said we don't use the word fun in the in the uh, in the development studio. No, it was a fucking it was like a 4chan post from a long time ago. <laughs> and then it and then it, it it morphed into I guess Neil Druckmann like read the posts. And then he's like we don't use the word fun because video games shouldn't be fun. <laughs> and then Reggie was like if it's not fun why bother? <laughs> Fun. It's so, by, by the way, um, the, like I, I understand someone saying like, how dare they try to make le make learning interesting? The problem to me that made me really uncomfortable that I couldn't quite place when I was little was that they're trying to tell me how I should be feeling about something, and that didn't sit well with me. It shouldn't have. Okay, but you were joking. <laughs> no, no. It I don't know. I no. it is just uh, don't tell me how I'm feeling. I tell me how I'm feeling. Am I an asshole? Am I am I just like I maybe 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 she's right. Maybe I'm mean. Am I being mean? I feel like this this has a weird energy to it that's hard to place. I think that I, I get the feeling that Bun Time's immediate reaction to something like this is to assume the better of it, and you've just been poisoned. So like you immediately are like, there's something fucky about this. Fred, it took twenty two co authors to write. What? And 97% of readers found it helpful. I, good for them. I guess. 63,000 views. Can, can we like... I, dude, d look, at, look at the flying walrus comment right here. This is the greatest wiki how on this site. That's it. We've reached the peak. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> What does this mean? What is this article? What, okay, one time. Let me ask you this question. What if I told you that this article was written by a 37-year-old man? Would it would it still be wholesome? Like, what? I feel like you know maybe they have some sort of like mental disability. No, they don't have one. Forget that shit. No, no, no just no. like this is a regular ass 37-year-old yep. yep, yep, person. Yep, yep. Isn't Chris? Like, in her mid thirties, Chris Cham. Yeah, but I'm not talking. Nice. I'm not talking about that. Fair it's enough. just it's just written for kids. Like it's it's written by an adult for kids, is what you're saying. Like it's meant it's it's meant to be like children's entertainment content, is what you're saying. Thirty nine, Chris turned thirty nine a couple days ago. Happy birthday. Happy hap hap. They uh, apparently like know who I am, and I, I guess ha have in the past watched these streams uh, because uh, because they asked for my autograph at uh, Too Many Games. I believe this actually took place at the con where I met you, Fred. Right, because that was the one that that's the only one where we all three of us have been in the same place. Like, well, we're probably the only one where Chris has been in the same vicinity as you. I'm surprised you didn't get maced in the face at that con. I I'm proud of that. I didn't <laughs> I didn't even see her. <laughs> Did not even see Chris Jam. All right. Well, you want to wrap this up? I do have more. Let's wrap you, it up. If you want to, I, I uh, I'm good. We've been at this. We're approaching six hours. We're five and a half hours in. It's almost uh, like one a.m. here. We should probably, yeah, we should probably stop. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So let me take a second. Oh, there's art. Apparently, there's a lot of art. But that that'll take that'll take some time too. So let yeah. me let me say now because people usually bail for for the art, which they shouldn't. Because Legit. people work hard on this sh on this on, on this art, so what what whatever. But guys, thank you for watching, um, and thank you for uh, all the support. You got the, the the subs, the resubs, the bits, and even just uh, you know the moral support, the eyeballs. Thank you for putting your eyeballs on the screen. I appreciate that. That means so much, guys. Love you. Thank you. Um, and uh, uh, Fred, thank you.
it, for putting up with my bullshit. I, I had a great time. I hope that I didn't like get too real. <laughs> Some of it. No, but that again, right. that's that's what people that's what people are, are, are signing up for, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. There was no I, moment yeah. where you got like really dark, which was a little disappointing. Like I usually like I I, I always kind of expect that moment when things get like insanely dark and depraved from you but that didn't uh, that di that didn't really happen tonight but there's always next time yeah well um, th there's always more opportunities uh, I, isn't it amazing that this is the first time that i haven't done that and i swear to god i'm not trying i'm not like oh where can i fit this in it's like no I i'm never i'm never being like where can i insert life advice it's literally just this is what's coming to my head and i know like i'm I'm a little bit afraid, actually, that in these streams, I'm a little bit too off the cuff. Like, because it's all like whenever I'm no, talking, it's always just my no, immediate fine. thoughts, mostly unfiltered. That's what streaming is. That's yeah, what, that's I know what it is, but that's what it's it is. not it's not always what people expect from me, you know. I also wanted to to, to uh, show my shit real quick. I'm on Twitter. I'm on YouTube. There's going to be links to the chat. Also, Fred, uh, well, there should be links. I think there's links to Fred's shit, too. His YouTube channel and his, uh... Is his Twitch there? Yeah, follow him on Twitch, too, because he's going to do some streams. Yeah. Uh, what a oh, there's yeah, also... Yeah, I'm going to be doing tea streams. So if you're interested in, like, seeing how I prepare tea... Like, I, I, I drink nice tea. So if you're interested in seeing how I do that and hanging out... There's, there's a link to... Follow. Fred's other channel where we have the Warrens episodes, which we last night were uh, thinking about maybe uh, doing another one soon. We'll see how it pans out. Mm. Uh, but that's I really wanna I really wanna tell them the topic, but I know you don't. Do I know you, you don't like doing I, that. I I, I, I kind of I was thinking about this last night. I'm thinking maybe we should tell them what we're planning on. Y you wanna? Why? What's the logic? I, I I don't know. Just because it's been forever since the last one, and I I think they'll get hype when they know the topic. <laughs> Why don't we tease it? It's a person. It is. It's a very interesting person. It's it's an interesting person. A very interesting person. Um. Who's involved? Should I, like, with... can I can I add one extra detail? Yeah, go ahead. It's about this person and their project. A person with a project. Big old project. A person with a with a project. A person with a project. We're gonna. We're we're gonna we're gonna look at the. <laughs> we're gonna look at the art. We're gonna look at the art. Um, not. We're not confirming or denying anything. Uh, but we are gonna we're gonna are gonna look at the art. Say good night to Jabroni Chan. She's angry and tired. Mm. Okay, good night, everybody. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> oh, have a good night. <laughs> You're <laughs> so <laughs> fucking cursed. <laughs> That's <laughs> why. <laughs> anime. <laughs> good night, everybody. I love you. He <laughs> put big boobies. Bye bye. Can I shout out a legit VTuber though? Uh. Have you have you ever heard of Buff Pup? No, I haven't heard of Buff Pup. Buff Pup has the most awesome like rigging. And they just um they just put together a 3D uh avatar like setup that looks really good. So I I would highly recommend checking out Buff Pup if you haven't and if you're interested in the VTuber thing. Uh I'm going to I'm going to look at the art. You ready? Yes. So I got one from Home by Midnight, first up. Uh, it says nothing, uh, but it looks like it is art of the last night uh, Vin stream when I uh, played Mario World with him and Nari, also known as Smelly Feet You Have. <laughs> Yay, feet! <laughs> and uh, Ra Russ, uh, that dude Russ... Uh, seems like a cool dude. Uh, but yeah, we played some, uh, uh, Mario 3D World. I just could not remember the name of the, f of the fucking game for the life of me. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. And this art is cool, Home by Midnight. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I met, I met, 
I met Ross uh, for the first time ever last night. He seems... I mean, I talked to him for like, what, what was that, like 20 minutes, but he seems seems like a cool dude. Legit. Um, Robber Ross is, is his name, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what That boy. Uh, what else we got? We got this from Laramar. <laughs> it is Jabroni Chan. Bike. And she's saying, Bike! Bike, and there's a she's wearing a shirt over here that says "fuck" on it. <laughs> fuck. I I don't know I don't know why that's so funny. It should be also bike. Um. Thank you so much, Laramar. Uh, there's more. There's there's a, a lot more actually. Uh, Good. So <laughs> 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 this is from somebody named Moon Man Lives in a Bin. <laughs> and it is Jabroni Chan, but as the uh, Karen uh, Kachimo Kachimocho what anime, whatever the fuck uh, style arts. Fred, have you I'm seen this anime? I'm cute. You've seen it. He's, oh, thank yeah, God. He's, I, he's I know seen what it. you're talking about. Great. Yeah, that, I, I'm cute. I'm cute. I've been calling it Garen Lagan to piss everybody off because I can't remember <laughs> the name of it. It's called Ka Kami Kacha Karen. Uh, uh, so yeah, Jabroni Chan in the Kamikacha Karen style. That's fucking awesome. Thank you, Moon Man. <laughs> I'm cute. No, shut up. Uh, this Yo. is. Oh, there's so much good art here tonight. There is dude. a lot of good um, art tonight. This is from Larua. And okay, so it says. I know Mike continued to purposely slash accidentally call the Moisty Girls image, Moisty Girls image, Gurren Lagan, but this idea to cross over one of my favorite shows, one of my favorite streamers, it was a lot of fun. I tried hard to replicate the Gurren Lagan style. I've either nailed it or failed it. I <laughs> uh, hope you all enjoy regardless. I guess there's like mechs in Gurren, in Gurren Lagan. I've never seen it. There's mechs. But it's like a Venetian mask uh, mech that looks People cool are as shit. Dope. Yeah, they nailed it. All right, it's fucking sick. Uh, it's it's really cool, despite not really getting the source material. It's just cool as shit. Thank you so much, Larua. It's legit. Um, I love the bells. Yeah, yeah, the bells are always a nice touch. We got a meme. Yeah, good. there's a meme here from GG Marvels. Source dank memes. <laughs> So I guess that's me. I'm saying, you're telling me a shrimp fried this rice? And you got you on the bottom left, Fred. It says, apartment complex. Really? I find it quite simple. I find it quite simple. And then you got Rev saying, based based on what? So what is this? This, <laughs> this is like the pyramid like, of stupid? Like what? <laughs> right. The holy trinity. The holy trinity of stupid. So this is a meme that already exists, and you guys just put our like faces yeah. on it? Thank you. It's a meme template that we've been uh, transposed onto. Okay. Yes. So get, you're tr you're trying to insinuate that those three lines of dialogue like match our senses of humor or personalities or something. Fred's is definitely accurate. I'll tell you that much. So is Rev's. I guess I guess mine is too. I I think it's pretty accurate. The Triforce of Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You know how I know Revs is really accurate? Because this mm. is the same dude who said pre Malone when talking about post Malone. He goes, <laughs> I wonder what pre I wonder what pre Malone was like. <laughs> so Revs Revs is definitely accurate. <laughs> Thank you so much, GG. Uh there's more hold on. This is from Bone Boogity. Uh, it's a rabbit fella. Yeah. Rabbit feller. Good rabbit feller. It says, I drew Fred his own Mask Boy style mask. Like, Oh, mice. legit. It's like a Venetian rabbit mask. It's really yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah. It's really cute, Boogity. Love it. That's that's legit. Thank you. Um, there's more. Uh, this is from Carrion Dell. Yeah, yeah. So this oh, uh, this was something that they did a while ago um, and posted to Twitter. 
It, it's uh, Nude San. <laughs> Nude San. AKA Miss Warren. So it's like a DTRH Sona, right? And she's got right. a time cube pin, bunny hair clip, and a bunny pin. Uh, a opt jacket? Op I don't know. I don't know what opt means. Op Optional. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, I, I like it. It's got really nice, like, college freshman energy. Uh, case for her hurdy gurdy, and she's got uh, stickers based on uh, the videos down there. Yeah. Uh, so good. Carrying that Temple OS. Um, what's the one on top? I'm trying to figure out. There's Per Cat Cafe. Oh, I think that's Cthulhu. a Final Fantasy VII logo from uh, the, oh, yeah, the okay. Final Fantasy house. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, I'm so unacquainted with the game. And you should keep it that way. Uh, thank you so much, Carrie and Dal. Very, very, very cool. <laughs> that she's really cute. Thanks. I love it. it. I love it. Thank you. I you already knew that I liked it, but thank you again. Too much <laughs> apple <laughs> cider. <laughs> this is from somebody named Nah. Nope. Nope. Nah. Nope. Nope. Too much apple cider. Took one sip. And he spiraled into a, a what was it? Something uh, impending uh, sense I, of doom. Yeah. Sense of impending doom, from the one sip of apple cider. Great. <laughs> Thank you, Nah. Fucking cider. Fucking cider. Uh. Oh, what the fuck? Look at that. Easy evil. You went hard on this. What the actual fuck? Hell Sally, yeah. what the actual fuck? This is gorgeous. And it's got some, uh, yeah, like that, uh, fucking beats to, to chill and jack off to vibe when like, you know, she's doing her homework and it's like <laughs> snowing yes. outside from like the G the Ghibli uh, frame. Mm -hmm. Gosh, she looks fucking gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And the, the bungle puss is a great touch. Yeah, the bungle puss is cute as shit. I like the bells on the tips of the shoes. She's got a little bit of a um, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm getting like a a, a uh, what's what's her name? Uh, the the genie genie girl, the genie girl from those games that I've played. Uh, vibe from it. The genie. Waluigi. Yeah, it's Waluigi, man. Shantae. <laughs> Shantae. Yes. It's got a Shantae vibe. Maybe because the the boobies are big. I don't know. Uh, it's Shantae energy. Knights, yeah, Knights energy too. Fuck, mm -hmm. I, I love, I love this so much. Easy evil, holy shit. Look at the like the line work and the oh my god, it's really good. Yeah, fuck, I love this. She's having a a coffee or a hot cocoa maybe, and she's smoking a cigarette, which is a thing that I I used to do. I used to love having a cigarette with a cup of coffee. Oh my god, I lived for oh, that. Oh, really? I lived for that when I smoked. Oh, for fucking forget. I still think about it. I still, whenever I have a cup of coffee, like there's a part of my brain that's like, where's the cigarette? Who wants coffee? Anybody want coffee? Coffee. Caw, caw, coffee. You have, you have coffee. clearly not seen this video. No. But easy evil. I love this art. Thank I'll you. Show so it, much. I'll show it to you after stream. Fucking damn. Uh, gorgeous. This is we have we have some cursed <laughs> shit coming up, you guys. Oh, this is so cursed. Uh, oh, I is, hate this. This is from Mintelect. Oh, I I hate I love it, but I hate it. In the puff pu tough puppy. What the fuck is the name of the cartoon? Tough puppy. Tough puppy. What the fuck is it called? Tough, tough puppy. Yeah. It is called tough puppy. It's in the tough puppy style. I like how sad you are. <laughs> yeah, because you have a gaping fucking hole in your face. Of course you're sad. Yeah, because I am clearly <laughs> able to lick my eye. <laughs> I should never know what my eye tastes like. <laughs> Birdo Chan. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, he looks like Birdo because Birdo's got like yeah, the gaping hole in, in her face. Right, like oh circumcised God. Birdo. <laughs> <laughs> help it just says help meant to like thank you so much <laughs> thank you that these are so like there's so much great shit tonight this is uh from gg marvels 
Fred's teaching me how to life. I've got the book upside down. You got your work cut out for you, Fred. I'm working on it. Uh, but this is adorable, as always, Gigi. Thank you so much. Oh, I love the big carrot plush that, that you get. It's so, yeah, I, I love it. It's really good. I, I want I want a rabbit onesie like that. It looks cozy as shit. Gigi always makes the cue to start. Um, hold on. Oh, this is also from Carrie and Dal. Oh. <laughs> you, see, you, see, you saw? Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching your stream. Or uh, your um, Discord stream to me. Remember, if you drop your human, they're still good to eat for 20 minutes. Well, it was 20 seconds, actually. What narcoleptic bitch wrote this? Wrote this? Chill? <laughs> <laughs> fucking cider. The fucking, fucking face cider. on on nude sand is amazing. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. The face is so good. <laughs> If you decide to use that as like an emote slot or something, you are welcome to it. Oh, like, that's, fu that's if, if, fucking if, awesome. If Carrie and Doll is okay with it, you, I, it's perfect. Oh well, maybe um, actually, Carrie and Doll would be cool with you using it on, on your Twitch channel. Perhaps, oh, would even, they? Yeah, I, I, we could Sweet. ask. Uh, would, would Carrie and Doll. Okay? Carrie and Doll, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, there's yeah, I could use more. it. All right, sure, man. Sweet. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, God. Tuna note. <laughs> Tuna, Tuna note. This, this is Tuna fucking incredible. Why? <laughs> <laughs> this, has, this has really heavy new grounds energy. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> this has... You know what this has? This has Pikapedia energy. Pikapedia, I don't know what that is. This is Pikapedia energy. Um, yeah, he did Doctor Bees. Did I ever show you Doctor Bees? I you should really see Doctor Bees. Remember sometime. something like that? But Jesus Christ, look at this. <laughs> Masked vigilante. We're in the nose. We're just hanging I, out in the nose. We're just hole. hanging out. I like. <laughs> I the nose is just asking for a Vox canister to spread like the word of the God Emperor of mankind. <gasps> Like a like a fucking galactic pneumatic. Oh, sorry, tube. not not Pikapedi. Harry Partridge. My bad. That's Harry Partridge. Oh my God. Thank you so much. My bad. Me. Oh my. God. I am mixed up. It's fucking my incredible. bad. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Why why did I attribute the two? <laughs> they have some similarities. I. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Courts. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dear liberals, oh my God. if eating an all-meat diet is unhealthy, then why have I only fainted three times in the last week? <laughs> <laughs> Cloud, school, Cloud School USA! Cloud School USA! Look at her face, it's tiny. Her face is so small. Oh my God. Her face <gasps> is so <laughs> shit. World's first VTuber. The the art is off the fucking charts tonight, guys. <laughs> <Holy shit. laughs> normalize, oh normalize oh fainting. Nor normalize fainting. <laughs> I'm dying. This is absolutely <laughs> fucking incredible, Quartz. Thank you so much. <laughs> Like there's a, there's so much here, you know. Like there's oh. like there's like 15 layers to this. So oh, this is good. Fucking incredible. Thank you so uh, much. The face is just a little too small. It's perfect. <laughs> You're full <of> liberals. <laughs> You're liberal. I'm, I'm dying. I am dying. We Fred got Fred Sands. Goddamn. We got Big more milk. art. Uh, I, oh my down. god, I love that how Fred sees his hands. <laughs> <laughs> fucking grabbing the mug. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrapped all the way around. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's. it's... Carrie oh, and Dow, thank no. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry. 
<laughs> Sorry, I posted three of them on the borrow tonight. You have nothing to apologize for no, except for those terrifying no, it's, fingers. It, it's all good carrying down. Oh, no! <laughs> Well, this was inevitable. It was. <laughs> yeah, it was. Step into the ring with significant tit meat. Boy, I'm going to rub them tits down. Slap my hand on them tits, I will. Then I'll press real hard and you'll scream. You'll say, not my precious tits, but I'll say, <laughs> oh, yeah. Goodbye, tits. <laughs> oh, no. I will rub your tit meat into dust, you piss. Nobody got better tit meat than me. <laughs> Rock oh, walk, my horse. God. Rock fucking hawk, the tit rubber. It's even the right font. Yeah, it it's is. The <laughs> it's the fucking correct font. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much, Life for Nintendo. So good. That's Life for Nintendo. He has tit meat because tit is a bird. It's true. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's a fixed version. Sky Sliver. Uh, <laughs> Fixed the dog from Tough Tough Puppies. I, I've seen. Uh, there were a lot of fixes that were like this. Yeah, because it it, it triggered people's like fucking like OCD and shit, or or just like fucking. I, I not even OCD. That's not even the right way to explain it. Like they're they're fucking um, common sense. Like people got right. mad when they saw that character design. When I first saw this on Twitter for the first time, and I clicked mm. on the tweet thread. It was filled with fixes. Like people looked at yeah. this and said, "I had, I have to fix that. I have to fix that." Mhm. Mm it's like they, it, it's such an easy fix too. But they they couldn't like, they couldn't control themselves. Like they had to. But so I get it, Sky Sliver. Thank you. Like, like how hard was it to do this? You know, for the for for, for Butch Hartman. Right. Okay, so this is from glasses. Intellect. Glasses. Aww. Fred said he I liked glasses. It. Yeah. I'll, I'll, th this, I can't believe this fucking happens, right? I, I just mention offhandedly that I like glasses. I, I like glasses on people. And this happens. How, like, I, I feel like I'm flapping a butterfly. Like, I'm a butterfly <laughs> flapping its wings. <laughs> and then art comes out on the other side of the world. That's exactly what's happening. I've been saying this for years. Some of the some of the most fucking like outrageous art that that usually will make me laugh like the fucking hardest will will come from some offhand fucking thing that I even forgot that I said. Right. Like just some bullshit that spewed out of my mouth like for like one <laughs> second during during the stream and I completely forget that I said it. And then at the end of the night I am reminded that I said it with some incredible art. Right. It's like they, yeah. they like it feels it feels good to inspire beauty. Doesn't it? Thank you, Mintelect. Yeah, I like being a muse. I'm a muse, Fred. <laughs> oh, check this out. What look at that. This is from Kudeo. I appreciate saying that, it. right? No, see the problem is we're wearing the corsets and so we're going to pass out way more than twice a year now. <laughs> look what I'm drinking. You fucking cider. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fucking cider. Damn though, the 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 work on those dresses is something else. Wow. Seriously, I yeah. love the designs. It's beautiful. I feel like uh, I, I I feel like um, the the one that is more me is, it looks like it belongs on uh Penny Dreadful. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, Victorian. You feel right? it? It's Victorian. Huh? Like Victorian style. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it, yeah. It's it, well, it's also the aesthetic of Penny Dreadful. Mm -hmm. Right, just it's a little sort bit, of little goth, little bit, like, like goth, edgy type of yeah, 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 yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that 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 is awesome. Thank you, uh, Kudeo. Uh, I love it. I, I love this. No, it, it's kind of funny. Hold on. Uh, go. Um, if you go back to it. Um. Sorry, I just thought I'd point this out. The funny thing is, you basically hit like my mother's hair to a T. Funny enough, she's got a beehive. Uh, she can. Like, sometimes she would do that, but, like, the hair, uh, coming down on the sides, like, she, that, that is something that she can do. Oh, uh, yeah. And, and will do when she, like, dresses up to go places. Oh, Al of Alpix, thank you for the gift sub to Kudeo. Just a, just a fun, fun little side fact. Welcome to your new home, freak, uh, Kudayo. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, she, she, this is usually how she'll put her hair up. With the clips, too. Like, it, it's remarkable how close they got. 
There's one more, I think. Um, uh, this is so good. Might want to refresh. <laughs> Make sure this is so good. We need we need to somehow get this. It's from to the man himself. Auspicious Funkus. It says an overwhelming sense of impending doom. And there's Jabroni Chan drinking some fuck fucking cider. And uh, who who's the, the who was the big monster? Like what right wing uh, the, personality? That was that big... was Alex Jones. That was Alex Jones, the big one. Yeah. yeah. Do you, you, I bet I bet you the guy who made the video would appreciate the art, but I don't want to like be annoying. Yeah. And I, I don't know. Right, if, right, uh, right. Uh, but you should definitely send it to them. Auspicious. One way or another. Th thank you so much. This is cool as shit. <laughs> I would fucking recommend cider. it. This is... Fucking cider. Yeah, there's more art. So this one. Uh, is from <laughs> Tenoshi Mochi, again. Uh, fucking cider. We're saying in unison. Fucking cider. <laughs> uh, I like the colors a lot, actually. Yeah. They're really good, yeah. Uh, thank you, Tenoshi. Uh, Love it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, oh what the actual... F oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, fuck no. Oh, no. Oh, what? From Space Vermin... I, what, no. what is what 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 is this? Like what what is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, the nose flesh is is also the upper lip, <sighs> right? Because it's like the the skin is stretched onto a like bizarrely shaped skull, right? Right. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, but kill it. Yeah. That thank yeah. <laughs> You Space can Vermin, burn it now. You. Thank you, Space Vermin. Um, this one is from Calibrated oh. Gallo? Oh my gosh, I love this. It's the Mask Boy and uh, a Bunny Fella? Bun a Bunny Fella. Oh, I love it. This is so precious. Very, very cool. I, uh, and I, cute, I love, Gallo. I love Thank this you. shit. That's uh, totes adorbs. I'm a really big sucker for this kind of thing. You're like the uh, the dude from Donnie Darko. Uh, <laughs> the rabbit man. Uh, fucking I fucking hate, you I hate that movie. a rabbit suit. Uh, thank you, Calibrated Gallo. Nui. I'll refresh again. Oh, that's it. Okay, we're going All to right, bed. Cool. We're going to bed. Thank you, everyone, so much. I like the the fan. I say this every time I feel, but that fan art is really special. Like it's, it's fan. Like just art of things that I have inspired is like really special to me yeah same it's like i i told you not too long ago it's just maybe some people might think like oh boy like i get I, I bet these streamers they get tired of looking at all this this fan art that people make for them it's like nope never happened not, not in the even, least not in the not least even, like never even came still close. going strong never even came close it's just maybe I, I don't know maybe maybe some people think that might be like egotistical but i don't i don't see it that way um, it's just fucking feed, awesome. Yeah, feed me. Like I said, I like being a muse, and I, I love the feeling of, like, all of us be, you know, being in on these jokes together and stuff. It's just, it's such a cool fucking feeling. Um, and even though, you know, sometimes people say the internet was a mistake, and it's a pretty goddamn good argument, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, this, this kind of thing wouldn't be possible without it. So... Uh, we whatever. take what we can from it. We carve out our good corners of the internet. Yeah, right, right. Uh, on that note, uh, I think we've carved out a really excellent corner here. I love you guys, and I appreciate y'all so... Oh, I said it! What? Y'all. Uh, y'all. I appreciate all of you so much. <laughs> uh, in fact... Thank you. Thank you all for being so accommodating for when I join. It. I feel very welcome. In fact, I appreciate you all so much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go check out all the subs that I didn't read out before. Yeah, we need to do that. And let me see the ones I didn't... that I missed. Alright, so there's where there's where Fred Newtson subbed. Yeah. Uh, Skogland, Ego Angel, Wilper Ding, Turbo Tail, Deadly Short, Bead History, Toasty Kins, Mo uh, Moon Kin, thank you for the raid, Little Miss Misa, Eagle Cohort, Sweet Scribs, Cold Kombucha, Aminushi, True Blue Review, uh, Pineapple Beast, thank you for the bits, uh, Anon, thank you for the gift subs, Gay Idiot, and Ultimate Weapon, also thank you for the gift subs, uh, Dick Fist, 
Zara and Organic Cyborg. Thank you for the bits. LEJ as well. Nasukin. Uh, thank you uh, for the resub. Hover Squid. Uh, there was a raid from Hover Squid that I missed. Hover Squid, if you're still here, thank you. Shit, Sorry yeah. I missed the notification. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Spaguglio uh, and Alavulpix. Thank you for the gift sub. Kudeo. Welcome to your new home, freaks. <laughs> thank you, freaks. I love you all so much. I will see you... Um, I don't know. Probably not tomorrow. Uh, probably Sunday for more uh, Mario... Uh, 3D World. Have a great night, guys. Good night, everyone. And Fred, thanks again for joining. Yeah, it was it was a pleasure. I I am definitely beat, but it was a pleasure. We'll save these articles I have here for next time. Sounds can good. I can I wet everybody's whistle for a second? Yeah. Um. How to prevent camel toe? Good night, everybody. <sighs> <sighs>